Makers! Hello, you! I hear that every morning from Adam in my ear as we come live. Hello, you, and hello to you. Oh, I'm looking forward today because it can be described in a multitude of words. Of course, rare. Exceptional. And I look across to our lovely Linda um, with that description. Adorable. Yeah, I'm going to throw that one in there because, look, seriously, I just need to show you this. I've been admiring him already. This is the cutest, the cutest jadeite carving I have ever seen. Look at him. And it's not just jadeite. That is type A black jadeite. It's a Tokyo bear. Is he not the cutest? Yes, he's got a bow tie and he's got a drill hole. So you could literally wear him on a long line necklace or a short line necklace or whatever you wish. I think he is. Hang on. One second, little bear. Stay there a minute. Oh, I, look, no. look at him. He is the sweetest. I'm sorry, I've got to show you little bottom as well. Because look at, look. Oh, my goodness. Coming up today with uh, the amazing gem investor that is Jake Thompson at 10 o'clock. But if you love, if you love that, I think you're going to also love this. This is your Hyogi Fan Type A Natural Jade. You've also got the most amazing Buddhas, and you get two of those, plus so much more. Honestly, it's going to be... the. Oh, I, ca I can't wait. I'm so excited, so excited. I want to get hold of the little Jade uh, Bear. Now, what else do we have coming up today? Now, just before I look to my left, I want to show you your star by today um, in the eight o'clock hour. Now, these are exceptional in terms of the quality. Um, I apologize that one is literally on a, decided to go on a different direction, that's fine. Um, you are looking at beautiful, beautiful pink sapphire and you will not believe the saving that we can bring you on those. Um, again, perfect for your calibrated mounts, perfect for things like your silver setting, uh, your gemstone setting, um, your silver clay. They're coming up today. Again, unmissable saving on those. But we have so much included in this Wednesday morning show, including one of my all-time favourite people. It's the gorgeous Linda Brumwell, everybody. What? An introduction, thank you, Al. Yeah, but I mean it. <laughs> I do genuinely mean it. I wouldn't say it if I didn't. I do. You are oh, one of my favourite oh, people. Al. Ooh, a little tear came down. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to make you cry. <laughs> no, it was a tear of happiness. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, Linda, your kits, your jewellery. Oh, my goodness me. This is so new. Yeah. These porcelain beads. Um... They're absolutely beautiful. That's all I will say is they are, are absolutely beautiful. Wait till you see them. I'm right in saying we haven't seen this before, have we? No. Check this jewellery out. Oh, my goodness, they're beautiful. Uh, and, and porcelain has been used in jewellery for centuries. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, you see it on the Antiques people. Roadshow. Yeah. And, I mean, this, this, is, this is sort of that, that Chinese pattern as well. Um, they are absolutely exquisite. When I knew um, I was having these, um, that's all I knew. You've got some porcelain beads to launch. And when I got them, I thought, how beautiful are they? Yeah. And I was, I was really, really chuffed at the amount um, that are in the kit. I mean, they're beautiful. There's that, that, that big one there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's incredible, much. isn't it? Yeah. Um, how many do we have of this kit then, Ross? Because... Kits today, 101. The one with the chain comes with, uh, we've got 100 quantity. Then the other shapes and the other sizes, 80. So I, I, I know for sure these are going to be sellout kits. Yeah, we haven't seen uh, porcelain, yeah, they, have they, we? They just make, they're making, they're making really on trend jewellery as well because yeah. porcelain, cold porcelain, porcelain, ceramics. Sea ceramics, mm. sea pottery, it's all really trending. And beautiful. 
beautiful, really beautiful. The, the brush strokes on those yes, are absolutely really, amazing. Really, really. Can you imagine the scholar, uh, you know, decades and decades and, you know, centuries ago sitting there painting them, can't you? <sighs> Incredible. I can't wait. Look at that. Oh my goodness me, Linda, that's amazing. I mean, that, that is so, that's just knotted, but isn't it exquisite? Yeah, beautiful. The white, you know, the, the white of the pearls really, really elevate yeah, and showcase, don't so. they? Yeah, the they porcelain. work well because the porcelain's got a luster. Yeah as have the pearls. Well, they're coming up at nine o'clock with yours truly, the lovely, sh uh, the, sh I almost called you Sheila then. <laughs> How many years have we worked together? I'm still doing it. Uh, yeah, yes. that's fine. With the lovely Linda. Um, and you know it's viewer's choice within this hour, so everything is locked and loaded on the website. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. That means you can shop ahead. Um, you can message in if there's something that you want me to bring to air. Um, you can check out. Some of those items will be going lower, including, as you can see, the pink sapphire on your screens right now. They are going, I'm going to say it, significantly lower than that price tag. Um, but one thing you will guarantee, items selling out already. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised at all. Um, that's what happens at Viewer's Choice. Now, at the top of the hour, come nine o'clock, everything will be deleted from the system um, and am I right to say it's not played then for another 30 days afterwards yeah um, there might be the odd exception but that is the general rule the general rule um, the reality is though it's always one of your busiest hours because um, items are at rock bottom clearance prices now we do love a thoroughly interactive show you know that we want you to come and say hello uh, so you can text us we are live here in the studio 78070 but make sure you start your text with JM Studios you can also do that um, online as well there's a there's a there's a little button for you to say send message to the studio um, on the website itself now where do we start with what will be an absolute cracker African turquoise in your rounds you get turquoise from all different locations around the world we actually had this tested because it was brought up into a question. Somebody actually said, um, well, a, 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 a website, another website, not ours, um, actually said, beware of African turquoise because it's actually a jasper. Um, okay, this is not jasper. This is genuine turquoise. We laboratory test it. If it was jasper, we would say it was jasper, um, just so you know. But it's slightly more affordable than that of your USA turquoise. Um, you get beautiful markings, wonderful matrix. We're going to take it to a brand new lowest ever price tag. This is number 37 on your viewer's choice. Um, clearance deal, never been anywhere near. In fact, it's never been lower than what's on your screen. Today, though, it's doing that. We are doing that. How many do I have then, Roscoe? 20. You're going to have to be quick. You're going to have to be extra quick. Genuine turquoise. This is not Jasper. The certificate of authenticity, you can get hold of that and it will say that this is genuine turquoise. It forms <coughs> in different locations around the world. You can get turquoise from Tibet, you can get it from USA, you can get it from Mexico, and you can get it from Africa as well. Lowest ever price tag by an absolute country mile. I'm feeling that this would look lovely with your kits. Oh, it would. It really would. Yeah, I hadn't given that a thought, Elle, but now I can see it in my head. It mm. really, really would. It would look quite really nice, would. wouldn't it? Compliment it's a, it's a lovely, it's a lovely gemstone for um, summer wear, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Holidays and things like that. That's what it always reminds me of. Holidays, turquoise. Does. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Are you going anywhere this year? Um, yeah, we're going off to Cyprus in June for a month. Oh. We're having all the COVID cancellated, cancellated, that's a new word, cancellated holidays all yeah. in one. <laughs> Amazing. For months. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be this gorgeous weather over there as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So you've got your maxi dresses and you've got Oh, your yeah, dresses yeah, funnily sorted. enough. I've just, I, I, just before it came to wear, I had a ding on my phone. And, yeah, that one's on its way. On its way. She's, got, she's been <laughs> shopping for holidays. This would be perfect to go alongside. Yeah, it really would. And it, and it really will, will take you through... Um, dust to uh, dawn to dust type of jewellery, yeah. won't it? You know. Yeah, totally. I'm jealous. We're not going on holiday now. We uh, do you know what? I should have been going next week. Really? We were meant to be going to Bali. <gasps> when are you going to Bali, Ross? Oh well, we had to cancel ours because it's actually pointless us going because we'd have to go over there and literally then isolate for a week. Well, we're only going for. Don't tell me it's been scrapped. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I'm really happy that you told me this information, Ross. 
It's all right, I didn't want to go to Bali anyway. No, of course nah, you didn't. No, I didn't Why want to go anyway. Go yeah. Didn't fancy it, actually. Just changed our minds, didn't we? <laughs> I would have been using the turquoise, though, if I was going to Bali. It's fine. That was meant to be our honeymoon. Never mind, never mind. Um, moving on to Obsidian. I love this cart. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, I'm not going to tell my husband that bit of information because he will literally cry. Um, obsidian, of course, a wonderful gemstone that forms from uh, ancient volcanic glass. You have this amazing luster. Now, ordinarily, we see obsidian in sort of like your rounds, don't we? Very red. We actually get these beautiful, dramatic, very 1920s bicone-like shapes. Loving this cut. In fact, I'd go as far as saying it probably is one of the first times I've actually seen obsidian in this cut. Isn't it dramatic? Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, flight to Bali. What's that? Flight to Bali. Too long, Al. Yeah, thank you, Kathy. Thank you. You're trying to make me feel that much better. It, and we were actually thinking it's going to be a nightmare with Tiggy. Willow is all right. You can just literally stick an iPad in front of Willow. But Tiggy, who um, is 16 months old, not so much. Not so much. She would have been a nightmare. Well, it was meant to be flight from here to Singapore, um, three days in Sing no, four days in Singapore, and then over to Bali. But yeah, it would have been a nightmare, wouldn't it? Yes, to yes. be honest, yes. Yes, yes. So yes. hindsight, it's probably a good thing, but I just, I just still would like to... Instead of going to Bali, you can go somewhere else beginning with a B in England, couldn't you, like Birmingham? Birmingham, <laughs> I could go Birmingham, to Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, do you know why I was excited to go to Bali? I adore orangutans. Oh, of course, And I wanted yes. to go and see the orangutans. Never oh. mind. We'll go, we'll go there's, always, there's next year. There's always next year. 9.99, need to check out on this one. How many do we have, Roscoe? 20 of these. Morning, Lincolnshire. Morning, Paula. Hello to you, London, Karen, Maker, Jocelyn. Uh, nice to have you. Where, where can I go instead of Bali? There you go. There's, there's somewhere, one, and I can't remember which one it is now, but there's somewhere in the UK that I went to, and there's an island in the middle of the lake. It's one of the theme parks. Things, oh, okay. like Thorpe Park or somewhere like that. And there's an orangutan lives on the island on oh my God. own. Yeah. Right. That's it, I'm going there. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it for you. Yeah, go and see that orangutan. Never mind Bali. <laughs> Never mind Bali. Go Do you know what? Do you know, as long as I see an orangutan, I'm actually quite happy. Yeah. I will be happy. Aren't they adorable? Uh, London, you're there as well. West Midlands, congratulations to you. Lovely long strand. I know it's not saying it on your graphics, but this is a full 38 centimetres. I'm feeling, because it, cause it's quite 1920s vibes, maybe alongside something like your pearls. Gorgeous. Absolutely. And that, that African turquoise would be lovely with it. Yes, well. yes. I've got, still got that here, so let me grab it. Let me grab it. Something like that. Oh, yeah, yes. That would be lovely using um, uh, either or as a spacer. Wouldn't yeah, it? amazing. We only had 20, though, so don't, uh, don't, don't sit on your laurels. Is that the same? Yeah, it's quite a uh, Bournemouth. Yes, I love Bournemouth. I love the South Coast. Um, I was, I, I keep hinting to my husband to move to the South Coast, actually. Um, yeah, I do love it. It's beautiful down there. It reminds me, Julie, of when, uh, w w when my dad was still alive and we ha he had a boat on the South Coast and we used to go down and spend weekends down there just potting around. Love Bournemouth. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 9.99 only to get hold of this. It is our. It, 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 it's the it's the south of France, isn't it? Pretty much. Very much in so. In the UK version. Yeah, yeah, Stunning. yeah. Yeah, you, you if you transpose <coughs> the weather. Yeah. That's exactly what you've got. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, okay, moving on to. Hess. Wow. Oh, those are gorgeous. Do you know what? This is Hessenite, but. It's hessonite with a bit of specetite, if that makes sense, because it's kind of that borderline, it's that borderline citrus, orangey-like mm. colour. It'll come from the fact that they are microfaceted, so obviously cools down, so maybe the sort of darker, browner tones. Seven pounds and 90 pence. Isn't that beautiful? That's incredible. I love garnets, all of your garnets. I think they, they are my, it's my favourite gemstone family to discuss, because of this, that's natural. Yeah. That is natural. And it's stunning. It's stunning, stunning, stunning. They would look amazing threaded on to, um, I think, a point 0.4. You can try a point 0.6, but thread and make your own hoop earrings. They would just literally oh. be sparkly. That's all just those on a hoop. Oh, beautiful. I can't, I can't believe Ross is saying this, but he's, mm -hmm. he has. He said, let's go even lower. 
I mean, yeah, they are that dispersive. You would think they're maybe cinnamon zircon. Yeah, I totally agree with you there. Six pounds and 99 pence. Eight carrots. Use these as a spacer. If you're, if you're maybe a little bit nervous of your micro gemstones, firstly, they, they jump onto um, gauges of wire, don't they? Yes. They literally jump on there. Um, you can use them with your micro elastic, you know, the finer yeah. gauge of elastic. Exactly. You can use it with your silks. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, and waterfall them either in a oh. pencil or earrings or whatever. I mean, look at the, just look at the brilliance this is on them. they just exquisite. And look at the uniformity of colour. Yeah. Do you know what I'm transfixed by? Literally the back of the screen right now. Yeah. I'm looking to the back where it's ever so slightly out of focus and you can just see that constant light performance, both on the exterior of the gemstone, but also internally. 6 99 and we've got a clock ticking away as if to suggest we are going even lower. How many have we got? 80 of these available. Big quantity of them for your viewers' choice hour. If there's any of these left, I'm going to get them. And do you know what I'm going to use them alongside? Something like your metallic pearls. You know, literally pop one, just one, in instead of a knot, in between your metallic pearls. Put those big pearls with them there. Whoa. These big, beautiful pearls. Here we go. Hello, Jill. I absolutely love Garnet oh. too well. Stunning with aquamarine. Oh, yes. Looking fab today, lady, says Jill. Oh, thank you, Jill. Aren't you lovely? <laughs> aren't you lovely? I feel tired today. We're all feeling a little bit tired today, aren't we? Just a little bit, yes. A little bit one degree and, uh, in tiredness. Yes, yes. Just like I needed maybe a little bit longer. A little bit longer in bed. I think actually I just, I, I completely slept the whole night and then when the alarm went off I thought, ah, I know, what? I <laughs> Sometimes my alarm goes off and I don't know what on earth I'm doing. Do you ever just get wake up and stand yeah. there for a bit like this? Yeah, absolutely. What's my name? Absolutely, who what am I? What day of the week yeah. is it? That was me this morning. Check out your baskets. Look at that. Oh, th again, Jill, that is why we love Garnet. It's just scintillating and natural and vibrant and juicy and rare so rare and yet we're bringing it to you at four pounds and 99 pence unbelievable i don't blame you sarah for getting 10. i'm I, i'd be curious to know what you're going to do with that 10. are you going to use them all in one amazing piece Ooh, yes. or are you going to use these maybe um individually single them out maybe like little beautiful decorative separations i don't want to say spaces because there's so much more than that london sarah hello to you danzy bell what a pretty name danzy bell uh, hi jill omg those bells are amazing aren't they I know, I know, absolutely beautiful, and they are coming up within the show as well, Jill. Um, hello, Sarah. If you want orangutans, you want Monkey World in Dorset. Now, it's funny you say that, Sarah. Is that your neck of the woods? Is it down in Dorset? I think it is. I feel, I've, it's definitely on the south coast, I know that. Um, funny enough, my husband, Tom, did actually say that. He was like, right, don't worry, uh, we'll go to the Monkey World. Um, I love Monkey World. Do you remember the programme, Monkey World? Yes. See, yeah. Tom's... Tom's Grand Sybil. She's got the cutest name, isn't she? She's literally <laughs> the cutest name. Uh, Granny Sybil. She used Granny to Sybil. literally watch Monkey World repeatedly because she was obsessed oh. with them. I need to go down to Monkey World. Yeah, we, um, we were in Barbados one year. We had a, um, like a, a house where a few of us went and unbeknownst to us, there were monkeys in the garden. So it was a sort of house, garden, beach. And this one morning I came down, I was the first one down and Honestly, honestly, I'll never forget this. There was a monkey sitting on the floor eating the bananas out of the fruit bowl. And yet the ah. trees were full of them outside. He's eating yours. Eating ours. He's yeah. eating yours. Oh, yeah. that's wonderful though. I bet you sat there going, is that nice? So yeah, there's no way you approach them when they're eating a banana. No, 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 no. Um, I missed that message, by the way. Sorry. I missed that last message. Uh, we'll bring that back. I did see. Um, ooh, eh, what's this one? Morning, girls and fab crew. You're talking about uh, a long lead, uh, where you it. can take a boat trip on a lake no, and the gorilla, gorilla lives on the island. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Sarah. Love that. Is it a gorilla? Just one gorilla? Yes. Just one single yeah. gorilla? Yeah. Oh, and he's, 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 he's huge. Absolutely. They're impressive, huge. aren't they? Absolutely amazing. Do you know what else is impressive? 100 wow. inches of pink amethyst. Look, at, I've seen some lovely tree of lives on the wall of fame of late. This would be perfect maybe to create something. Look at that colour from there. Um, to create maybe like a wisteria. 
Like Do you know, Elle, I absolutely, for me, these are the chips and nuggets that we had years ago, aren't they? Yeah. They're these ones that look like ice. They don't do, they? don't they? They're absolutely gorgeous. I love these. Um, like, and, and I'm just thinking, dispersing the hessonite <coughs> and having a really sort of, um, you know, twisted necklace or a very closely um, dropped, graduated, but... Look, I put in. Oh yeah, that's amazing, in. isn't it beautiful? Those and it, this this strand goes to show as well, everybody, that just because they are a chip and a nugget and they're not calibrated doesn't mean you're not getting the quality. You can see how crystal clear that clarity is. Seven pounds ninety nine. And um, can I just can I just make one statement? Seriously, that's a hundred inches. We wouldn't have sold our uh, you know years gone by. Our thirty eight centimeter strands of nuggets wouldn't have been seven ninety nine especially not in pink amethyst. You've got 100 inches, 400, 390 to be exact. Carrots of beautiful wisteria, purples, but with that, with that little soup song of pink running through. 7.99, Patricia, Joanne, Worcestershire, Michelle, Natalie, Colleen, new customers, Sarah in West Yorkshire. Uh, Devon, you're there. Stay with you, I can see you on those phone lines. Uh, Poncho. Uh, the orangutan is in Dudley Zoo. Oh, and that's just around the corner for me. Yeah. I, I didn't know they had an orangutan at Dudley no, Zoo. No, I didn't, actually. Poncho, oh, the orangutan. Poncho. Poncho. <laughs> oh, I love, I'm going to love him all the more. I love him all the more just because he's called Poncho as well. <laughs> They're so cute, aren't they? Isn't it funny how you do have these favourite animals? My, um, my one great uh, granddaughter, Ruby, she, she, she said to me the other day, Nanny, she said, when I'm a little bit older, she said, and, I, and I've got um, a Saturday job. I don't know where that came from. Oh, but somebody must have been talking about a Saturday job. I'm going to buy an armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> she likes armadillos. They are very funny. <laughs> they are quite cute, oh, aren't they? God. Uh, sloths are another one. <laughs> I love a sloth. I think they've oh, just got the God. right attitude to life, really. Yeah, they, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Especially, do you, do you want to see my sloth impression? Hang on just, I mean, it's really important whilst we're talking about amazing amethyst that I show you my sloth. <laughs> okay, so bear with me, bear with me. I'm just going to turn to one side. All right, ready? <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they they're do. always just that they've always got that really gormless cute smile um anyway let's move on back to the gemstone shall we we're going to do something extra special says ross look at ross bringing it back to the gemstones thank oh. you ross this is why you're the professional um neon appetite you love this gem and i know why um i do as well but i, I have i say every single time and i, I you could be probably shouting at tv screens right now what's the average carrot weight of neon appetite what is it? 0 0.15. Minuscule. Minuscule sizes. And yet here we are looking at a staggering 102 carat strand. Look at that colour. I want to dive into this strand. It is that delicious. Talking about holiday destinations. This is the crystal clear blues um, that surround the Bahamas. As you, oh, sorry, Barbados, as you said earlier on. Now, what's the number one valuing factor of Neon Appetite? You don't have to take my word for it. Look, the value of appetite depends primarily on colour saturation. So specimens with a high colour intensity command the best price. Size does matter when it comes to appetite since finding large stones weighing over one carat is extremely rare. Hold that thought, hold that thought. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. So what's the average carat weight of these then? If you've got 102 carats and 28 stones, 28. It's over a carat. Mm. 3.64 carats on average each stone has it got the color yes does it have the size absolutely oh my goodness i want i literally want to dive into these we've closed this strand at the price that is on your screens which is incredible by the way but today we have 50 available 
and we're going to do lowest ever price tag clearance deals again imagine this because it is so lagoon blue i simply have to put the pills with it what is that ross what is that i thought you said you loved neon appetite yeah i thought you said you loved it what have you done that that is a dirty price frankly wow that's i mean i love our ross but seriously what's that all about ross he says he's not feeling good about himself right now. Twelve ninety nine. I mean, look at the. You can. This is a strand of appetite that you can actually see into. Yes. Aren't you? It's not so uh, opaque that it's. No, not at all. And, and a lot of the time it is opaque with that neon that neon colour, but you can actually look into it, and it's almost resin esque in a way. You know, isn't it? It, it, it literally reminds me of the Great Barrier Reef. Yes. It's yeah. those kind of colours, isn't it? Those beautiful deep blues with the swirls of green within. If these don't sell out, uh, and I won't, get, I won't be thanked for saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. If these don't sell out, I am not too disheartened because I'll get them at that price tag. You know, I was happy at 49.99, but at 12.99, that's frankly ridiculous. There's 3.6 carats in each stone on average. And the average carrot weight of a neon appetite is 0.15. That was the jewelry editor. Those, that's the, 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 you know, that article, over a three carat stone, 46p. What are we doing? What are you doing, Russ? What are you doing? You say you love, this is one of your favorite stones. He says, I feel dirty. Maya, Glynis, Cheryl, Nina, Helen, Beverly, Marie, Helen, Lincolnshire, uh, Midlothian. Lovely to be with you all. West Midlands, Debbie, Michael. Hello to you, Sharon, new customer. Lincolnshire, new buyer. Unbelievable quality. Incredible size. Again, this is not my words. This is taken as a paragraph from the jewellery editor, which I would highly recommend to anybody that wants to expand their knowledge on gemstones. And also it kind of tells you which gemstones are, are sort of en vogue um, at the moment. Value of appetite depends primarily on colour saturation. So specimens with a high colour intensity uh, command the best price. Size does matter when it comes to appetite since finding large stones weighing over a carat is extremely rare. Um, you've definitely got that. Morning, Davinia. Morning. Can you tell us how many are on the strands of the... Uh, 28, darling. 28. So on average, which are, uh, yeah, averaging at 3.6 carats each. Amazing, absolutely amazing. That's working out at about 46p per stone. 46p? That just about gets you a coffee in our vending machine. Oh, Just gosh, about. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, well done. And again, alongside those pearls. Look at these sapphires that are coming up today in about 15 minutes' time. I'm getting these as my birthstone. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Um, you do get the pair of exquisitely colour matched, genuine sapphires. These are in your rose cup, which basically means you get much of the carrot weight on the top of the stone, as opposed to it all being held in the pavilion and coulee. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? And we're bringing them to you at the most amazing, unfathomable price tag. It's happening in about 15 minutes. Um, you can shop ahead, though, to make sure that you don't miss out. In terms of quantity, I've got 97 of those available for you this morning. Unbelievable. Love those. Love, love, love those. Should we do some triple A grade lapis lazuli? Oh, so what, what gives those triple A's? Colour, oh. colour, colour. And this is the pinnacle. This is what lapis lazuli aspires to look. Totally and utterly natural. <coughs> no enhancement whatsoever. We can submerge lapis lazuli in dye uh, to achieve uh, that pinnacle of quality. That was not needed. This is all Mother Nature's doing. And we say every single time, um, fine quality lapis lazuli should look like the Vincent van Gogh painting Starry Night. That's what it should look like. And it always gets me singing that Don McLean song. Which if is... you put the Hessonite garnet with it, you've got that painting. Oh, oh, it's gone. Oh, okay. You can't then. But you, it, that is you, on you it can see. I mean, if Vincent van Gogh mixed those two colours together, I mean, what is there to argue? Nothing, is there? Nothing. And you could call it the Vincent piece. You could, the Vincent piece, yes. You could. Yeah. I would like a Vincent collection, yes. I think. You could, uh, that, all the artists, because they would all look, look so different. You could have a Gustav Klent. 
Oh, yes, please. Yeah, you can yes, have a Vincent please. van Gogh. Yeah. You yeah. can have a Monet. Yeah, well, all the Impressionists plus Gustav Klimt, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I love that idea. Should we, we should do, do it. it. Should we do it, Lily? Yeah, let's do it together. Let's do it together. Yeah. That sounds like a fun show. Yeah. Maybe like, yeah, we do a little showcase of kits and pieces of jewellery inspired yeah, by the artist. We can show the painting that inspired it. We're doing it. We're totally doing it. We'll just pop to the museums or yeah, the yeah, art yeah. galleries. Oh, yeah. and do, it, do it, you know, on, um, on location. Yeah, and of course, on location, we'll need the director and the producer and everything uh -huh. so that we know that, yeah. And of course, we'll need the wine, of course, won't oh, we? Yeah. Yes. I mean, I can't, you know. Oh, yeah, wine and probably, the inspiration you know, some the sort of um, posh nibbles. Yeah. You know, when you're standing by the Mona Lisa, we probably need to do one of inspired by uh, Leonardo. As Leonardo, well. yeah, 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 yeah. So a nice glass of rosé will really help with that creativity. Oh, it will. Um, Seven ninety nine. Check out your baskets. It's triple A graded. Look at the quality here. It is that deep, beautiful. And many people describe it as cobalt blue, but to me, this is electric blue. Very much so. It is that blue that those artists prior to the sort of 17th century <coughs> were emulating to get in a pigment. Well, they used to use and this gemstone. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, ooh, Michelangelo, there's another one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the Sistine Chapel. Yeah. yeah, there's the other one we have to do. What do we think about this idea, jewellery makers? I think we should totally roll, run with it and actually have like a, you know, a crew uh, um, field trip to actually make it possible. Wendy, Maureen, Christine, Lincolnshire, Jennifer, Sally, Elizabeth, Susan, North Yorkshire. Check out your baskets. How many did I have? 40 of these. You know the cuff as well that I keep showing, um, the rose quartz cuff? That's that ladder weave. It's about, I don't know, an inch and a quarter maybe wide. And mm -hmm. then you've got the tassel at the bottom. Imagine that in this. And the tassel, yeah. And, and with those glorious, glorious pearls. Again. <laughs> oh. Look. That's incredible. They're actually, actually, the pearls are picking up the blue. You can see They're reflecting that, it, aren't yeah. they? That's the quality incredible. of both of these strands. And it would literally just be threading them onto silk. Yeah. You could do that, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super, super, super duper simple. Um, amazing. Let's bring you... Oh, now, this is magnesite. I don't want anyone to be um, confused. Magnesite, but it's the Sleeping Beauty colour. Now, a strand like this, if it were Sleeping Beauty turquoise, four figures, all day long, all day long, because I actually stood at a trade show fair in Tucson, where if you're going to find Sleeping Beauty turquoise, it would be there, and it had security guards. Um, it has that beautiful, iconic robin egg blue that the Sleeping Beauty turquoise mine offers, but instead of it having the Sleeping Beauty turquoise price tag, it's in another amazing gemstone that is your magnesite. I, what? One ninety nine. I love this strand. I love it. Again, Gorgeous. it's sand between your toes, cocktail in hand. Totally. I mean, you know, it's got that Sleeping Beauty colour, but this is a genuine gemstone. gemstone. Yes. Um, and magnesite's, uh, it's, a, it's a fabulous, it's a chameleon of a gemstone, isn't it? I think it? so. Yeah, I love it. And you get the same, visually, it's almost identical to turquoise, yeah. visually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all um, those, um, all, the, all the markings and everything, mm -hmm. all, it's, that's there in the stone. That hasn't been painted on or no. dyed on. They're there already. Yeah, yeah, it's the colour that's, that's been sort of impregnated within the stone itself. I want to get this. I'm thinking this would make the most amazing Marla necklace. And again, I would use it with pearls. Oh, yes, definitely. Alongside pearls, yeah. maybe a pearl tassel, I think. It's very underestimated, you know, magnesite. Um, and, I mean, at that price, I mean, at, as you said earlier, L, I mean, at one ninety nine, we'll, we'll, we'll spend £2 easily and for nothing, won't we? Yeah. You know, in a car park for an hour. <coughs> True. True. It's tr <laughs> I've just clicked why Adam was laughing. <laughs> uh, amazing. Yeah, totally, though, no, totally. Uh, stay where you are on those phone lines. Oh, we're about to do what? The curb chains? Gold, rose, and then silver. So we have it in all three colours. Oh, I need some of these. Uh, they are 925. So we have exactly the same design in the three different colours. We've got how many? Oh, there's only 10 of each. So you'll need to be quick on these. Aren't they beautiful? 
9.99 you've got a classic uh 18 centimeters which is seven inches uh, i think seven inches but of course you could very be in jewelry makers you can very easily add and extend a chain if you wanted to um it's your it's your perfect bracelet for your charms mm -hmm. it's the perfect bracelet linda for your amazing bubble stars. bubbles yeah absolutely and also it's a standalone bracelet as well yeah. because layering and layering of chain is really um this season's look is on vogue yeah absolutely nine pounds 99 for four grams of sterling silver there yeah. are 10 of these if there's any left come the top of the hour i'm all over them yeah i'm absolutely all over them because these would be nice easter gifts just before i came into work today popped off uh, my uh, little local quick shop it's open very early in the morning um i got got a few bits for breakfast whatnot picked up a coffee picked up an easter egg for willow's teacher um 10 pounds yeah yeah. An easter easily, egg. yeah easily. 10 pounds i think she'd prefer the, the jewelry she would. she'll probably get a lot of chocolate i don't think i know she would yeah exactly because let's face it there's no calories in that bracelet at all is there so no just sheer beauty and it's going to last a lot longer it's going to last look i mean beautiful 10 pounds but i got five pound off using my club card there we go so it's not <laughs> i did at least at least i made some saving on this <laughs> one it's on the verge of selling out now let's bring you the rose gold and i'm just going to hold it alongside so you can see that it is from the part of the same collection and i have got the silver that's coming up in a in a moment's time this one sold out did you say oh almost 10 pounds look at that right onto the rose gold which has that little hint of blush pink a little bit of copper okay. added into the plating of your precious metal um very complimentary of all your skin tones many people actually say about your rose gold and also incredibly popular at the moment i can see why um certain gemstones i think work with certain precious metals rose gold is one of those that i think works across the board it does um i, I don't know whether i've been on the show with you since but i i had a revelation um a two or three months ago whereby when i use amethyst it has to be rose gold it just has to be for me i can see why yeah it just it's just <coughs> it's just a necessity yeah rose gold with it's the pink isn't it the yeah. presence within the amethyst yeah, yeah. yeah totally I, I get it nine pounds and 99 pence only i mean put one of your little one of your little charms on there or one little gemstone mm. or maybe you're going to load it up completely oh amazing absolutely amazing or with the pearls that we've got coming up let's do you the silver do you the silver <laughs> let's bring you the silver i apologize if my mum was watching she uh, back in the day she was, she would say it's terrible english <laughs> terrible terrible english i apologize um here we go so a little a few featherweight head pins coming up in the next hour um, a few featherweight head pins and just do your little clusters. Definitely. That would look lovely, wouldn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. These are flying out the door. Silver always is the most popular. I, I get that. I get that. Um, I think prime opportunity for me to show you this little guy as well. Ah, oh, that's uh, so cute. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. Is it definitely a him? He's definitely... <laughs> It is definitely a he. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't he be lovely suspended from your yes. sterling silver bracelet? Yeah. Oh, they've sold out. They've sold out. They've sold out. Oh, I picked up these pearls. We've lots of you have been asking about them, so we've got to bring them to end now. Um, there's a nice quantity of these. Um, lots of you have already pre-ordered and shopped ahead. We've already loaded the price tag for you. They're genuine culture pearls. We're not talking about faux synthetic glass or crystal pearls here or plastic. Genuine cultured pearls. Um, they're called ringed pearls. Although I actually think that's quite unfair because with, if, if, it's, if ringed is in the description, I would expect them to be quite pronounced, um, the sort of characteristics. But actually, they're very, it's minimal, really. It's minimal. I, I, I love them. I absolutely adore these pearls. I was working with a strand for... Um, uh, to be honest, my niece is getting married in July and I was working on a piece of jewellery for one of the bridesmaids using these ring pearls. And um, they're just so obviously real deal. Yeah. 
And at 7 is I mean, at the end of the day, if you've already got a stash of pearls, right, um, a stash of anything, really, but when you see um, in craft shows and things like that, don't forget that if you are selling in that, that stash isn't just for you, for your own use. You're yep. going to be passing it on somehow. So you should always get these serious, serious bargains because everybody knows the pearl. Oh, that's it. They, 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 we immediately recognise that yeah. as soon as you say no, they are genuine pearls. Yeah, and you can tell they're genuine pearls because of those yeah. markings. Flawless pearls are exactly that, really really expensive but i applaud this any day of the week well uh, you know we, we are embracing now more than ever we're embracing the pearls with the undulations absolutely with the with the, with the they're characteristics. the ones that are flying at the moment and certainly they're the ones that we're finding more difficult to get because china are keeping them yeah totally well you uh, you've got this duo coming up later on so imagine all of that in one piece oh goodness me and i would use them all together oh yeah oh my goodness me that's going to be absolutely amazing they're all coming up within the course of the show seven pounds what's that and uh, certainly just one of them actually on that bracelet that you saw a few moments ago we've yeah. got quantity of these but 7.99 they're not going to hang around again if i rewind three four years probably even, uh, even beyond that you wouldn't have seen cultured pearls at 7.99 then not of this size. Exactly, not at that size. Yeah, not of this size. Well done, well done. I'm shopping today. I'm shopping, I'm shopping. I'm definitely feeling alongside something like the Magnus. Oh, oh. that's beautiful. Mm. Wow. Three of those, one strand of that, and literally long line necklace. Ooh, yeah. Loving it, loving it, loving it. You can still get hold of them, but remember you've got, what, 19 minutes within this hour uh, to make your confirmations or until stocks last. Don't be shy. Come and say hello to Linda and I. We are live here in the studio. Where should I go on holiday? Because we actually haven't got anywhere booked now, which I'm really sad about because we need. I need a holiday. I definitely need a holiday. So give me your suggestions. And I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'll go. I'll go anywhere, really. I will go anywhere. Um, need your suggestions, though. The pink sapphire is coming up in one auction's time. Oh, my goodness me. Absolutely beautiful, that sapphire. Should we bring you some shell pearl? The beauty of shell pearl is that you are guaranteed, what, what Linda actually described a few moments ago, the perfect spherical shape, flawless surface at a fraction of the cost. They're also incredibly robust because they are made out of basically ground down shell and pearl. Maybe the pearls that get fractured during the drilling process um, or shell likewise, and they're reconstituted into the idyllic shape. Now, they work amazingly with, with mediums like seed beading and rosary linking, in fact, across the board, really. Yeah, and it's anything that you need in a piece of jewelry where you do require complete uniformity. Um, you know, be, a, 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 any pearl is absolutely gorgeous, but a shell pearl will give you that uniformity. Say you ladder weave and that, you're not going to get anything dog-legging out or anything like that. And it's the look for less, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. There's still Mother Nature materials. Uh, absolutely. I mean, I was just about to say that these are still organic, whereas, yeah. you know, the glass pearls, the resin pearls and things like that, yeah. these are still organic. <coughs> absolutely. It's just uh, uh, reconstituted those, those natural materials into this lovely shape. Loving the colour. We've described them as pale raspberry. Mm. You know, Chanel and Dior use these. Yeah. All the time. And how much all is Chanel time. and Dior piece? Exactly, of all the time. And, and, and that isn't, is, isn't transposed into the price of a Chanel piece. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, and they will say on their pieces, I was looking a few months ago at a different jewelry, and they will say faux pearl. Faux pearl, yeah. 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 4 99 Oh, my goodness. Now, ooh, this is the all-seeing eye. Oh, I love this. I actually launched this piece. Let me just grab my tweezers. Sorry, it's buried underneath my fruit. Sorry. Um, oh, I love this piece. Look how the cubic zirconia gives you the eyelashes. That's attention to detail. I love it. It is 925 sterling silver. Of course, the all-seeing eye. Much symbolism behind the all-seeing eye. Many people sort of question, well, why would I wear something that is evil? No, it's the opposite. It actually is, is believed to repel evil. Um, envious thoughts that may be projected towards yourself. 1.2 grams of 925 uh, sterling silver, 
How many have you got, Ross? 20. Put this on that bracelet that you had a few moments ago. Pop this on your sterling silver chains that you maybe got involved with on that deal of the day, that ridiculously amazing deal of the day. I mean, one of those on a 20-inch sterling silver chain that we brought the other day for what? Was it less than £4 a chain? Yeah. 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 So that means you can make this piece of jewellery, or, or much like it, for, what, £11? So they look absolutely exquisite as well with just one gemstone. Okay. So you've got that pendant, you've got that eye pendant, and one just... Any gemstone that you like, one gemstone there looks really pretty. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, again, much meanings and beliefs behind the all-seeing eye, very similar to the Hamza hand in terms of it's believed to ward off um, yeah, evil or negative or jealous thoughts that might be directed towards you or seven pounds and 99 pence only dawn davinia carol jennifer christine sarah sheila and jill good morning to you all stay with you i can see you on those phone lines uh, don't abandon those calls people getting quantities of these i had what do you say 21 20, 20, but a lot of you are choosing to multi-buy. Why wouldn't you? Because it's so commercial. Um, you've got the story of the piece of jewellery if you are thinking about gifts as well, straight away. You know, maybe you know someone that's had, a, had those uh, sort of feelings and emotions directed towards them. This would be a great gift. You've got 15 minutes to make your purchases within this hour, but it is time for the most exquisite early bird, brand new, premiering today. It just oozes femininity in class. It's time for the pink sapphire. <laughs> I've been so excited to bring you these. Ever since I, I, I saw them um, in, term, in, in the, in the build-up, I'm just opening this box up for you, um, in the build-up for today's show, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're absolutely gorgeous. To say I'm a little bit in love with them is an understatement. Sapphire. Well, we all know sapphire with little to no gem knowledge. We recognise this beautiful gemstone. Um, but many people actually don't realise that sapphire comes in a multitude of colours. It is not just the blue, you know, like uh, like the, the you know the historical royal engagement ring. Sapphire is regarded actually as a rainbow gemstone. You can have colourless, you can have yellow, you can have pink, you can have blue, you can have paparaccia, um, to name just but a few. But in terms of popularity of colour, yes, blue has always sort of uh, been that pinnacle of desirability. But actually, it has a rival. Pink sapphire is literally situated shoulder to shoulder alongside your blue, sa uh, blue sapphire in terms of popularity these days. And I found a wonderful website. Again, these aren't my words that I wanted to talk to you, uh, show you all at home um, about this opportunity. Pink sapphire, it, it starts, the epitome of a feminine and vibrant hue. Pink sapphires offer stunning light reflection, uh, reflection and a range of hues. Just for one second before I read on, you think about many blue sapphires, um, I'm not saying all, but some blue sapphires can be so deeply saturated that actually it loses its ability to bring you the brilliance that you get within a pink sapphire. We call that extinction. Pink sapphire, I mean, look at the picture on your screens right now. It literally plays with light, which is what I love. Um, and that's a salon sapphire that you're seeing in a radiant cut. Pink sapphires have been exponentially increasing in popularity as a modern and extremely flattering coloured gem gemstone. The colour pink exudes femininity and delicacy, coupled with an inner resilience and strength. All the various shades of pink are also some of the most universally complementary to all skin tones. Um, and people think, okay, normally they go, okay, well, it has to be the deepest, the darkest colour. Actually, that's down to personal choice. Um, again, if we read on, um, you'll, you'll see that. But it's personal preference in terms of the colour saturation. The most romantic, a most romantic stone, pink sapphires and, and pink sapphire engagement rings are set to have a massive year in 2019. Colour gemstones are becoming more and more popular, especially as younger generations in the world of entertainment adopt their beauty in their own engagement rings. Lady Gaga, Jennifer Lopez, Victoria Beckham, Blake Lively, uh, to name a few, have 
have all embraced colour gemstone engagement rings and pink has often been the colour of choice with pink sapphires and pink diamonds topping the list. Pink sapphires are recognised as having a variety of meanings symbolising good fortune, power through hardships, intense love and compassion and a subtle elegance. The vibrant colour has become quite popular for engagement rings as many modern weddings uh, trend towards blush and baby pink uh, colour schemes. Uh, I, like I said a few moments ago, to say I'm a little bit in love with this, uh, this opportunity is an understatement. Um, and I'm not alone in that. I think so many of us immediately think about pink sapphires and maybe that picture that you saw a few moments ago and literally swoon. When you imagine this gemstone, you could easily make this, by the way, is it, it's so easy to understand why pink sapphire is getting the recognition that it deserves when you look at pieces like this. Look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that amazing? Even down to the claws, pieces like this. Pieces like this. Pieces like this. Something like this. Or maybe something like this. Wow. Or this. Big names there. Harry Winston, Fabergé, Tiffany's and Co. Um, Chopard all working with pink sapphire. Well, pieces like this. It's absolutely exquisite. And you don't just get the one. Now, I know that there will be people watching right now thinking, Elle, I don't do gemstone setting. I've not done that yet. It's not something that's in my, uh, in my uh, list of, of mediums as of yet. Well, don't be excluded in this opportunity because the price that we are taking these two quite literally is, is so good, so amazing for the quality that you're getting. It's not sapphire that is heavily included. Um, it's sapphire with brilliance and color. I would get hold of it and maybe just keep it in mind for when you do master gemstone setting or maybe take it to a jeweler's if you wish because that's exactly what I'm thinking. The deal that we are about to bring you on some of the most exquisite, exquisitely colored, exquisitely eye clean, exquisitely faceted pink sapphire, and you're just getting the one, you are getting a pair, and we are no way near your early bird star by price. You know, I said earlier on that I'm shopping. This is the auction that immediately made me that make that decision. Because I was like, I can't miss out on those. Look at the quality of them. It's my birthstone. There's my excuse straight away. I'm going to stick to it. Even if I don't know, as of yet, what I'm going to do with these, I can't miss out on this opportunity because the quality of the sapphire is just astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. Now, we're going to start making our way towards your early bird price. And we're going to start by taking it under £50. £25 per stone. You know, look at that Fabergé piece that you saw at the end, that big cluster ring, that big cluster ring at the end, the one before this. Here we go. Now, it's, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. The use of the rose gold. You've got a mixture of your sapphire colours within there. Um, you've got some purple, you've got some magentas, and you've got your delicate pinks as well. Would we all agree? They've, I mean, they're amazing. You've got beautiful brilliance in every single one of those stones. Look at the brilliance and the colour that you're getting in your pair. And it's $49.99, but not stopping there. Are you ready for your early bird? There's just under 100 of these available. Half the stock has already been allocated. It's going to be available for five minutes. I'm going to be joining you on this opportunity. Two big, beautiful, exquisite rose cut, which basically means the bulk of the carrot weight is on the top of the gemstone as opposed to underneath. £29.99. pence. It shouldn't be that for one stone, let alone the two. I mean, Linda, you know a thing or two about gemstones. You know, you've got, you've got a beautiful jewellery collection yourself. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? This is fine quality. Oh, this is, this is high-end fine jewellery. Definitely indicative of any high-end jewellers on any 
Fifth Avenue, Dubai, um, Rodeo Drive, anything. If you imagine walking into a jeweler's of that ilk, let alone walking into a high street jeweler and being offered a pink flawless sapphire, just the one, for just under 15 pounds, right? And then set as an engagement ring. It just messes with your brain, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, and the finished thing itself would actually then be something like, well, it would be four figures, wouldn't it? It would have to be definitely. four figures. The jewellers that I worked at, look at this, oh my goodness, I've just seen, oh. Uh, the jewellers that I used to work at used to have pink sapphire, a very small pink sapphire collection, and they were all four figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All they, four figures. It, it's one of the top five, four originally, and now we're Tanzanite five, so it's one of the top five gemstones. Right. Is it any wonder pink sapphire has ricocheted in popularity? It deserves to be brushing shoulders alongside the blue sapphire. Dare I even say it? I love blue sapphire. It's my mum's engagement ring, so I've got it's my birthstone. I've got this immediate emotional attachment to blue sapphire. I prefer pink, though. I do prefer uh, the pink because it just, just uh, uh, those words that we read a few moments ago on that website. It is really the the, the epitome of femininity. Um, there we go. You can see exudes femininity and delicacy, coupled with an inner, inner resilience and strength. In 25 seconds, we're taking it even lower. Can I also just throw this one out there? I know this is granted on a website and it's also just literally a screenshot, but would we all agree your stone looks better than that one? Would we all agree there? The color, the light, the brilliance, it is a pop, yeah, absolutely, a pop of pink. And in six seconds, we're going even lower. I'm hoping there's some of these left for me to get involved with you as well. Maya, hello to you, Sarah, Anne, Cambridgeshire, Annie, Louise, Helen, lovely to be with you. Caroline, Janet, sorry, Sheila, Staffordshire, new customer, new customer in Kent, Tracy, Doreen and Leslie. Uh, that's 10 pounds a stone, 10 pounds. If I had two pairs of hands, is that a foot? You, if I had another hand, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I'd put another one the other side. Can you imagine diamond and two pink sapphires either side? Can you imagine that as a piece of jewellery? Amazing. It would be, wouldn't it? So one here and one here. Can you imagine that? I mean, the, the thing is as well, you know, with a price like that, it might, or it does, and it will mess with your brain. You know, yeah. to relate that price to something this high-end and exquisite. So if it does that, just... Get your certificate of authenticity. Yeah, exactly. Because there will be people thinking exactly. that this isn't this exactly. isn't actually happening. That's too good to be true. Yes, and 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 I, and I get it. I get why. It's you're one of those few that. occasions where too good to be true is exactly that. It's true. It's true. Yeah. It is totally true. It's genuine sapphire. You get your certificate of authenticity. It comes um, within the little case, the little gem case that you've seen me actually open, and you are guaranteed a pair of this amazing quality for under £20. There is a slight queue on the phone lines, jewellery makers, so be quick. Uh, bear with us, sorry. Um, on the phone lines, our call centre will get you as soon as they possibly can. You've got about two and a half minutes, though, to get hold of them, because remember, this is the first ever launch, and it is also viewer's choice. Um, so it's only available till the top of the hour. Uh, that being said, Anne-Marie, you will be answered. Alan, you will be answered. Sean, Christine, Gerald, uh, Leslie, sorry, Staffordshire, Tracy, new customers getting involved. Lots of you with it in your baskets. And I've got how many left? 25. I've got 25 um, available within the bolts, uh, vault. Sorry, Anne-Marie, stay where you are. Alan, stay where you are. Um, I'm going to bring you one little extra opportunity. There are 40 of these. Incredible. <gasps> Look at the amount of stones. You're getting 12. Morning, ladies. This is my uh, birthstone, too, and I'm looking forward to receiving it. Happy days. Oh, my. Um, yes. Wait until you see those sapphires, honestly. They are insane. They are ridiculous. But maybe you want some more cut stones. How about that? I mean, wow. Look at the red garnet. Zambian amethyst, aquamarine, absolutely beautiful diamond-like quartz, Sakota emerald, wonderful rainbow moonstone, ruby, you have your peridot, you have 
a blue sapphire, you have opal, you have citrine, and you have a sky blue topaz, all in this one amazing birthstone collection. This goes low, says Ross in my ear. It already is low. We've just taken pink sapphire to £10 per stone, which is ridiculous, frankly. It goes, what, what? There's more stones in here, though. And it goes lower than 20. There are 40 of these available. It's a six by four, calibrated sizes, so we bring you mounts for these stones on a regular basis. Uh, just a little bit of your gemstone setting. 17 pounds and 99 pence. Let's be honest, the ruby shouldn't be that. Let's be honest, none of them should be that. That single ruby on its own for 17.99, I don't think anybody would, would think that was, uh, was a, a big ask. Um, there are, the only downside is there are less than 40 and there's a lot of you there. Catherine, new customer, Tyne and Ware, Lanarkshire, Cambridgeshire, Elizabeth, new customer, Cleveland, nice to be with you as well. I mean, you can make the most personal jewellery from a collection like this, a parcel like this. Absolutely. I mean, um, at that price, then if you can afford to buy two, then you've got um, 12 pairs of matching earrings, haven't you? 12 pairs of matching earrings for less than 40 quid. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, genuine gemstone earrings mm -hmm. now we're talking And look about. at the quality of the gems. The clarity yeah. in the ones that have clarity and that gorgeous depth in the ones that are more opaque. The one that really, the one that's coming around now, that aquamarine, yes. is sensational. And the quartz, mine. The quartz, the pure quartz, that is, isn't yes. it? Yes. Pure quartz. I mean, uh, it, many people would actually struggle to see the difference between the quality of that quartz and a diamond. Many people would. Every single one. The opal, the beautiful qualities. Not one of them should be 17 99 but you are getting the entire parcel. Uh, hello to you, Diane and Tim. Hello to you, Gerald. Hello to you, new customer. Hello to you, London. Make sure you check out your baskets because time is of the essence. We're actually already being naughty and we're over 9 o'clock, but never mind. We'll leave the graphics in for you just uh, just now to get hold of your pink sapphire as well. It's time for us to show off your makes. It's the Wall of Fame. Uh, starting us off this morning is number 277. Stephanie, good morning to you, Stephanie. This is beautiful. I love that lariat. Um, hi all. I made this as an overhead long line necklace with one meter of sterling silver paper clip chain, which I got before Christmas. Um, it was an extra special deal for two meters of sterling silver. I added the Buddha head low down to join the chain and added a large jadeite pair and black jadeite six, uh, six mil um, on one end and a jadeite coin, black jadeite six mil on the other. It feels gorgeous to wear and as always, everything is from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all and that's from Stephanie. It's gorgeous, Stephanie. Loving that. 278 is from Anne. Oh my goodness, Anne. Look at that. That's amazing. Here is my entry. Uh, an over-the-head necklace made with a kiss cross style. Glass pearls in three sizes and 15-0, 11-0 and 8-0 crystal um, ABC beads purchased from Jewelry Maker. I would like to thank Mark for his brilliant tutorials. Good luck to all and keep well and safe from Anne. 279 is from Lynn. Morning to you, Lynn. Oh, again, beautiful. Is that grand digerite I see? Hi, all. It's lovely to be back. I have not had an entry for some time. Uh, this is Freshwater Pearls and my prized grand digerite coupled with sterling silver. Hope you like it. And that's from Lynn. Lynn, we absolutely love it. Number 280 is from Lorraine. Morning to you, Lorraine. Here is my latest make. Oh, loving that. Um, dyed jade and aquamarine knotted necklace with a toggle clasp. All components are from Jewelry Maker. Happy Jewelry Making, everyone. And that's from Lorraine. Loving those colours. 281 is from Simon. Morning to you, Simon. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Please find attached my entry to for this week's Wall of Fame. Um, it's a filigree style pendant and earring set made using base metal be bezels set with, uh, oh, see if I, uh, chameleon powder resin um, on 925 sterling silver chain and silver shepherd hook earrings. Many thanks, and that's from Simon. That's amazing, Simon. Uh, 282 is from Sue. Hello to you, Sue. Um, beautiful. 
Hi, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame, aquamarine tumbles with aquamarine nuggets and a few fresh water pearls. All is from JM. Thank you, Sue. That's beautiful. Absolutely loving the texture of that piece. 283 is from Stella. Oh, wow. Stella, that's absolutely beautiful. Here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Jadeite and gold-plated sterling silver pendant. All JM products from across the years. We love it. We love it. We love it. I hope you're watching for today's show. Um, and I know this lovely lady is. 284 is from Julie Dudley. Amazing wire work, Julie. Hello again. Uh, for my entry to the Wall of Fame this week, I have used a carved labradorite that I bought from you a few years ago and wrapped it in sterling silver wire. This one was a birthday present for my auntie on Monday. Good luck to everyone entering the draw this week. Love and best wishes from Julie in beautiful Isle of Wight. I love that. Um, 285 is from Angela. Amazing, Angela. I love the photography, too. Um, this week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a necklace using size 11 seed beads in pink and chartreuse and crystal bicones. All components are from Jewelry Maker. Love and luck to you all. And that's from Ange up in Yorkshire. Uh, last but by no means least, oh, wow, is from Alison. Dear all at JM Towers, Thank you for the extra joy over the last few weeks. Formats and products have been super. Uh, couldn't wait to try the Monica Flower design. I hope you like it. It was done on a dull day, which brought such brightness. Um, equally, I've been blown away with the photo box. I think I shall be delving back through my makes to rediscover how to uh, image them and feel uh, sorry, photograph them and feel proud. Thanks for all you do and the inspiration of the fellow Woffers and the JM Facebook happy community. That's from Alison. Loving that, Alison. And you're all so, 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 so talented. Um, guess what? It's the draw. I was I've been really lucky lately, you know, Linda. Mm -hmm. Really lucky. Um, and one of our lovely viewers messaged me uh, literally the day before. And then Mark spoke about her on air, and then I pulled her out as the winner. Wow. I know. It was like, doo 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 doo. Right. I feel lucky for you all today. Got to give it a good spin. Who do. Oh, let's have a little look. I've, I'm usually lucky in pulling out people that I actually read out that day as well. I've got one. <laughs> the winner of this week's Wall of Fame. Oh, I haven't read it out. Is number 239? Charlie Green. So, who was that? Charlie Green. Charlie Green. You are our winner for the Wall of Fame today. Congratulations to you. Let's do a runner up. Let's do a runner up. <laughs> our runner up today is winning £50 credited to their jewelry maker account. Did we do this? <gasps> Did I do it today? <laughs> 285. It's Angela Smith. Wow. Well done. Well done. 50 pounds is credited to your jewelry maker account. Amazing. Amazing. I do love this part. Uh, of, of the week when we give away jewellery maker money. Congratulations. Now, you can still get hold of the pink sapphires. Um, we can put the graphics on your screens right now. Coming up after the break, we have the launch of those absolutely beautiful porcelain beads with Linda's amazing kits. Stay with us. Wonderful demonstrations and, of course, savings. We'll be back after this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, jewellery makers. Oh, look who it is! It's Brummers! <laughs> Sorry, that just rubbed off because that's what Adam said in my ears. Oh, OK. All right, then that's absolutely fine. Are you, have you been called Brummers before? Oh, loads of times. Have you? Yeah, my husband has always been called Bo for Bo Brummel. Um, I'm, uh, I live in, in um, a lane that's Lady Byron Lane. And I had a letter the other day for Linda Bumwell of Lady Lion Lane. I think <coughs> that should go in a book. <laughs> <laughs> Just Lady Bumwell? La yeah, Lady Bumwell of Lady Lion Lane. Surplus of L's that day. Love that. Absolutely love that. Was it an authoritative letter or was it? It was one from a catalogue <coughs> that you get every day. Oh, amazing. Um, um, <coughs> you started me off then. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Now, we're about to launch these beautiful porcelain kits. But just before we do, in uh, about 45 minutes time, we are launching some beautiful master carved type A Burmese jadeite, including the natural type A teddy bear, you have also this beautiful Buddha, absolutely exquisite. Then you have the, the fan. I just think that's so that stunning. Fan. Yes, look at that. Oh, with the bird. Yeah. Oh, how amazing. And of course, Jake will be talking us through each of these pieces. You have the lovely little cherub. Oh, oh we'll talk about the bear. Oh, look at him. He's the cutest. He is the cutest, totally natural type A black jade. It's incredible. He's so um, sort of eg enigmatic, if that's the word. He looks like he's ready to sort of go on a little um, mark. He has mark got character. Yes, yeah, it's, it's his arms, I think. Yeah, loads and that. loads of. Um, he's actually like a, a, a two-year-old. He's a bit like a bit like Tiggy. Yeah. She goes, no. <laughs> oh, she does that, yeah. You've just perfectly described my child. Yeah, she does exactly that. Um, it's the arms down by the side. <laughs> yes. 
Here's the cherub. Look at him. Oh, it's so cute. Just the right proportions. He is. And look at his face. With his fat dummy. Oh, and the little hands then across. Um, we're mentioning everything here, aren't we? Em everything apart from one area. But, you know, you got literally, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, full of sentiment, full of meaning, of course, the cherub itself. Definitely. Full of meaning. All being launched today with your gem investor, Jake Thompson. I'm so excited about these pieces, I have to tell you. Um, if I can, if there's any available, then I'm all over each and every single one of those designs. And I actually feel like it's, that's, you know, it, 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 it's the world's rare, well, one of the world's rarest ever gemstones, but then also placed into the hands of master carvers. That's a double whammy opportunity, yeah, really. So, yeah, um, so. so well done, even in advance, for those people that managed to get hold of those. Now, look at these. Just uh, this piece here is my, is my favourite. It's just so beautiful, isn't it? So wearable, so pretty, um, so simply designed, really. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. That's gorgeous. Them. And do you know what? I can immediately imagine people wearing that. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I can actually imagine. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's the kind of piece that I also visualise maybe being discussed on Antiques Roadshow in future, um, in future years. Um, now, these have never been on our screens before. It comes across three different kits. Um, beautiful porcelain alongside pearls and sterling silver. Now, just so you know, there is... 100 or below in terms of the quantity. So the one that I'm starting with, the rice and two strands, uh, the rice porcelain beads and the two strands of pearls, there's only 80. That's not enough. It's not enough at all, um, which has obviously made this beautiful piece. I love that. I absolutely love that. So you're exposing the silk as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And sort of putting that, that apricot stroke orange silk in, um, gives it a sort of a form of, well, it's very much part of the design, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And we spoke earlier on about por uh, porcelain has been incorporated into jewellery for centuries, literally for centuries. Uh, those who that do watch Antiques Roadshow will have certainly heard uh, the jewellery experts actually talking about porcelain. Um, and a few price comparisons, you know, these are beautiful hand-painted porcelain beads. You know, look at prices like this. Look at the prices of these beautiful, I mean, they're amazing, but £250, £50 for one single porcelain bead, um, giving seeds, and you've got, yeah, I mean, it's lovely. It's absolutely gorgeous. But that's a lot of money, isn't it? Mixed in with some pearls, I can show you another example. Quite reminiscent, actually, to, uh, to, 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 to Linda's uh, pieces. So let's have a look. With pearls, nearly 400 US dollars. And that's one single, one single bead. So if you look at, is that going to cost you $400? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Now, we're going to do a 60-second countdown to the kits. There are 80. There are 80 of them available. Because they're porcelain, you've got a nice, generous drill hole. Very much so. I'll show everybody what we're getting, Linda, and then I'll, I'll sort of pass the baton over to you. Every one will be, will be slightly individual. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Of course, and I'm trying to show you different ways around these. Let's see if that one will stand up. Come on, be good. There we go. Then you have your pearls. It's the most perfect combination, isn't it? I think so. Ah. Oh. So when you heard that you were going to be uh, given the launch of the porcelain beads, your reaction? Well, the thing was, that that's exactly what I was told, uh, the porcelain beads. I wasn't given a photograph, a description or anything. So actually, when I got them, um, I was... I totally fell in love with them straight away. It's yeah. that blue and white, you know, that original Chinese porcelain with the blue and white. Um, and I mean, they are so beautifully oh, engineered, so beautifully system. made yeah. that um, they're just exquisite. I, I really can't say more than that. Hand painted. Yeah, they are hand painted. You can see that. If you study them, you can very much see they're hand painted. Amazing. Yeah. So each one is going to be individual. Um, I absolutely love that. Hand-painted individual porcelain beads alongside the strands of your pearls. Um, 
it, it, it's quite nostalgic to me because when I actually look at these, it reminds me of my uh, my grandmother had yeah, sort yeah. of the, the had some like the willow pattern. And yeah, had the willow that, pattern, yeah. but also had like little va uh, yeah. vases that were painted in this kind of Chinese. Yeah, um, it, you know, it's one of those situations of what 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 sort of goes round comes round. Yeah, and you porcelain at the moment is um, particularly things like sea pottery and all that sort of thing. It's yeah. really, really, really on trend. Um, through high street, through high end fashion, whatever. Um, but these are specifically designed and made for jewellery, and I just think they're absolute. You know, you imagine for Easter giving somebody oh, that's those exactly what beads I'm thinking. for Easter rather than an Easter egg. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, my uh, my granddaughters have got this gorgeous doll's house, which I bought them um, just after Christmas, and I can just see those, you know, sort of jardinier things yeah. in the house. and, and little Oh, things. beautiful. Just, just little things that pop into my head. That you know, I'm, vis I'm visiting my aunt on uh, uh, over Easter, who, um, yeah, it's, it, 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 it's, she's, she, she loves Easter, absolutely loves it, and loves to get the family together as well. And I was actually thinking, I'm going to give her something other than an Easter egg. Yeah. Um, so this kind of kit would be absolutely really, really perfect, would. wouldn't yeah, it? Really would. Really because it, I can imagine her actually wearing it. Sixty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. They're two brand new premier strands of cultured pearls, and you have three of your hand-painted ceramic drum beads. Now they measure, just so you can get an idea of scale, seventeen by twenty-seven millimeters. So, I mean, they're statement pieces. You oh, could yeah, literally just have one, like yeah, you have here. Definitely. Um, yeah. You could have just one in a, in, in a, yeah. in a piece of jewellery. Yeah. Because they've got the large drill holes through the centre um, of the ceramic beads, could they almost work in, in, a, in a connector, uh, you know, to create maybe, I'm thinking the start of like a, a swathe of pearls? Totally, totally. They can do whatever you um, envisage in your mind. Um, you can you could use that as a tassel top. You could use that as a guru bee. Oh, nice! In Amala, couldn't you? We exquisite for that actually. Yeah. Um, but obviously, you can incorporate it through a chain, so it looks like very much part and parcel of a chain, um, or drop from a chain, or you can. I mean, be gorgeous on a choker actually, a three pearl choker yeah, with got... that with that one in the middle. Amazing! First time ever bringing them to you. Hand painted. Porcelain beads, we had 80 of them. There's two strands of genuine cultured pearls to go alongside this kit as well. And at £29.99, pence, that's £10 each. You saw that other website that had hand-painted ceramic. Um, how much were they? Like £50. Beautiful. Don't get me wrong, they're absolutely beautiful. But £50, it's a lot of money, isn't it? It is a lot of money. You're getting three for £10 with us today and also those cultured pills. Exactly, um, exactly. We have 80 and this is not your launch price. Not even stopping here. There are multi-buyers getting involved. Uh, genuine cultured pills, full 20, uh, sorry, 38 centimetre strand. They're measuring seven by eight millimetres in their size. If you've never made a single piece of jewellery before, this kit's, uh, this kit's a dream come true. Absolutely dream come true. And the thing is, as well, if you do sell your jewellery, um, you will find that this is something really different mm. at a craft fair. You will find ceramic beads, but not these sort of um, statement designs. <coughs> not necessarily hand-painted. Oh, gosh, no. No, 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 not at all. No, I mean, these... Um, these have taken a long time from start to finish. Yeah. And I'm 99.9% .9 sure that Alice, who does our kits, designed them. Really? Yes, yes. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's what she talked, because I was, I was infusing about, oh, the, the ones I designed. Yeah, well, as can you do some more, please? Yeah, as if as if that's just something we ca she, she's casually done in the yeah, background. Yeah, so it, it, they, they are even more unique then, aren't they? Yeah, that's unbelievable. £19.99 pence only. Um, and I would be mixing them across the kits that Definitely. we've got coming up. So, oh, for example, let me just give you a heads up. I love that silk. If you want that silk to complement your ceramic, um, we've actually got that lovely wow. blue too. Also, well, you've seen these in Linda's amazing designs. We've actually got the round colours. If you want that big statement one, again, they work so beautifully together. 
Amazing. Maybe this would be the long line. They would be your, your gurus and this would be the top of your tassel. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, my goodness. There are so many of you getting involved. Lots of messages coming through as well. Hello, Deborah. Rare chance for me to watch this morning as I'm usually at work. Good price as usual and very beautiful, says Deborah. Aren't Thanks, they just? Yeah. And a real conversation starter. Well, they are because they will create... Um, very, con very, very contemporary jewellery, but yep. based on vintage. Yeah. I love that, though. Yeah. Uh, it's that mix, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that mix yeah. of having having something modern Definitely. And, and unique, because they are all hand-painted. Absolutely amazing, with the, with, the, with, with, yeah, with the vintage twist. Catherine, Deborah, Lanarkshire, Eileen, Nancy. There's too many of you there for me to say hello to everybody, but well done. Let's do the big round, shall we? which you can see just here with a very, very, very beautiful 925 sterling silver chain. I'm just going to move this one to here for one second. I love these busts, by the way. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Here it is. This is incredible. Again, Susie made me a jade and pearl Marla necklace that I wore actually out with uh, Hannah and Jake one night and so many people mentioned it, commented mm -hmm. on it. Imagine this in the, at the bottom of a Marla exactly. necklace with exactly. pearls. Exactly. I mean, there's a wealth of, of ways that you can use it. And what I find the joy of being able to make jewellery is the fact that you can do just that. You can use it in the way that you want to use it. Just because I've used it like that, um, don't let that stop you into thinking, yeah, a tassel top, um, just a, um, a large asymmetric... Um, there's so many, so many different ways that you can use it. So sit and think about them. But, you know, just sit and... They're so tactile, these beads. Look at that. That's beautiful. And then the sterling silver chain, which is 20 inches. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, it's brand new. The only way you can get hold of this chain is within the kits. Now, you need to add to your class, but we provide a toggle as well. Now, look on Monica Veneda. I could show you Gucci. I could show you Tiffany's. I could show you pretty much all the big design houses, which are incorporating, sometimes referred to as the paper clip chain, sometimes called the long link. Um, on Monica Veneda, it's referred to as the Alta collect, uh, collection. £100 for the same length of sterling silver chain. I don't know the gram weight of theirs, but it doesn't look too dissimilar from what you're getting right now. I can assure you this is not going to be £100. Theirs doesn't include a hand-painted, amazing 29mm bead. Now, look at where we're starting. How many do I have of this one? This is the one we have 100 in quantity. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're starting at 29 99 that would be the chain on its own. And that would be really, 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 really low for that chain. Yeah. I mean, we've seen that with the Monica Veneda one. And this is a chain that is definitely, um, it's sort of gone through the jewellery industry like a rash, really, hasn't it? Everybody's yeah. using it now. They are. Um, and, and it's expensive. It's very, well, it's got to be, look at the size of it. There's yeah, a lot of precious on. metal. Yeah, yeah. There are loads of you there. I wish we had more of this kit, to be honest. There is... There's a hundred. It's going where? Wow. Is that Alice I can hear? Ah. Um, I Hiya, Chloe. I wanted to give Alice a little bit of praise because these are absolutely beautiful. Absolutely oh. beautiful. Um, designed by her. She works up in the office. Exquisite. To be able to put together a kit and suggest that we're going even lower than 29.99 for 20 inches of 925 sterling silver and a masterpiece like this. It is a masterpiece, you're right. It absolutely is. And every single one, if these go out to 100 different people, every single one will have that little bit of unique yep. hand painting. I mean, I've got some really old two sort of pots, um, which are Noritake Japanese porcelain. And they're hand painted, and I never ever go past them without looking at the little, the little bits of the differences. Mm. Like there's two little swans swimming, and they are ever so slightly different. The bridge has got um, 
more of the sort of blossom tree on the one side than it has on the other one and that. So the more you look, the more you see. Amazing. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. The chain on its own yeah, on should there. be twenty nine ninety nine. Absolutely. Absolutely. <coughs> Especially, you know, Monica Vanilla, hundred pounds. But listen, well, you know, that's nine two five sterling silver. Ours is nine two five sterling silver. We're providing the toggle class for you, and that incredible twenty nine millimeter focal masterpiece in your in your porcelain bead. Hello, Deborah. Saying, ah, oh, now that's just plain daft for sterling uh, for sterling, and that gorgeous bead and Linda's fabulous designs. Carry Thank on. You. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. I um, mean, you know, it is nice to have feedback from, from you guys out there. Um, but when you look at, across the three kits, you can see the diverse ways you can put... You know, there is... If you think of Prue Leith, if you think of Esme on Sewing Bee and that, mm. they wear really, in inverted commas, wacky jewellery. Now, this is a nod to both, isn't yeah. it, really? It's a, it's, I love statement jewellery. That's my... Thing. When we first started at Jewelry Maker, Sheila did all the little tiny filigree little and I was doing big statement stuff and that's where my heart lies, is in statement jewellery. Oh, absolutely. My mind is literally racing with what I, would, what I want to make with these kits. I would, I, I mean, I'm just figuring this out. Across, if you've got all three kits, that gets you the, 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 the exactly. blue silk, that gets you some more pearls, gets yeah. you the double strand and those marquee-like shapes in this one. And for me... I am literally, if I'm lucky enough to join you all, it's going to be that long line Marla necklace, which you know I'm obsessed with. These would be, they would be, I don't know. Well, they mix it up the, and that would be the top of the, the tassel. The rice beads would look stunning. Take a link out of the chain on either side, put the rice beads here, and then that big round one down there, and have it as a long necklace, like oh, that one, but with the big one at the bottom. Amazing. And the chain. I'm putting them all together because look, because this, if you can, if you can treat yourself across the three, I would say do it, and that's what I'm going to do. Look how beautiful that is so far. Look at the amount that you're getting. And that's totaling, what, less than £40? Incredible. The last of the kits. Oh, I hope I'm... So I really like this one. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it, I, don't, I, th I think the design um, is brilliant on all of them. But I, I don't know what it is that that reminds me of when I look at it, um, mixed with the pearls in that sim simple way oh. with, the, with the bead, uh, sort of the knotting. Um, look at the painting on it. It just reminds me of something. It's, I, I don't know what, it's either it reminds me of something or it makes me feel a bit emotional. Yeah, I've, I've got that same yeah. feeling. It, I think it's quite nostalgic. Yeah, it is very nostalgic. Quite nostalgic. Yeah. Look at the painting on these. That is, these are beautiful. Yeah, ten of those. Out. Yeah. Huge. Alongside your pearls. Which are huge. And there is your amazing silk. I really want to get this kit. And, and I would literally replicate what you've done there, Linda. I think literally just alternating. Have the blue popping in between. What? Oh, Ross, I mean, I'm all for giving everyone a deal, but this means they're going to sell out, aren't they? They're going to sell out, aren't they? This is called Great Wall of China. I love it. Alice, these are amazing if they you're watching are, right now. Yeah. These are absolutely beautiful. Yeah, we, we've, we've got to do a range with a little bit of gold in it as well, a little bit of like gold leaf Imagine effect. Imagine different colours too. Into, exactly. Those are probably vibrant colours of China. Like red. And Japan and that, yeah. Yeah. Do some beautiful yeah, reds, definitely. do some amazing greens. I mean, you know, just just simple earrings like that. Just very simple earrings like that. I just think they are so wearable. With it. Can you imagine with, um, you know, you, say your linen jeans and a, and a, oh, a denim jacket yes. or something like that. It's just perfect, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit sad. I know. I want to buy this I kit. Know. I know. Well, well, so so do I. That's why I was a bit sad I didn't get a second sample. A second sample. Oh. Yeah, because I knew that they would just fly. I can I can really imagine you wearing these as well, Linda. Like like you said, a pair of linen trousers yeah. and yeah. nice floaty top. And yeah, yeah. Abs I can totally see you rocking it. What is that? Fourteen ninety nine. It's. Um, this comes with pearls. Exactly. Look at the size of those pearls, and look at how beautiful they are. Yeah, they're amazing quality pearls. I'm going to hold this up to the neckline because that's as close as I'm going to get to getting this kit. 
Ah, oh, it's amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. So commercial. So pretty, isn't it? It's so incredibly... Um, I don't know, there's a backdrop there somewhere with yeah. the pearls and the white on the boots, and then you get that lapis blue, which is stunning. Do you know how much all three kits are, if you get all three together? Less than what? 55? Wow. Fifty-five pounds for all three. Well, to be honest, I mean, I, that's the price each, of one. Okay. Each necklace would be. If I was sending it to craft fair, each necklace would be between forty and fifty pounds. Definitely, because sure. they're hand painted yeah. and they're genuine pearls. Um, we've got more pearls coming up between uh, between now mm. and the top of the hour. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, those yeah. uh, beautiful pearls that I was showing in the last hour. But over to you, uh, Linda. What right, are you going to demo? Mind passing me the last. Oh yeah, yeah sorry. Th this is the one I wanted to demo with because a it. It's easy for you guys to see out there. And it was, I just wanted <coughs> to, I didn't know what I wanted to do with this. The first thing that came into my mind was like a guru bead, um, then a, dropping a tassel from it. That was my first idea. But then I thought, well, we've got that gorgeous uh, paperclip chain. Let's make something that's really contemporary, um, but still very, very um, wearable. Yep. So um, it's entirely, up to, I mean, you can, you can, that, that chain you can drop as the tassel if you want to just snip at the very on the short side on the chain snip that with a very sharp pair of cutters and then that will go back just like a jump ring so they're all usable don't worry about that but what i decided to do was to make a little bit of a feature around the um the drill holes and you can uh, i sort of saw a swirl i sort of saw a bead cap and a swirl in my mind so what I did was I took a length of, this is 0.6 wire, okay? Now there's about, I don't know what it is in centimetres, <coughs> about two feet, mm -hmm. whatever that is in centimetres. And then I put the two ends together and then just got the, the centre by pushing that down because I wanted two uh, lengths exactly the same. So I just snip that off. Then with my flat nose pliers, I'm just going to straighten that a bit. Uh, you'll see why in a minute. When you're trying to thread anything, in fact, I'm just going to tidy those up by taking that little, tiny little bent end off of there. When you thread through a hollow bead of, of any medium, um, then you need to keep the thread or the wire or whatever as straight as possible. This is why wire is the easy uh, option for this. So try straighten out the two together keeping them parallel and then thread through so trying to keep it straight it will get there eventually it just hits the walls of the uh, obviously on a curve and I tried both ends and there you go there's no blockage in there at all it's just that that little curve the wire tends to hit before it finds the drill hole so then I'm taking that down to virtually the centre of those two lengths of wire, trying to keep them equal, okay? Now, because I want to, I need to keep that bead on that wire in order to fashion the bead cap. So I can't take it off and then do that bead cap on the wire and then put it back in again. So what I'm going to do, I need to stabilise the end that I'm not working on. Because it's wire, obviously it's bendable. So I'm taking it right to the edge of the drill hole and then really pushing it around and causing sort of a, um, a lock there. You can, if you want to, um, pop a little stopper bead on there as long as it's, um, you know, obviously probably about a four mil would do absolutely perfectly fine. Then what I'm going to do is using my round nose pliers, I'm going to pop my round nose pliers um, only about um, three or four mil from the end of the plier, balancing the bead on um, a tabletop or, as you can see here, on my velvet pad. And I'm just going to do, keeping those two wires nice and parallel, a wrapped loop. So I just move my pliers around, bring it back, and then take my pliers out, pop them back in to where they fit, get a good purchase on that wire, okay, and then carefully, because you've got this to negotiate around, take that around in um, one sweep, okay? Then I'm just going to take my flat nose pliers and straighten that a little bit. I can come back to that later to make sure that that's a perfect round. 
pop the pliers back in again and then making sure that, that the wire at the base is nice and tight and stable because I want to form a cap. So I'm going to put my middle finger and keep that hopefully tamed, pop the pliers back in and then pushing down on top of that bead and feeding it around. Okay, so what I'm doing is feeding it around, keeping the wire parallel, so bringing it around the back, taking it around. You've got a nice um, white circle here to follow, so you can get them both the same on each end. Um, so if you follow that white circle with that, that paint mark there, that's just perfect. So I'm just going to bring that round one more time, and then take my pliers out, I'm going to move that down a little bit at the base. Now, what I'm going to do now is, with my thumb, is push down on that little bead cap there, and then I'm going to retain one of these lengths of wire. Okay? Just retain one of those. Taking my flat nose pliers, I'm just going to go right in where um, that sort of exits that bead cap and just... Put it through about what roughly about 90 degrees, whatever. Turn it around and then bringing the other wire, which are now separate, bringing that round. So we've got like the nine o'clock and the three o'clock um, points on the clock. Again, going in as close as I can to that bead cap and doing a nice sort of tight little, it's because the bead's slippy and it's warm in here, but you will be able to take a little bit more time. So I'm just going to pop that in and make that. So what we've got now is wires extending from both sides, okay? Now, I'm going to coil this back now as a decorative. That's purely, this is the point that will go onto the chain, okay? Now, you can either pop um, a... That chain, that link of chain, you can, if you want to, this is if you're a little bit more experienced, before you make that first wrap loop, you can pop that link of chain in. Mm -hmm. If you think that's a little bit too much to deal with when you've got your wires and you've got your chain as well, then all you have to do is, as I just said before, is to pop a little cut just off centre, <coughs> um, from on the, the narrower side of the link and then use it exactly as a jump ring. This is sterling silver, it's malleable and it will work perfectly and it will not come apart. So don't waste the link. And then all I'm going to do now, I'm just gonna slightly trim that down by about, about a couple of centimeters, not a couple of centimeters, yes, it was actually about a couple of centimeters. And looking at that length again, taking that as well. So I'm very aware of your eyes, I don't want that to uh, that wire to flick across, so watch the, the journey of the wire when you <laughs> start to cut wire. Now what I'm going to do now is just taking my round nose pliers, again I'm holding fairly firmly down on that bead cap, and I'm just going to take the round nose pliers and I'm going to coil back slightly, not that it meets, just as it, just a little hook. At uh, ooh, and then taking the flat nose pliers, I'm going to completely put that little hook there into the flat nose pliers, and then slowly, using the tip of the flat nose pliers, I'm going to do this really slowly because we don't want the wire to cross on a coil. We want it to sit completely in a circle. So just edge it round slowly and it will take at that length of about a couple of centimeters it'll do about three coils obviously you want the other side to be exactly the same so but because it's wire you can always um, just trim it a little bit if one side is slightly bigger than the other then when we've got this little um, coil at the side here. I'm just going to press down on that and then taking my flat nose pliers in, I'm just going to pinch that a little bit and then down again. Then holding on to the, the coil that I've just made, just pushing it down, then I'm going to swish it around and then do exactly the same on the other. Now this time I'm going to 
make it go in the, the, the other direction. So I'm taking my round nose pliers and putting that little loop. Instead of coming towards me, I'm taking it away from me. Let me just loop that in a, a tiny bit more, but don't go all the way round because you won't get that nice flat link. And then again, we're just easing that coil little bit by little bit, keeping an eye that it's actually sitting side by side. It's not overlapping. So do it nice and slowly, easing it round. Now, when you're getting close to the bead, so we're just going to push that back. And then we have two sort of decorative, I'm going to I will push that little back in there to meet the, um, to meet that bead cap there, tidy that up, push that down. And then when you're doing exactly the same on the other side, you have got the purchase here. So the second side is so much easier to mm. do because you've got that real stopper there. So you just do it exactly the same and then just attach it, um, whether you want to attach it just before you do that loop or whether you want to just actually use a round jump ring, which would be fine. That'll give you a little bit of decoration because this is round, these are round. You could have a round jump ring there and then going up through the paper clip chain. That adds to design as well. Um, or you can just snip one of the links on the, the um, paper clip chain and then just push it back like a normal jump ring. And it's as simple as that. But you can also use that then. You could use that for a tassel top. That could attach and then you can drop your tassel from the base. Oh, yes. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it's just it's just a little bit. It's <coughs> just, the techniques, I, I hear you say about techniques for jewellery making and that, that you'd like to see more your different techniques. Basically, jewellery making consists of several quite simple mm. techniques. And really, the jewellery then, <coughs> I said this time and time again, I know, but the jewellery then is down to design. Yeah, totally. Okay. How, yeah, yeah. how you put you everything know, together. All designs literally revert back to jewellery making basic technique. Yeah. And we'd say, we say this all the time, you know, the most commercial jewellery, for me anyway, the most commercial jewellery, the most wearable jewellery is actually... Simple. Really simple. Yeah, it together. is. It's the 80-20 rule. Yeah. You know, you... Um, it, you know, more complex jewellery is fantastic, absolutely beautiful, but you will have more people... Um, by the more, and I don't say wearable, but the more sort of plainly designed. <coughs> that's what we're used to seeing yeah. on the high street. That's yeah. why. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I, beautiful designs. I absolutely love these kits. It's beautiful. Um, some it's of beautiful. these kits have actually sold out. This one's very quickly heading that way. Um, we had, remind me on the quantities. So the one with the rounds, the one with the rounds have gone. With the um, the one that's on your screens with the big bead, there's 22 left out of 100, and the marquees, there are currently 35. We are over allocated though on the web. I've got people with it in their baskets that haven't yet checked out. So first come, first serve. Um, I love it. If I See, could, I think that these, the, those either side of that in the necklace, go. would just be stunning, wouldn't it? Imagine this. Yeah, you've got that. Imagine that exactly. there. Imagine that there. That's a stunner, isn't it? Wait a Absolute minute. Absolute stunner. And now imagine this. As a tassel. As a tassel, yeah. You get the idea. Imagine that all put together. You won't, you won't find another one. You'll you sort of go out wherever you're going to be wearing this. I can guarantee you're not going to see that piece of jewellery anywhere else. That's what I want to make. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want to make. Amazing. Or if you've got the rounds, you could put the rounds. Dot. Oh, love it. I absolutely love this. Thank you so much. Oh, that's a pleasure. I love it um, too. Thanks, Alice. For oh, Alice, we need more it. of those, please, lovely. She's, she's wonderful, isn't she, Alice? Absolutely. Absolutely amazing. Now, if you do love a pearl tassel, hands up if you do. Oh, then these are coming up. These are coming up. But I'm going to step into a star buy of the most exquisite, natural, metallic pearls. Now, the fact that they are so monumentous in size, firstly, one mollusk 
would house each and every single one of these individual pearls. Nine of you will be successful in this opportunity. I'm sorry they're limited, but such is Mother Nature. These are absolutely spectacular. There are five virtues, and I know lots of you know this, but not everybody does. The five virtues are like the four C's to a diamond. So a diamond, it's all about carrot weight, cut, color, and clarity. When it comes to pearls as an organic gemstone, it's the five virtues. Those virtues are size. Whenever a, uh, a pearl, sorry, of any shape, um, goes tiptoes over 10 millimeters in its size it's like one carat to a diamond it's considered it dramatically pushes up the price tag because naturally a mollusk itself has to house that pearl then we start talking about the color now you can bleach and dye pearls um, which is absolutely fine but rarity in colors that also, by the way, is quite a broad description because you can talk about overtones. Certain overtones are rarer than others. In this case, it's all about the blue overtones, which is incredibly, incredibly rare. Then we start talking about the shape. Long ago, we it used to be only about the perfect rounds. Um, these days, perfect rounds are absolutely still very, very valuable, but we massively embrace the beautiful, unique undulations that you get with your Keshis, your Biwas, and your Baroque pearls. Sometimes referred to actually as fireball pearls as well because they actually have that nucleated bead and this blaze of, uh, uh, of nacre coming afterwards. Um, then we start talking about, which virtue am I up to now? Luster, let's go yeah. move on to luster. Luster, many would actually say is the most important. Because a luster is like clarity in a diamond. If a diamond's very included, it's not gonna bring you that scintillation, that brilliance, and that fire and dispersion. Luster in a pearl is the exterior. It's the glow, it's the presence. It's that light reflective beauty that we aspire to. Now we have high luster pearls. And they have a blue overtone, which I absolutely love about it. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, look at this one here. It's blue and pink and peridot green. Yes. This strand is absolutely it's exquisite. exquisite. I mean, this is, this is a strand <laughs> that I don't actually know what I would do with initially. Um, I, I'd keep it and keep it and keep it and look at it on a daily basis. I'd actually have it as an ornament. Yeah. You know, because it's that spectacular. You're quite right in the fact that that fireball, that is the bee's knees of a fireball pearl. Yeah, totally. It's, it is that comet vision, isn't yeah, it, yeah. within, yeah. that has formed individually in uh, a mollusk itself. Consider this. So we know that culturing pearls is something that Mikimoto developed. Uh, Mikimoto have developed. Um, and it has really opened pearls to, uh, uh, made them more affordable, if you like, uh, to the likes of you and I. That being said, when we start talking about scales up to 25 millimeters, okay. it, you know, it's, it's real rarity because the mollusk has to actually physically uh, mature um, to usually for around two or three years to be big enough to be able to house a pearl of this size. And they're yeah. lovingly nurtured, you know, cared for, uh, literally barnacles chipped off the exterior of the mollusks themselves um, in the hope that when they do come to reveal, uh, open the mollusk itself, that one of these amazing miracles of the, of the ocean will be housed with inside. Yeah, I mean, these are pearls that are so um, down to nature, it's unbelievable. I mean, the, the actual sort of fireball part that you can see is where almost the autoimmune system in the mollusk mm -hmm. has sort of turned in on itself and it's trying to um, get any parasite or the parasite out of it. And then it just creates this gorgeous, gorgeous nacre nacre, however you say it. Um, and then the undulations of the water that it's in as well provide um, help with all of the shape and the formation. And I would love one day, the top of my bucket list is to be at a pearl farm 
that farms these pearls and be a witness to the opening of a mollusk oh. with something like that. That's my pinnacle of an ambition. Uh, can I come? Oh, if absolutely. Because that sounds absolutely. absolutely amazing. We are not closing here. There are seven opportunities and there are people with them in baskets. Listen, I I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is going to be the most affordable strand of pearls. It's not. Because this is, that would be like me sitting here saying, I can bring you a decolourless, flawless diamond at an affordable price tag. Yeah. It's never going to happen. Yeah, you need to make that comparison. In <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. never going to happen. Unbelievable deal for each and every single one of, well, I say each and every single one of you, seven of you. And that is down to the rarity, uh, the scale, the quality that you're getting here, that high luster, which many would argue is the most important of your five virtues. At £199.99, you are getting staggering 25 millimetres approximately, individual pearls. I mean, I, I, I could make all the price comparisons, couldn't I? I've done it in the past. Um, I simply don't have the quantity or time to actually do that. But have a little look at your luxury pearl suppliers. Not talking about the ones on the high street. I'm not no, talking no, no. about those no. at all because they no. are worlds apart to what you're actually getting the opportunity yeah. to purchase. Without a shadow of a doubt. And it's one of those, isn't it, where the more you do your research on this type of pearl, the more names you see that will pop up mm -hmm. in articles that repeat the same names. Names we've never heard of, but these people devote their whole existence mm -hmm. to raising pearls like this. As I say, if I could just witness that opening of a mollusk with something, I think that I'd go quite happily. Me too, yeah. You know, well, do you know, it's a miracle. Do you know, very few of the pearl suppliers that I actually saw over in Tucson firstly sold pearls of this size. Yeah, we can't, we can't this get size. them. That's why there's only eight of them. Well, we precisely. Can't, we can't get them. Um, most of those suppliers didn't sell them by the strand. There was a few that did. Yeah, There's yeah, only one yeah. of these left, by the way. Um, most of those pearl suppliers that I saw over in Tucson literally sold them individually. Absolutely, individually. without a shadow of a doubt. Without Amazing. a shadow of a doubt. Heartfelt congratulations to those of you that got hold of that. It's absolutely exquisite. Now, we have those beautiful seed pearls. Those of you that do love a pearl tassel, which I do, I just love. I'm obsessed with pearl tassels at the Very moment. Very Coco Chanel. I know, I know, I know, I know. And the fact that you can make your own pearl tassels, especially on the back of Linda's awesome kits, seed pearls or rice pearls in this case we have that wonderful very elegant almost borderline marquise like shape where it tapers down draws the eye naturally. It just creates movement doesn't it? Mm, absolutely. Um, a peacock pearl is a nod to um, you know the whole, you know, oil on water, mm -hmm. that's what a peacock pearl is like, which is difficult to get under camera. But it's absolutely, totally, totally exquisite, and it goes with everything. I mean, just look at the luster on Well, it's there. a nod to the Tahitian without the Tahitian price tag. Absolutely. Isn't it? Absolutely. And then you have that beautiful ivory, silky white. You get both strands in this opportunity. There are literally 50 of these available. But those of you that love you know, creating texture within your pearl designs. Seed pearls, I mean, I've shown you countless PowerPoints and photographs of pearl jewellery that create that really beautiful, you know, the pearl twist that we yeah, sometimes Yeah, I discuss. mean, this, these, these literally fit the, um, the, the spectrum of anybody, say you make jewellery for your commissions or whatever, or you, you sell it or whatever. But this, these strands fit the, um, for that very simple one little drop or using numerous of them in a tassel drop or a long shoulder dusting earring. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Or something like this. Literally, that casual twist. Yeah, I, I love that. I love that casual twist on a pearl. You know, with some gemstones, you can do that tighter twist, but on a pearl, it needs to be loose. Yeah, I agree. Give that beautiful fluidity and movement. What on earth? No wonder there's only 50 of these opportunities. Seed pills. I mean, seed pills, most people would imagine, firstly, that the smaller the pearl, the more affordable the pearl. Actually, not always the case, because it's yeah. so challenging to drill a seed pearl. Yeah. 
there are more casualties effectively yeah, during that process? Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, you can see by the dearth of, um, of seed rice pearls that we get here at Jewelry Maker that they're not that easy to come by. How on earth are we at? I'm just going to... How on earth are we at £14.99? Yeah. Genuine cultured pearls, not talking about foes um, or simulants here. These are, you know, housed within the mollusk, lovingly cared for. Um, hopefully, hopefully then uh, one of your mollusks re uh, will actually sort of reveal one of these beautiful, beautiful gemstones of the ocean. It goes exquisitely alongside Linda's kits. It'll go exquisitely alongside those beautiful Baroque curls, pearls you had at a curls <laughs> um, a few moments ago. Um, make sure you keep dialing through. Make sure you keep checking out because there are literally only 50 of these available um, now Linda I'm saying I'm gonna say bon, vo bon voyage to you oh, bon voyage. okay then are you I off uh, are you I'm off to plan that collection we want to yeah, yeah let's get together <laughs> for that shall we definitely. that's an excuse for a nice lunch yeah definitely. Right, that's it. I'll give you a message I'll give okay. you a message yeah, we'll get definitely, it definitely, definitely. Um, I can head to your neck of the woods when are you back with us do you know uh, next Wednesday wonderful mm -hmm. looking forward to that but do not go anywhere because we have I think probably some of my favourite natural type A jadeite carvings launching today, including, including this absolutely magnificent bear, the fan, the cherub. It's coming your way with Jake Thompson, your gem investor. I'll be prepared to be bowled away because this is absolutely incredible. We'll join you after this. <laughs> Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. 
jewellery maker. Happy to help. To say I'm excited about this morning's Gem Investor Show is an understatement because I'm going to put this one out, out there. I actually think this is possibly one of my favourite collections of master carvings that we've ever brought to you. There's a little bit of everything. You've got your beautiful traditional designs filled with sentiment. And then you have the amazing rarity of natural type A jadeite, but with a quirkiness to them. Um, now, know that every single one of these opportunities are completely and utterly natural. Uh, no polymer infusion, all type A grade, of course. And we are looking at various colours, which we've, I don't think we've actually delved into um, in the world of master craftsmanship and carving like this. It's going to be such a busy show. So if you've got a piece that you've got your heart set on owning, then you need to respond quickly. And launching it to you all today is Jake Thompson himself. Good morning, Al. Good morning to you as well. What a show we have lined up for you this morning. If we've never met before, my name is Jake Thompson. I'm the Gem Investor here at the Gem Pori Partnership, including Jewelry Maker. And this morning's show is a little bit different to what we've normally done. I hear you. I hear you. I've, I've heard what you've said. You love Jade, but you don't need to know, because uh, I could talk about this for days and days on end. And I'm not going to do that for you this morning. You know, I'm not going to go through CNN articles. I'm not going to go through the Jade Investor's Guide. I've shared that with you before. And if you're coming into this cold, I'm going to apologize a little bit ahead of time for you. Go and do your research. Go and see why CNN are writing things like, ask, you know, why are American media outlets writing things like Fifty Shades of Jade? Why are they talking about consecutive records in 2013 and 2014? Why are they saying that the material, the increased price, the increased awareness has further segmented the market? This morning, I don't want to retread over ground I've shared with you before. We've got so many carvings, sculptures, including some, some certified master carvings coming up in this show. We've just teased, we've just shared with you, for the first time I've ever brought it, Natural Type A Black Omphacite Jadeite. This material, this sculpture, was supposed to go to an auction in Tokyo. And I have snatched it from underneath the nose of the Tokyo auction house. If you've ever heard of Bear Brick, if you've ever been in Selfridges, if you're familiar with the toy investing world, you'll be looking at this sculpture going, no, surely not. Literally snatched from underneath the nose of a Tokyo auction house. Now, I've come on this show before, and my purpose in this show is to try and give you the latest market information on what is happening in the gemstone market. Now, I'm going to address it head on. We have got for you Jadeite this morning, which is incredibly incredibly exciting. But we also know that Jada, and I've shared it with you before, Jada is extraordinarily rare. So you might be at home scratching your head going, hang on a second, hang on, hang on. Jada is extraordinarily rare, and yet I've brought you more Jada in the last 12 months than ever before. So how can those two positions be reconciled? How can this gemstone be extraordinarily rare and yet Jewelry Maker has more than ever before. I'm going to take just a few short minutes of your time to explain why that is, because it's my role here as your gem investor to help you understand exactly what is happening in the gemstone market. Only then can you be in a position of authority. Only then can you be empowered by the same knowledge that I benefit from as an investor for over 10 years in the gemstone market. I've never talked about this on TV before. But there are two types of rarity. And my training with the Gemological Institute of America is what has equipped me with the knowledge of these two types of rarity. And I want to share those for the first time with you. 
There's something called actual rarity and another thing called apparent rarity. Now, actual rarity is commenting on the yields from the mining sites, which, which may or may not be in decline. They may be, in, they may be improving. You, you, mines sometimes get bigger or the yields may be declining. And, you know, as it, it, it declines, it reduces the rough material available for cutting houses. As it increases, it increases the amount of rough material in cutting houses. So actual rarity is, is important. It, it, that is, if you like, the, 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 the tap that puts, that puts the, 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 the material into the market. And a lot of people get very hung up about actual rarity. But one of the first things the GIA taught me, one of the first things I encountered as a gem investor is the actual rarity. The names are almost a little bit of a, a red herring. Actual rarity is not as important as apparent rarity. What is apparent rarity? This is commenting on prevailing market forces, which affect the actual supply of workable material. Now, that's a very kind of academic way of saying this is, this is, what, this is what actually impacts the market, mm. apparent rarity. Mm. It, it could be localised, it could be happening in a small, you know, it could be happening in a single gem show. Or it could be played out on a global scale. And it's this type of rarity that affects consumers and their preferred routes to markets, the retailers. Actual rarity, that's a few steps further down the line, behind, behind the process. It's apparent rarity that affects you and I. So as a result, it's the more impactful of the two types of rarity. And you might go, hang on a second, well, give me an example. What, you know, th that's very hypothetical, but give me an example of what happens. Okay, the embargo on Burmese ruby. The, the, the mines themselves still producing right now. But how much Burmese ruby is there in the Western markets? Nearly none. So it's incredibly rare, but its actual rarity hasn't changed at all, but its apparent rarity has increased dramatically because only old mine rubies can be sold in the West now. Do you see the difference? Apparent rarity is actually the more important one over and above actual rarity. Really interesting concept. I want to try and get your head around that because it explains a lot of what we're seeing. And... In this morning, I want to explain to you how this whole show, if you will, could be titled Jadeite, an historic window. There are three factors that have never occurred before together. Three factors never occurred before. Only one of the three has ever occurred once before. The other two never happened before. And they are creating this very unique window. Now, why are windows important? I've got here Secrets of the Gem Trade. Okay, this is such an exclusive book. We've never even offered it on Jewelry Maker before. It is a connoisseur's guide. It is a... And I'm going to expose one of those secrets. I'm going to expose the first secret, if I could. From Richard Wise, a mentor of mine as a gem investor. Another great lesson learned about acquiring gems. If you see it, and you can afford it, grab it, Richard Wise says. Gems are often found in large concentrations or pockets. He's referring to actual rarity there, although we'll see how that also applies to apparent rarity. So a large number of stones will appear on the market at a given time. This gives the false impression that the particular gemstone is in plentiful supply. It is, but the supply is Leeting. Richard says once the initial finders stimulated the market's appetite and supply slows, prices will rise. In many cases, the source pipeline quickly dries up, the best stones are snapped up, the price rises, and an opportunity to acquire a beautiful stone at a reasonable price is lost, perhaps forever. Now, what Richard is really referring to there is actual rarity. But we're going to see in today's show, when we reveal those three factors, how actually Richard's lesson applies more appropriately to apparent rarity indeed, and this gem in particular. Let's think about what Richard Wise said there. He said, stimulated the market's appetite. Well, what I want to share with you is the latest 
book that has just been launched. In fact, it's not yet been launched. It's about to be launched in the coming weeks. And it is really answering the Western question of what is jade and how valuable it is. Let me introduce you to Jade, a gemologist's guide. Now, Dr. Lula, we know one of the most qualified individuals in the gem trade, she says, appraisers and valuers, as reviewing this book, appraisers and valuers are not left alone in their jade quest. This is a book that's targeted towards appraisers. There are two chapters to answer the majority of Western appraisers' questions on jade, one of which is the grading and appraisal of jadeite by Roland Schleusel. Jade is so, not simply an Eastern treasure. Dr. Lula, one of the most qualified individuals of the wor I I in the world of gemstones, says, I've come to realise it is the world's treasure. And I think Dr. Lula there is articulating what we've <coughs> all come to feel over the last couple of years. This gem, jade, that was traditionally kept in the East, is now becoming the world's treasure. It's now there as the world's treasure. Now, they mentioned Dr. Roland Schleusel in there. Dr. Roland Schleusel <coughs> is the author of the most important chapter in that book, Grading and Appraisal of Jade. And Dr. Roland Schleusel is really the industry authority on jade. When In Colour, the magazine, wrote a whole article, and it was the front page, it was their leading contribution of the article, uh, when, they, when they wrote there on behalf of the International Colour Stone Association, who needed to put jade front and centre, because so many in the West were asking questions about it, the fifth pillar of precious gems. Who wrote that article? Dr. Roland Schleusel, who I had the good fortune of meeting at the Tucson Gem Show. And we spoke extensively about the value of trade. We spoke extensively about this unique moment of th this window, if you will, that's open to the West for Jade right now. The leading, the leading uh, authority on jade in the world and his company you can see pillar and stone in the background that is dr Royland schlossel's gemstone trading company who, who are renowned around the world for their jadeite and particularly the carvings of their jadeite he didn't just write the in color article when the gem guide said okay we want to know about how how do we find out what a good jade is rather than a less good jade who wrote it Dr. Roiland Schlussel. When we're talking about fitting a jade bangle, who wrote it? Dr. Roiland Schlussel. You can see, whenever there's a question around jadeite, the world goes to Dr. Roiland Schlussel every single time. J the jades of Myanmar and Burma, who wrote it? Dr. Roiland Schlussel. I think you're seeing that this is the world's leading authority on jadeite, and everything I'm telling you today is really as a result of the conversation I had with Dr. Royland Schlussel. You have unprecedented access, historic access, to the latest jadeite news in this show. It doesn't matter if you're not buying today. If you have ever coveted, if you have ever acquired a jadeite, you need to be paying attention because this is affecting the value of your portfolio right now. It's not just Roiland Schlussel who's having to write books and books on this material because all the Western jewellers, the same people who are creating your portfolio, are going, how do I value jadeite? It's not just Roiland who's doing this. The GIA hosted a whole event at Tucson, which I attended, called the Night at the Museum, Tucson 22. And they launched a brand new museum in Tucson. Uh, and, and literally, one, well, the main exhibit actually is mostly about celebrating American mine gemstones. They literally, they recreated a mine in the museum, fascinating exhibit, and that's what you're seeing there. Looks like a, it looks like a, uh, it looks like a rock face. It's not. It's actually a recreated mine in the museum itself. So if you've got if you've got a whole mine in a museum that's dedicated to American mine gemstones, it speaks volumes that the GIA then went and built a jadeite exhibit in the same museum. They had to. There's too much interest in it, and you'll see. Front and centre in the exhibit is carvings, because this is where the value is in the jadeite world. And they also had this exhibit here, which showed you the different qualities of jadeite there. And you can see what we're looking at in today's show. This is imperial jade. I've never <coughs> brought you imperial jade. I will not ever bring you imperial jade. I wish I could, but it's just millions. Most of what we're buying, bringing you today falls into this category here. This category here possibly this one, most of the time it's here or here in this morning's show. So, 
first part of the window in this historic opportunity. Western demand for jadeite has never been higher. And the barometers of this include new museum collections and an expanding literature aimed at appraisers who are increasingly commissioned to value private portfolios of material. That is, appraisers are having to read Roland Schleusser's reports because you are going to them with your jade and challenging them to appraise it like the Eastern markets can. What's number two? What's the second thing that has never happened before? I was at the Gem Show and I met uh, Dr. Richard Drucker, who is the chief editor of the Gem Guide. I regularly, I regularly share with you updates from the Gem Guide. And uh, Dr. Richard Drucker is the chief editor there. He's literally been called in courts of law to give expert opinion on gemstones. So I had a great conversation with Richard Drucker. We are talking about the gemstones that were really winning the Tucson Gem Show. Let me show you. This is his Tucson report, the Tucson Gem Fair, written by Stuart Robertson, edited and, post and published by, 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 by Dr. Richard Drucker. The postponed, we now know it's cancelled, the postponed March Hong Kong show likely helped persuade big firms to commit now. They're saying it was a big gemstone show. And Elle, you were there. Mm. You know people were talking about how many people are buying. Yeah. It's because Hong Kong around the corner was no longer around the corner. A variety of gems were in demand, but the big three plus jade dominated interest. This is one of the first times I've ever seen jade featured in the Tucson Gem Show. Mm -hmm. And the reason is simply because the Hong Kong show, which normally hosts all those great auctions in Kowloon, those, those kind of places, the Hong Kong show is cancelled. So we have no Hong Kong show. The only way we can get the jade is by going to the Tucson Gem Show. So our second factor that has never happened before is the closure of the traditional markets in Hong Kong has disrupted the hitherto closed Pakant, Kowloon and Suzhou trade route. Now, let me try and explain that a little bit more for you. Pakant is where the jade is mined in Burma. It used to go straight over the Chinese border to Hong Kong, where it's sold as rough material. There, it would go into mainland China to a city called Suzhou, which has been carving this material for centuries. It may be sold in Suzhou, it may bounce back to Hong Kong for those auctions if it's a very, very premium piece, but it never left one of those three sites. Because the Hong Kong trade show has been cancelled, those auctions have been cancelled, there is leakage in the Jade closed network. We are benefiting from that. That leakage is what we are experiencing today. However, it should be noted the Chinese are manoeuvring to counter the measures to restore the closed network. The Chinese are... For millennia, they've kept this gem under wraps. For millennia, they've kept this in the Far East. They are not happy about the fact that you and I are getting chances for their jadeite as they see it. So they are putting measures in to close this historic window. This historic window, which exists because Western demand is higher than ever, it exists because we have opportunities right now. The Chinese are working to close those opportunities right now. And the third factor, which means that this window is shutting, is described by JCK here quite perfectly. Now, I want to be absolutely clear on my stance on this. I support, I visited Burma, wonderful people, lovely people on the ground. But I absolutely endorse the Western sanctions that are being currently placed on the Burmese gemstone market because I believe it's the people behind the precious gemstones that should benefit from their treasures, not military junters and things like that. So I absolutely support the Western decision to impose sanctions. And those sanctions look like this. Any Burmese gemstones that are mined today cannot be sold in the Western world. Now, the AGTA, uh, Dr. Uh, sorry, Doug Hooker, uh, who's CEO of the American Gem Trade Association, he says, look, gems that were already purchased and are currently in sellers' inventories prior to the action, the sanctions, they are not impacted. Mm. So you can offer old mine jade, but you can't offer newly mined jade. And 
talking to Dr. Roland Schleusel, talking to Dr. Richard Drucker, talking to these industry authorities, my forecast is this. Those sanctions are in place for a decade. So that's 10 years of you not getting any more material. Everything you've seen today is old mine jadeite that we sourced on our trip uh, in, 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 into Burma, or I've had to have extraordinarily tough due diligence because I have, to, I have to know that we're doing the right thing. I need you to know that we're doing the right thing. Extraordinarily tough due diligence that demonstrates these were mined before those sanctions kicked in. Okay? So you've got three things happening here. You have Western demand for jadeite has never been higher. We know that because Roland Schleusel has been commissioned to write article after article after book. We know that the closure of traditional markets is giving us very limited opportunities from, from Hong Kong, from the material that was going to be sold in Kowloon, to be able to acquire this. But we know that the Chinese are maneuvering to stop that, to, you know, to stop the leakage of jadeite as they see it. And we know that Western sanctions mean that fresh material is, is off the menu. Now, an unintended consequence of that is that it has driven the price of old mine material in the West sky high. So your jadeite, your old mine jadeite, has never been appraised for higher. That's fantastic news if you've already got some. But if you don't, that window, let's remind ourselves, we talk about this window, what is that window about? Let me remind you what Richard Wise's best piece of advice to me as a gem investor for 10 years, his best number one piece of advice was, and let's see how it applies to the jade markets. And then we are opening our carvings. Historic. Another great lesson learned about acquiring gems. If you see it, you are going to see it today. If you can acquire it, if you can afford it, well, I'm going to do my absolute level. I'm not going to tell you this is not an inexpensive gem, <coughs> but I'm going to work incredibly hard to try and help you afford it today. Grab it, says Richard Wise. Gems are often found in large concentrations or pockets. Well, we know the Western market has never had as large a concentration of jadeite as it does right now because of point number two, the disruption of the Hong Kong jade markets. A large number of stones appear on the market at a given time. This is your given time. This gives the false impression that the gemstone is in plentiful supply. Please do not be misled. Please do not be ignorant. I am trying to help you understand exactly why right now it appears. You know, remember, apparent rarity, there are a lot of gemstones on the market. I'm going to tell you right now, there are. But it is fleeting. It is fleeting. Once the initial find has... So that's point two. We know it is fleeting. The Chinese are closing it. Richard Wise says, once the initial find has stimulated the market's appetite, well, it has, and that's why Roland Schleusel is having to do article after article after article on this material. Supply slows, prices rise. In many cases, the source pipeline quickly dries up. Again, difference between actual rarity and apparent rarity. The source pipeline hasn't dried up per se, but the impact of Western sanctions combined with the Chinese restoring their monopoly does remove <coughs> the supply for us. In terms of apparent rarity, in terms of apparent rarity, it has dried up. The best stones are snapped up. I've snapped them up for you in this show. The price rises. I will do my level best to make today the most, the, 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 for a gem that is very expensive, the most affordable I can. And an opportunity to acquire a beautiful gem at a reasonable price has passed, perhaps forever. Are you ready to take advantage of your window of opportunity? I want to introduce to you, taken from under the nose of a Far Eastern auction house, our first master carving. Now, this is drawing on the tradition. It's a tradition in Far Eastern culture 
of the foldable fan. Now, the foldable fan, we think of China when we think of the foldable fan. It's actually not a Chinese invention at all. It's a Japanese invention. Um, and, and what you can see here is a, is a foldable fan of the Heian period, which is the same era in which these Japanese wooden-bladed fans made their way to China. So we're talking about 900 to 1,000 AD, nearly 1,000 years ago, the first fans make their way over, and they were diplomatic gifts. You didn't buy these. This was the most, it was a diplomatic gift. Think, you know, think about that panda diplomacy in today, where, where the Chinese use pandas as, as a diplomatic gift. These were the diplomatic gifts of the time, expensive art. And it was a Japanese monk known as Chonen, uh, who is the first recorded ambassador who, who presented these as gifts. Now, this is the, one of the oldest fans, the, the, the very famous in the Far East, because this is one of the oldest fans still where you can see the detailing of the artwork on it. And you can see here how the left-hand side of the canvas, if you will, is given over to that great Far Eastern motif of, of fauna and flora. You know, the idea of trees, of life, of flowers, beauty depicted on the left-hand side. Are you ready to witness your master carving for today's show? We have called this sculpture because every piece of art needs a name. Look at the f attention to detail. The left given over to flora and fauna. Take a look at your master carving today. Can I get a 60-second clock on screen? I'm going to do this for every lot that we have today. Look, these shows are so panicked. I hate that they're panicked affairs. I want to give everyone just 60 seconds to appreciate mm. what we are looking at right now, a master carving. You can see, you can see the, wooden, the wooden folds, the wooden slats yeah. of the fan literally carved into solid jadeite. You can see how the symbolism you have on the far left the flora and the fauna depicted. And on the right, you're absolutely right there. You can spot that there. It's a beautiful bird, uh, you know, admiring, pecking, drawing from those Far Eastern traditions. I'm going to give you 30 more seconds to appreciate this master carving before I open it up for you. No pre-orders available on this. I just do not have enough. This is your high uh, Hyoji, a Hyoji fan carving. The Hyoji is the wooden slats. The, 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 those fans they are called. The Japanese know, know these as Hyoji fans. This is your Hyoji carving from the Far East. We've got a very limited of them, master carving. Now, you've got no idea how big this is. Let's open our phone lines and reveal for you 75 wow. carats. L, it's two inches long, yeah, this it's, piece. It's huge. Well over an inch. You've got a two-inch diameter. You've got well over an inch, about an inch and a quarter on, on the height of your piece, two inches on the width. We have never done anything like this before. This is a truly unique opportunity. It is a master carving drawing on the, on the Japanese tradition of Hyoji, which then was exported to China over a thousand years ago. It's one of the most prized depictions of art in the art world, in, in, in the carving world in the Far East now. Oh, I mean, Jake, I said this earlier on, um, this is hands down some of the most beautiful carvings I've ever seen. Yeah. Not just, not just, you know, in, in person, through, throughout sort of publications and things like that. I love the heritage of these. The, the, the detail of the carving, this is because of that unique window. It is closing on us, yeah. but we're doing our best to take advantage of it for you right now. This is your moment to act. Mm -hmm. Your type A Jedi, your Hyoji fan, a master carving of extraordinary proportions here. Yeah. 52 millimeters, 30, 35 high. You, uh, sorry, 52 by 32. You've got 75 carats of type A jadeite. Now, I could talk to you extensively about, you know, you've got investment articles talking about how, how type A is the only type of material to be investing in. But I've shared that with you before. This is about breaking that news. This is about, you know, this is the material that I had conversations with Roland Schleusel about. You saw the GIA, how their whole museum was given over. Mm. Their whole museum exhibit on jadeite, it was predominantly focused on the jadeite for you, it's on the carvings 
for you. Huge congratulations, Suzanne, Barbara, Lisa, Eileen, so many more as well. Huge congratulations getting involved in this master carving. The scale, the size, this is something unique. I've never brought you anything like this before on Jewelry Maker. Well, it's, for me, the fact that it is in such a, a historic and symbolic design as well with the fan itself, um, even down to the detail of having the floor and fauna yeah. on the left-hand side. You keep the floor and fauna uh, on the left-hand side. Yeah. See how the slats, you've got those wooden yeah. slats of the Hyoji fan. You've, uh, you've got those in the Hyoji fan. You've got them there actually carved into solid Amazing. jadeite for you. This is a piece of art within the jadeite world. I want you to think about some of the most expensive pieces of jadeite you've ever experienced. Think of the circle of heaven, the bangle. Mm. Think of those. Think of the pie symbols that we see. Mm -hmm. They are all. Th th what do they all have in common? They are all called a hollow lift. That is a single gem, a single jadeite piece yeah. carved to depict the art. Some of the most intricate art I've ever carved for you. Well, I've not personally carved. It. I don't want to mislead anyone. Yeah. I've not personally carved this for you. Now, in the market, something like this, Ross. I want you to open us up at 750 pounds. Wow. Which is amazing. That's absolutely amazing. That would be 10 pound a carrot. Yeah, that's amazing. In fact, you know what, Ross? I'm not even going to stop there. Ross, start us at 500 pounds. Wow. I mean, there are literally only a few people in the world will be able to say that they own something of this yeah. scale. And 90% and of them now are in the Far East, if yeah. not more. Yeah. So you have this unique moment in time where in the West, we, there are an increasingly large number of people. There are an increasingly large number of people just trying to scour, trying to acquire the final few old mine Burmese jadeites there are in the open market. I'm not stopping here. Lane, Isabel, Sarah, Lorna, I see you. Thank you so much for your trust. I want to reassure you right now, I am not stopping at 500 pounds. But if this is an upwards auction, at your Sotheby's, at your Christie's, mm. at your Bonhams, mm. where do you think something of this size is going? 75 carats. I've never in my life brought you something this heavy. Never, not in a single piece, in a strand, fine but never in a single piece. Ross, next crash, please. 299. Wow. The scale of the jewelry you can craft with this. Oh, that's what I'm visualizing. And it's top drilled for you. Yeah. Top drilled, so you sit with the fan. Now you can drill this with a drill if you want, but we've done it already. I put your split pay under 100 pounds, for a carving of this kind of scale, of this kind of purity, look how consistent the colour is, Elle. Amazing. It's right the way through this piece. And totally natural. Totally natural. I'll tell you what also I'd like you to do, Al. I'm going to give you a torch here. Sure. Well, that's a UV torch. I just want to see a simple torch. I want you to see the translucency yeah. of your piece here. We know that translucency is a high value add. Here we go. Yeah, we can do that. Bear with. Look at the detailing, the <coughs> hand carving you've got all the way through. The feathers. See how they're actually mottled slightly <coughs> on the feathers there to give you even more layer of detail. Yeah, you can literally see the petals literally unfolding. And, uh, and, and that's like what? Lotus flower. Lotus flower. Um, you can see it literally revealing itself to the sunlight. Opening just... it up like the Hyoji fan yes. that this sculpture is based on. It is a piece of art. Look at the translucency you have here. We're talking ice white quality. Can you see how the carving, as we come further away, you can see the carving, the relief. Look at the detailing in this. I'm going to ask for a 60 second cut till we amazing. move to our final price. Look at the relief on your floor. The quality of the translucency, amazing. the quality of the carving, it is there for you. Now I'm going to crash in 53 seconds time. Why am I giving you this heads up? because there will be a race to the phone lines. Yep. It will be ultra competitive. I am not finished even here. There's two types of people. I see you, Linda. I see you, Alison. I see you, Suzanne, Barbara, Lisa. Thank you for your trust. You're seeing multi-buyers get in. I'm rewarding that trust for you. 
Now, if you, if you want, everyone pays the final low close, low, low closing price. So if you want to get involved early, you sit back and you watch those savings come. Comfortable that for the very few master carvings we have, you have secured yours. Everyone else, though, they're stuck in the rat race. That's absolutely fine. You want to wait 15 seconds. I don't think anyone knows where I'm going on this. You no. think you know where a master carving should be. Jake, I've just 75 looked up. 75 carats. Well, I thought this was the closing. Ross? 99.99. Under a hundred pounds. Hold those three flip pays in. This is the first time ever we've hit a master carving under a wow. hundred pounds. This is extraordinary. You're going to have to be quick on this one. Wow, wow. Seriously? Seriously? Oh my goodness, we can get it home for £33. £33. I don't think anyone was expecting no. that, Mirabel. I think everyone was expecting, what, 249 299 two, What Ross in the gallery thought 199 Look, I've already got a full column of names. This is competitive. We don't have enough of these. I've seen Lorna, who picked up one of these, I know Lorna. I know what's happened here. And Lorna thought that it was £199. Full column of names. Lorna up here. Sorry, if we could just come back up to Lorna, because I saw Lorna in really early. Lorna's definitely benefiting from this. Lorna was in at 299 uh, uh, I think she thought it was crashing £100 off. Lorna's going, hang on. I was happy to pay £200. I'm just going to pay the £200, but I'm going to take two of these home. Yeah, thank you I've got much. Heather. I've got Alison, who's got three. Well yes. done, Alison. Helene, I've got Jill. I've, it, by the way, it keeps moving because people keep getting involved. Anonymous makers and investors, Linda in Staffordshire, Linda in Manchester. It just keeps on going down. You've got to be quick. I've got about a one, yeah, I've got about a one 60 second to 90 second queue on the phone line right now. You are looking at 75 carats certified J type A jadeite. Certified type A jadeite. I've got maker in, uh, in Gloucestershire. Just doubled up their order. What are we looking at right now when Elle is showing you? Okay, first thing, look at how pristine white you've got here. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. One of the biggest value factors, if not the biggest, secondary only to colour, I'd say, secondary only to colour, is translucency. Mm. Can you see any inclusions whatsoever? I mean, this is some of the cleanest, most pristine material we have ever experienced before on Jewelry Maker. Yeah. And we're witnessing that there. And then also, look at the detailing of the relief. Look at the look how you can see the feathers demarcated all the way through, the carving of the flower. This is an extraordinary size master carving. You've got 75 carats in here. This is something we have never done before. And, you, you know, genuinely, when we were talking then, I was so head down engrossed in this and also nervous to drop it. Um, literally head down and then I looked up and I saw that 60 second clock ticking away I was fully comfortable at 299 pounds for something of this beauty fully fully comfortable okay. to do that Ross has just told me we've still got opportunities really I don't know what's going on okay I've explained to you how Dr. Roland Choice is. I literally spoke to the guy <laughs> who's written the book on Jadeite <laughs> i will explain to you how this is only happening because of the unique opportunity in the gemstone market in the sense that the Hong Kong jade auctions have been cancelled for the third year running. And how the Chinese are changing that. They're rerouting the whole market so that the, the, these opportunities that go to the West, they're closing the door on those. We're, and, and in many ways, we've closed the door on any new material as well. Ross, are you, I, I, I want sellouts this show, Ross. I'm going to crash again. Against all of my better judgment. I can't really believe... Am I about to do this? <coughs> I want this. Ross. Let the contact centre know they can now start taking staff orders, please. Can I run out? If you need to. I'm not going to stop you. You will not have a better chance than this. I, I do not want to leave. I'll be honest with you. I feel really uncomfortable. If I do this, it's going to ruin the show. And I say ruin the show because it's going to set a very dangerous precedent. I was expecting it to be £299. It's already at 90 Ross? I am not going to say 
the per carat price. There is nothing you can do to get me to say that number. Ross, take us to 74.99 as we have a second column of names building. Good luck getting involved here. We have never, I have never done this before. Not a carving of this quality. You have got ice white jadeite here. I mean, yes. look at the purity. It is a master carving. We have never done a master carving at this kind of value before. This is, this is truly, this is, is extraordinary material. I can't, I mean, seriously, it, you can see, you can see the quality, the translucency, and you can see, the, the carving's absolutely I mean, exquisite. seriously, take a look at what Richard Wise, in the secrets of the gem trade, yeah. I should be exposing these secrets. This is a 200 pound, 300 pound book. I shouldn't be exposing these for free, but I'm doing to help you understand the opportunity you've got here. White jade, differing standards. On examining jades, one should regard those white in colour as the best. Yellow, blue, they're not without value. You know, warm yellow, yeah, no, that's good, that's good. But white in colour as the best. I mean, how unequivocal is this? Now, have a look at your carving. Have a look at it with a light so you can really yeah. appreciate this translucency, yeah. the quality of the crystal structure here. This is unprecedented. I've never done anything like this before. No, um... Oh, wow. We've got a message for you, Jake. Um, I would not have Jadeite uh, without you, Jake. Thank you so much. Uh, Hazel. You and all the team. I want to thank you. It's you who's taken the opportunity, Hazel. All I can do is share with you my experience talking to people like Richard Wise, like Dr. Roland Schleusel, who wrote the book on this Jadeite. It's you who have been savvy enough to seize the moment. It's you, Hazel, who recognise, yes, Western demand has never been higher for this material. And that has, that has really caused leakage out of the Chinese closed market. That leakage is to our benefit. Look at the quality of the jadeite hazel. This is what you're seeing. This is your moment to do it. I'm only going to leave this chance here for another couple of minutes. 25 on split pay. We have, I have never brought you 25 pounds on split pay before for jadeite. This is just... I, I, look, I, I need to show you something, okay? If you are... I, 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 let, let's talk to our connoisseurs right now. Because the jadeite window, I appreciate it. I have brought you jadeite. I brought you more jadeite in the last 12 months than I've ever done before. And hopefully, after today's show, you now understand why. It's a unique moment. I'm not going to apologise to you no, for giving you a window of opportunity. Yeah. But I'm also not going to apologise to you when it closes. Because I have explained what, exactly what's happening in the market for you. So that you have the benefit of making the right choice. Now, look, we've got two full column of names from Heather in Middlesex and it keeps going down Sarah's got three of these because the deal is that good it, it keeps going down Isabella I, I, Isabel's multi bought as well and it continues going down then we go to a second column of names here Sandy in Manchester at the top Heather you've got Alison who's got three of these it keeps building we've got another minute on the phone lines now talking of that minute on the phone lines let me show you everyone who is on the wrong side of history let's see this line here we're going to call this the line of fate. And if your name's, right. if you can see your name, you're on the wrong side of it right now. Don't worry, anonymous maker and Jasmine. You're on the phone line talking to the contact centre. We are taking it out of unchecked out baskets for you. So that will be coming out of an unchecked out basket. Now, um, I mean, and uh, by the way, those ro those ro columns, Jake, go off the bottom of that TV yeah. screen. So, um, wow. Now, what a collection from an anonymous investor in County Tipperary, uh, yeah. celebrating my 100th piece. If I could show the names again, I want to show you. Uh, County, here, here they are. A, a jewellery maker in County Tipperary, one of your peers building their 100th piece in their collection. Do you know why wow. that's important? Do you know why this is so significant? Because those collections, those portfolios of material, when you take them to go and get them appraised, when you take them, it is... Works like this that your appraiser is going to use. Jade, a gemologist guide. Appraisers and valuers are not left alone in their jade quest. People write books on things that people want to know about. Mm. Otherwise, you're not going to sell the book. No. So right. Roland Schleusel literally wrote a chapter called Grading and Appraising Jade Out because of collectors like the one in County Tipperary, because of jewellery makers. You might not think of yourself as a gem investor. That's absolutely fine. But your hobby has a value. And I want you to help maximise that value. 
and, and, and I know what, what Roland Schleusel's written in that book because I had a conversation with him about how these kind of pieces are being valued and appraised just a few short weeks ago. Well done, everyone. Everyone who's... Ross, just talk to me about quantities available for a moment. Right, okay. Brenda in Staffordshire, you've just been picked up by our contact centre. You're going to be one of the few lucky ones. We have about half the quantity available than, than those sitting baskets. Yeah, we're okay. allocated, yeah. Uh, and what that means is it's the first to check out. It's the first to check out. Those who don't check out, that's absolutely fine. Look, if you don't want to check out, that's absolutely fine. But you be aware, people are taking it out of your basket. This quality of detail, lost. Amazing, absolutely incredible. The Hyoji fan. We have no carving like it for the rest of our show. It's, uh, it, it, it's absolutely stunning. And so easy to turn into that legacy piece of jewellery. Um, literally, I'm visualising maybe some amazing, some amazing natural pearls from South Sea oh or Akoya, Akoya pearls. I, 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 down think, I think Akoya pearls and Akoya pearl finishing off with the, oh. with the Hyoji. Can you imagine wow. that, please? I want to say well done Amazing. to Maker in Hampshire, Brenda, Deborah, Karen, all checking out in those last few moments. Uh, Anna as well, savvy shopping, huge well done. Erica, you've just pressed one, don't worry. You're stuck in a wait on the phone lines. Our contact centre are going to take that out of an unchecked out basket for you. You will be successful, Erica. Amazing. Don't panic in Carmarthenshire. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to leave the Hyoji fan because we are, we are very oversubscribed now. Let's leave that deal there. I'm going to keep you updated on the progress of that as that, as that race is to, the, to its inevitable sellout. You've got about one in five chance, by the way, of being successful on that one. What I'm about to share with you, I don't mind being completely transparent here, is the coup of the show. Really? Yeah, honestly. Ross, I am yeah. so, right, Ross has just told me something. He said he, sh he gave you a little sneak peek of this. Yeah. Ross is producing there. Gave you a little sneak peek of this earlier on in the show. Ross, you're a madman. You are a madman. He said the amount of messages we've had coming in. Okay. I love him. Oh, let's have a look. We just had, we just had a message come through, actually, as we're talking about this. I love this. It's a, it's a live conversation. That's what I love. When are the other Jedi coming on? I have to go and would like to get the Teddy and, and, and the Kanye. Okay. Ross. I'm going to do something I really Oh, regret. you're not, are you? Oh, that's risky. Ross. For Heather, the Kuan Yin is the, uh, is the Far Eastern name for Our Lady of Mercy Master Carving. Ross, I'm going to invite you to pop that on pre-order for me. Uh, lot numbers four and five, yeah. Lot numbers four and five. Let's pop those on pre-order. I'm not going to put the. I'm not going to put our bear, our Tokyo bear, on uh, on on pre-order. For simple reason, we're about to open it now, Heather. This is the most anticipated of the show. Now, this was carved. There is a type of art which is going huge in the art investment world. They are. It is a. It is a type of sculpture done by a Japanese company. Uh, and they've been doing them for a rat since 2001, so about 21 years now. And they are called Bear Brick. Now, Bear Brick is available in the UK. The only place I know, outside of the auction houses, you can get them in the auction houses, uh, the big ones and the small ones, you can get them in the auction houses. Outside of auction houses, the only people I know who are bringing Bear Brick are Selfridges. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Few, and this is what they say, few brands have disrupted the domain of collectibles, investable collectibles, like Bear Brick, the brainchild of Japanese label Medicom. They released the first Bear Brick in 2001, created in the style of Medicom's pre-existing range of humanoid cubic figurines. They sport Bear Fist remix. Bear Bricks have since become highly sought after and exclusive ad, um, items in the adult collectible sphere. People are investing in Bear Brick. Okay. You might go, how much? How much are they investing in Bear Brick? So much so, there are literally articles written 
mm. about how much they invest in Bear Brick. Like this one. Top 20 most expensive Bear Brick figurines. Number one, the top left, it's quite small writing, so let me help you out. It last sold for $20,800. Number two was the Bear Brick Coco Chanel. $19,000. Wow. For a black wooden Bear Brick. Wood. Black wooden Bear Brick. $13,600. Wow. For an affordable, relatively so, <laughs> wooden Bear Brick, not black, wooden Bear Brick. This was the most affordable on the list. $9,000 last wow. time it went to market. A jade carving house. Sculpted. A limited series of these to bring to Japanese auction. Limited edition of 100 ever to be crafted. That was the deal. You do not craft a single one over 100. They were to be sold one at a time because of the confusion and the chaos caused by the cancellation of the Hong Kong auctions. I was presented an opportunity to buy the entire 100 series. I'm going to ask for a 60 second clock before we bring live the only black on for site jade of the show. The Tokyo Bear Carving designed to go in auctions if a wooden one of these is worth uh, th $13,600. You tell me how much solid black omphacite jadeite, and I'll explain exactly what that means, how solid black jadeite, where does the value go on something like this? I mean, this was going to be, I don't know how many of these they made at 13000 I don't know how many they made at 9000 I don't know the answer. I know there will only ever be the 100 here. Listen, I am, I am capping pre-orders on this. I am capping multi-buys on this. You cannot, the, the contact centre will not let you. You can not acquire more than three of these. It's not fair because I know a dealer would come in and snap yeah. up 20 yeah, of them mm. and just release them one at a time per <coughs> year. Five seconds of appreciation. Have a look. This is your piece <coughs> here. Your black jadeite sculpture for the first time snatched under the nose of the Tokyo auction price. You have got 30 solid carats of black omphacite jade here. Pristine. The carving, the carving of this is extraordinarily detailed. But now you know the market context in which this sits in. You, yeah. know, you know the market context this sits in. You've seen how, 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 how let, let's be really clear here, the plastic one was $19,000. Yeah, crazy. The black wooden one was $13,600. You oh. tell me how much the black jadeite one goes for, oh. one at a time at auction as they were intending. I mean, I understand why the phone lines have gone absolutely nuts right now. He, uh, he has been anticipated since the moment that we actually stepped into yeah. the studio. He... It, uh, he's absolutely gorgeous and, and actually I've seen a few amazing carvings in my time not just here at Jewelry Maker but you know in my uh, in my professional career beforehand nothing as charming as this no it, it's charming it's it's it sits in a very unique space in the carving in the carving market yeah. context we know that people are for very similar figurines people are investing significantly and that's not even talking about the material okay if we want to talk about black jadeite I mean, this is solid black jade. How does black jade form? Essentially, this would have at one point been imperial jade. Yeah, amazing. And then it continued to crystallise. Yep. It continued to grow. So it actually is a form of black jade that then just carried on going. Now, let's be really clear. In Richard Wise's Secrets of the Gem Trade, not all black jade is equal. No. Okay? Here it is. Black jade in the section. What we call black jade is generally speaking an extremely dark 95% toned green. Sorry, I need to interrupt what I'm telling you. I will come back to this. It's really important to understand, Jada. We have a full column of names already. There is a one minute wait on the phone lines. Don't worry, we're getting to you, but you're not alone either. Um, now you can see this Make It in Lanarkshire has, has multi bought three. We are capping this at three. It's not fair. It's not fair for an investment house to come in, 
snap up 10, and they'll just drop them in one at a time, yeah, one a yeah. year per auction, one yeah. a year per auction. And that's not what this is about. I'm not here. I do, I do offer the trade. You know I do. Mm. But I'm not here right now. This auction isn't for the trade. It's for you. Well done, everyone who's getting involved right now. Look, there is a wait on the phone lines. I can't apologise. We should... Honestly speaking, we have no right offering something like this before. I've never done it. I won't do it again. Okay, so black jade. Nine, it's actually really dark green. It's essentially imperial grade that just kept on crystallizing. Yeah. Most black jade found in the market is nephrite. Mm -hmm. This is jadeite. Huge difference in value. Yeah, massive. Now, in terms... In terms of this, when you look at this, you see black. You don't, you don't see dark green. Now I've said it to you, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, ever so slightly, I'm picking up on that. But only because I've pointed it out. And that's a really important thing, because if you talk about saturation and tone, tonally, black jade is very dark, 90% plus green. It's fair to say, the higher the tonal value, the closer the hue gets to 100% pure black, the better, okay? When you look at this, I mean, Earl's got this here. Have a look. You don't look at this and go, oh, that's a dark green like a Moldavite. No. You no, look at no, this and no. go, it's black jade. I love him. Now, we know, we know that the, the you know, the, the, take the black wooden one, for example. That's what, that's sold $13,600. Ross, I, I'm going to take 13000 off that straight away. Let's start at 600 because I'm not bringing you a licensed bare brick. I'm not bringing it you at a one-off auction. Frankly speaking, I'm not in Tokyo where the market's highest for this material. Yeah. But it's not beyond the realms. And I'm opening up three split pays here for you. The detail, natural. Little tail on the back. I love it, I love it. Solid jadeite. Even down to, do you know what, Jay? Even down to the little hands, firmly down by his sides. The attention to detail is here is, I'm going to give you 60 seconds before the rush begins. Look, I'm not stopping at 299. I'm not even going to do that middle crash for you. We're going to go straight down. 60 seconds for you to appreciate the artwork that you've got here. Remember, capping the, they stand over an inch. They stand at about an inch and a quarter on yeah. the height for you. And they do stand as well. And, yeah. and, and, and that's a huge thing. The fact that the sculpture is, you know, it's self-sustaining. It's a free yeah, 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 literally. Here. That's the attention that's to detail that. that you've got. Extraordinary quality that we're looking at here. Solid black jadeite. We know where the market could be in a different setting. You put this in a one-off auction house. You cite it in Tokyo. You get the license. You, know, you do all those three things, and we know where the market could be on this. I know of no collaboration with Bear Brick and Precious Gemstone before. This is your moment to get something highly, highly collectible. Yes, it's adorable. Yes, it's incredible, in incredible detail. But it's its context in market that really blows me away, using one of the most valuable jades on the planet. Your time to appreciate is nearly over. I want to thank everyone who has trusted us so far this show. Ross... 89.99 straight down please and putting your split pays under 30 pounds for you for solid black jade i've never done that before i'm actually flabbergasted by that yeah you've got a little you've got a little bail at the top there can you see just on yes the top of those bail. of you who want if yeah, you do want to set this bail. into jewelry Sorry, forgive me, because I know of the market context here, because yeah. of the market context, I'm viewing this as a sculpture. But if you wanted to set this, very simple to do. We've top drilled it there for you, so you could just pop a little bit of wire through there, create a jump ring, however you want to do it. Look, I'm not going to tell you how to make jewellery. You know how to, you're the jewellery maker. You know how to do this. This is an incredible opportunity, though. Imagine this sat on the pendant. Yeah. Wonderful, like an oversized charm. We've got a second column building. Lillian, I see you stuck in the wet phone lines. Look, I'm so sorry. That is what there is. Now, a lot of people are multi-buying. Remember the rule. Remember the rule. You cannot multi-buy more than three of these, okay? 
I'm not trying to punish you. It's not about me being mean. It's just I've got no other way of distinguishing between investment houses who want to yeah. pick up 10 of these and drip feed them one at a time into the market. Oh. So I'm saying, look, let's be fair to our fellow jewellery makers today. We're going to cap the multi buys at three. Welcome Anna, Vanessa, Beryl, Helen, Julianne, who's gone and bought two of these. Jax, you've got a chance right now. 30 carats of solid jadeite. Okay, I need to show you this. Look, look, Look at what's happening right now. We've just crashed, okay? Just a few moments ago, we've just crashed the price on this. I think I don't think anyone was expecting this. I see a couple of people dialing back in going, hang on. I, I wasn't price. expecting I'm picking up two. Two full column of names. Mm. These are your fellow jewellery makers recognising what an opportunity this is. Yeah, totally. This is a moment for you right now. This is that window, but every single time you see a name add on to this, that window's closing. Let's take a closer look if we could. I've got an anonymous maker in Lincolnshire. Hazel's picked up the maximum of three. Remember, if we just hold on Hazel for a moment, and no, you, Hazel, I'm loving your style. I, I'm sorry, Hazel, if you wanted four. We are capping the multi-buys at three to stop an investment house taking every one of these. I've got Lillian, I've got Stephen, I've got John, who's both of those two have multiple. When you see it move down, by the way, that's another name, pushing it down. That's fellow collectors snapping it up. Jennifer, Anna, Vanessa, Beryl, Helen. These are all your fellow jewellery makers seizing the opportunity. Have you done it yet? Come over here to Isabel. We've got Isabel, we've got anonymous maker in Lanarkshire who's picked up the maximum three. Remember, you cannot get hold of more than three in this auction, okay? We've done that to try and give your fellow jewellery makers as many opportunities as they can. I've got Sarah who's multi bought. I've got Lisa. It keeps moving down because people keep joining. I've got Lane, Gail, Richard, Lorraine Lee, and it just keeps on going down. Let me show you your line of fate again. This is the line of fate. It's here in purple. Now, Kevin, the one, what does one mean? It means Kevin's pressed one. He's, he's stuck in the phone lines. It's about a one minute. Wait. Okay, he's just been picked up. Excellent. Now, Kevin, don't worry, because you will get yours. If you've not checked out your basket yet and you see your name on this list, you're on the wrong side of the line of fate. Telephone bidders, don't worry too much, because we're taking out unchecked out baskets. If you check your basket out, you're absolutely fine. And welcome back in to the maker in Tipperary, who's now celebrating your 101st Jadeite piece. Yeah. That's a portfolio, my friend. Yeah. Huge, huge Amazing. well done. I'm loving your style. Well done. Oh, amazing absolutely incredible jake I, as soon as you said 89 i was absolutely stunned because i was expect I, to me it's a him he looks like a he um to, to me he would have been at the very 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 least a triple figure piece do i worry what would have been the value had that had i not intervened had i not in, intercepted yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. House, had I not just gone, look, cutting house, <coughs> all your traditional Excuse routes me. to market, you've got yeah. no idea how you're going to bring this to market right now. Let me do you a favour. I'll take all 100 off them straight off your hands right now. And if, I, if I hadn't intervened, where does your figurine, where does <coughs> your sculpture go? And that's why I'm so pleased that you explained what you did, because it's very easy to be sort of, uh, you know, flippant, if you like, uh, about... Okay, it, it, we're seeing Jade out right now. Yeah. I'm so pleased you put, you gave us that description. You, you, you got to look. I'm not hiding away from it. Yeah. Right now, we've yes, brought more Jade out yeah. in the last 12 months than we've ever done before. And you might sit yeah. at home and go, "Oh, brilliant! Jade out's on the menu! Yay! Excellent work!" Or you might go, "Gosh, I'm seeing so much Jade out." Doesn't matter to me which one of the two you're sitting. As long as you understand that this is a narrow window, yeah. your fellow jewelry makers understand it. Do you? <coughs> That's the question. Well done seizing it. Gail's just messaged in. Let's have a quick look. Jacqueline and Dorset, don't worry, you're stuck in the phone lines. It's a one minute wait. Well, it's Channel Hopping when I saw this so incredible. Have the fan and the bear. Gail, yeah. we've only just got going, my love. Huge congratulations. Thank you so much for messaging in. Thank you for joining in the show. It's your show. I love hearing from you. And that's from Gail there. Well done Amazing. indeed, Gail. Jacqueline, don't worry. We're just taking it out of an unchecked out basket for you right now. Huge well done, those of you doing that. Look, I'm going to give you about another 60 seconds or so mm. to complete your checkout. This is the extraordinary Tokyo Bear. We haven't got anything else like this all show. Nothing else like this all show. And, and the only black jade as well. Type A black jade. This is not... This is type A Jade. Yeah. We're building a third column of names right now. Amazing. I, 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 and I have to say, I'm quite, I'm quite envious because I would Let like to get hold that. of him as well. Let me show you this. The third column of names that we're building. This is how popular this has been. Uh, uh, Elaine, who's the first person involved in this, that's why she's all the way over there. This column keeps on going down. This column keeps on going down. Mm -hmm. Well done, everyone who sees this opportunity. There's nothing else like it in the show. No.
no, no. Um, he's he's beautiful. He's absolutely beautiful. It's the car. When you talk about, you spoke about the color of of, of black jade. Like yeah. you said, it's very unique. It is. Um, it's like an inky green, isn't yes. it? A very, very, uh, very. Uh, uh, because what's happened is you've got. As jade grows, it de deepens in colour, it recrystallises, the knots, the knots within the mineral recrystallise mm -hmm. and go again and tighten and tighten and tighten. And that gives you saturation of colour, so you get the imperial jade. And then, but then the, remember, Mother Nature doesn't stop there. No. We've decided yeah. in China, or rather, not we, the Chinese have decided <laughs> yeah. imperial is the, is the best colour. But Mother Nature doesn't stop there. She didn't go, oh, we'll get to imperial, then stop. She goes, we get to imperial, and then we keep going. Yeah. And when we keep going, this is the one. Look, I'm going to have to call that close to a sellout, okay? Paul, good luck pressing your one key quick enough. I'm going to leave that there for you. I'm going to leave Amazing. that there, trying to give you the best chance I can. He's incredible. I love it. Okay. Oh. Oh, really? Okay. Let me relay what's happening right now. Ross, could you bring up that message one more time? Uh, uh, Heather's message, I believe it was. Um, Heather messaged in and said, look, when are we bringing the Tokyo Bear and when are we bringing uh, the, 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 the Kwan Lin, which is also known as the Lady of Mercy? We put those on pre-order for you. Here is the sculpture. Where are the other Jedi coming on as I have to go out and I'd like the Teddy and the Kwan Yin, also known as the Lady of Mercy. What I've got for you, what I've got for you are <gasps> the Lady of Mercy. And because of your pre-orders, because of your pre-orders, I'm going to have to bring them now. El, I can see Elle just had the I've only ju I've just, I've, this is the first time I've, I've seen her. She's, oh my goodness, she's beautiful. What I want to share with you Tell you what, I'm gonna get, let's have a 60 second clock. I'm gonna open the phone lines in six seconds. Let's just have a 60 seconds to just appreciate. Now you've got a white and a green opportunity. A white and a green. The carving themselves are the same. Take a look. 50 seconds, no pressure, no rush. Let's just appreciate the quality wow. of the carving. Look at this, the detailing of her necklace. That, that, the beautiful pearls and, yeah. and, and, and other precious gemstones captured in there. Wow. Also known, Kwan Lin, also known as the, uh, the female Buddha. Yeah. Very, very, Amazing. very significant in the spiritual world. And the attention detail, literally the, the fingers, the folds of her robes yeah. are carved here. How her fingers are placed together. I mean, look at that detailing. So that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, could I ask you? Yeah, if, if, if you wouldn't mind, let's just see the transparency. Ice white material. Now we've got this in a green and we've got it in a white. Let's open our phone lines. This is for your type A white jadeite lady of mercy, also known as a Quan Lin carving. Two inches tall here, Elle, yeah, with sure. over an inch on the left. Now, you can see, look at the pristine. I mean, it's liquid light. Yeah. Pure light that we're seeing right now. And now, if you don't mind, if we could just remove the light a little bit, I want us to start looking at the attention to detail there that the relief yeah. brings out. Heather, can we bring Heather's message up one more time? Heather's done exactly the right thing right now. We pop these on pre-order. Heather, if you're still with us, I've not even revealed the best news yet. There's Heather in Middlesex. When are the, I want to get the Quan Yin. This is the Quan Yin, also known as the Lady of Mercy. Uh, they're both two ways of describing the same thing. Heather in Middlesex. We've just opened the phone lines. Heather in Middlesex is straight away in there. You can see Heather wasn't missing out. Neither was Alison. Neither was Suzanne. All checking out their baskets. And, 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 and Lane there joining as well. Now, while I was in Tucson, I found one of the leading wholesalers of Jedi in the Far East. And for the first time ever, because the Hong Kong show was cancelled, for the first time ever, he exhibited at the, at, the, at the Tucson show. He told me it's not a regular thing, him exhibiting at the Tucson show. But this is one of the leading carvers in the world. 
I want to show you what the Far East are doing, both in the jewelry making, because I appreciate this is jewelry maker. I want to show you what they're doing with the jewelry making and what the trade value was from the most affordable carver of the show. We are here at the GGX show. Only trade people are allowed in this show. We found these two jadeite carvings from this wonderful gentleman here. And you were explaining to me this is old, this is old material, isn't it? Old material. I love this. And the price per carving, this is the Lady of Mercy female Buddha. And the price per carving to the trade is here. Um, <laughs> you can see in the trade from the largest wholesaler I know of in the Far East mm. who exhibited for the one time only because the, the Hong Kong show was cancelled at Tucson, 250 was the lowest price I got him down to per school. And I, I assume you'd have to buy a, a, you know, a certain amount. I'm going to be really honest with you, Al. No. Really? He didn't have. He had those two. Oh, Okay. Those two that you see were what he had. That's amazing. It's incredible value. Yeah. Feels like somewhere we should start. Yes. Ross. <laughs> Ross, I'm going to start us at £250 right now. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. To start there, this is probably one of the most intricate, Jake. Yeah. Look at the detail. Look yeah. at how the folds of her robe are carved into solid jade. Let's Look how waxy the luster is on your jade. This fingers. is incredible detail. I can't even draw hands. Imagine carving it in a gemstone. <laughs> yeah, quite. We're not done here. Wow. I remember I've got the green available as well. We're going to do the white jade first. We're going to follow it up with the green. Try and position it so that you can see the intricacy. There we go. L. Yes. Ross, my next crash. Quick show of the names. We've got a full column of names already on this. Wow. 100. Unbel one unbelievable carving here and you've got one full column of names Ross my next crash please hold those three split pays in 99.99 on a huge huge carrot weight of white jade 85 carrots of white jade right now wow that's madness Actual madness for such linen, fresh, pure white. She is drilled at the top as well, very discreetly drilled. I love how, uh, you know, so that it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't it disturb the actual You don't intricacy. want to disturb the sculpture, but yeah. we, I recognise, look, this is jewellery maker. You want to make jewellery? Well, there it is, drilled for you. And I need to warn you right now, we are already, we are already over 50% off the trade price. Let me share yes. that with you one more time. This was from the GGX show, Tucson, just a few weeks ago. One of the largest wholesalers out of China. They don't normally exhibit at Tucson. Because the Hong Kong show was cancelled, this is what they had to show me. We are here at the GGX show. Only trade people are allowed in this show. We found these two jadeite carvings from this wonderful gentleman here. And you were explaining to me this is old, this is old material, isn't it? Old material. I love this. And the price per carving, this is the Lady of Mercy female Buddha. And the price per carving to the trade is here. You are 60% off the wholesale price right now. Absolute. When was the last time anyone offered you 60% off trade? Normally they say trade is X percent. 60% off and we're not done 
here. Have a look at the quality because we must never lose sight of it. Can you see the spiritual beads, the, the necklace that she's yeah, wearing? Yeah, she's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. And this is, it, it's even down to, again, the actual positioning, the, how the actual hands are placed as yeah. well, which are... The folds oh, of her robe. Yeah, amazing. Creases, yeah, ankles there. This is the crown, the detail of the crown. Ross. Sweet. Oh, wow. The lowest price we've been all show how, for, is for a the, pound a carrot. Yes. That's 85 pounds. Yeah. We are not... Stopping oh. there, Ross. Are you ready for this? Sixty-nine ninety-nine. We're making this the most affordable sculpture of our show. And do you know what's even better, Al? Look at. I mean, it's, the translucency of this jade eye is such. It glows like a selenite. Yeah, great. It's, it's the amazing. The purity Absolutely of this material amazing. is unrivaled. When was the last time you saw jadeite that behaved like selenite? No. This is certified jadeite, type A white jadeite. It's the Lady of Mercy carving, also known as a Quan Lin. And do you know what else? I put 69.99 on screen. I'm going to tell you now. I'm doing a multi-buy on this. What? Now, I've never done that before what? in Jewelry Maker. Never done a multi-buy before in Jewelry Maker. This show is different. I've got the white and I've got the green coming up. If you buy two... It's a hundred pounds for both of them. You can get two white. You can get two green. You can get a white and a green. However you want to do it. You can buy one for sixty nine ninety nine, which is a steal. Lowest price per carat of the show. But get two, a hundred pounds. That's another thirty five per plus percent saving on that again. So come on, let me let me show you my four column names here. Yeah, uh, sorry, this isn't like, this isn't like a, I've you know. I've never done something like this before. No, because this is, I, I'm just thinking about, okay, you buy three ready meals, you get them for £10. This is type A natural jade which is masterly carved. You're absolutely right. I mean, we've got Erica, got Paula, got Lee, got Zoe, got Tipperary. Look, this maker in Wiltshire, okay, they've got two of the white. They're, <laughs> they're not paying £140. Mm -hmm. They're saving another £40 because they're only paying £100 for the two. Now, if you want, you can combine that across. So if you want to get the white and the green, you still get that saving. I've got Maker in Hampshire, Linda, Alison in the city of Bristol. You've got three. So Alison is, Alison's there. Uh, Alison's got three. So she's paying 100 for two of them and then paying 69.99. So she just pays another 30 pounds. She'll get a whole other Lady of Mercy carving. Look, there's a way on the phone Unless line. I'm not saying sorry. Unless she's got and then three of the green. Could be doing um, that. Could be, could be doing, doing that. that I well. haven't got visibility on that until we move to the green. This is your chance. So if you... If you buy, yeah, and by the way, it is on pre-order, so just tell the contact centre, look, complete my Lady of Mercy suite. Add the green in for me. Just let, get the green in, and yes, I, I want to pay £50 each. £69.99 on their own, but if you want to double up that saving there for you, it's an extra 38% off by multi-buying. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Oh. Now, Collector in Tipperary, she started the show on 99 pieces in her collection. Started 99, 99 jadeites in her portfolio. Now, the collective preparer said, look, I've been looking for Quan Yin carvings for weeks. The stars have aligned, haven't they? They said, haven't been happy with what I've seen so far. Well, look at the quality. This is why the collector in Tipperary is happy. I mean, look at the detailing. You've got that incredible necklace all detailed in the carving. The folds of her fabric. Yeah, the it's amazing. The Lady of Mercy. Look at this the part folds here. Of her fabric. I mean, look at that. Look that at that. Where my fingernail is. Relief. Yeah. Right there. Look at that. It's not just going almost entirely into the gem. The 3D dimensions of this, the proportions, the detailing is extraordinary. She, she literally, when you actually look at it from a side point uh, profile, you see, like she is so beautiful. Yes. So beautiful again, the folds, like you say, to create that within natural type AJ and it be that pure, pure white. Unbelievable. Pristine. Remember, we've got the green material as well. Uh, and, and remember, when you see your name here, I see lots of you on the phone lines. That's fine. You can remember, you can add the combination, the deal here. $69.99 is your deal. However, does a little bit different. I never normally do this on Drew Maker shows. Promise you today would be different, didn't I? Promise you, right at the beginning of the show, today would be different. $69.99 each. However, if you get two. Now, originally, we had this set up as a green and a white. So if you wanted to buy the two, do you remember that video that I showed you? There was $500 of jade out there. Let me mm. show you one more time. 
$500, a green and a white. I've got you green and white options. If you wanted to buy the two, instead of paying $500, it'd just be £100 only. Huge amounts of saving. But some of you have gone, hang on, do you know what? No, I'm going to get two whites. Lee and Devon did it. Fiona in London did it, okay? So you can choose your multi buys. You can get two whites, two greens, a white and a green. It's entirely up to you. Wow. Absolutely exquisite. And, and so beautifully wearable. It is the kind of piece, the work of art that... Obviously, this is legacy, but I'm a true believer that... You know, jewelry is to be worn, especially with Live something your legacy. with such. Where yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Also, yes, look, I appreciate this is portfolio building, but at the same time, you are a jewelry maker, so use the drill hole at the top. What are you going to do? You're going to set it with, you know, almost like Shambhala beads. Yeah. How are you going to do this? Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I think I'm visualising a lot of Marla necklaces again. You've got that nice connection. Yes. Uh, between lovely. the Marla and, of course. Uh, the Lady of Mercy herself, so beautiful, isn't she? Can you imagine doing that, knotting it with all your Marla, yeah. with all your Marla necklace, creating one of the most spiritually powerful pieces of jewellery you've yeah. ever crafted. This is your time to do it. 85 carats of type A white jadeite. Amazing. A huge opportunity for you. <coughs> Amazing. As if you can I'm get gonna this give you about... for £23. No, I'm going to give you about 60 more seconds on this, Al. That's all. <coughs> There's me. a bit of a wait on the phone lines. Two minutes to go. 69.99 per piece. However, if you buy two in any combination, look, Maker, Jane, Maker, Isabel's just been picked up, thank goodness. Do not worry. If you've got a phone in your hand, the unchecked out baskets, we're going to take it out of that for you and give it to you. You've got, you've got two <coughs> for £100. 69.99 each. Or if you get two, that could be any combination. The white and the green, two whites, two greens. Yeah. However you want to do it, it's your show. However you want to do it, we'll take another 35 plus percent off for you. That's a 40 pound saving on the carving. So if you're getting one for 69.99, think to yourself, it's, do you know what, okay. For an extra 30 pounds, you're literally saving more than you're spending. Yes. You're saving more than you're spending by doubling up your order. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't want to say it's madness not to do it, but you, you've got to tell me a reason why you're not going to do it if you're saving more than you're spending. Um, a lot of you are taking advantage of the green. You're going for the white and the green combination. Love the way you're doing that. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the white there for you. Two bears. Out of the hundred. I want a bear. Ross, are you going to call for L? You're going to make that call? One remaining. Okay, let's open up the green. Now, already, by the way, a quarter of these, because you've just been saying, to, told you, look at the quality, though. Yeah, look at this luminosity, please. Tell me, have you ever seen the Lady of Mercy look this green before? Look this jadeite before? It's extraordinary. It's a gem. The, the grade that we use, by the way, because obviously in the Far East, you know, you know when we make crucifix pendants here yeah. at, the, at, the, at the Gemporia Partnership? We use the very top grade stones because it's such a powerful, mm. such an emotive symbol, whether you're wearing it for faith or for fashion. Yeah. You can't go and put B grade gems in it. No. So we use our very best. What do you think the carvers do when they're carving these? Yeah, precisely. They use their very best. Your multi-discount deal is available on this. Now we call this grade, they call this grade Jim Keng Zhong. Jim Keng Zhong. And what Jim Keng Zhong roughly translates to is apple green. Wow. Because it does, has that real gemmy quality to it. Oh, real wow. Real gemmy quality. Unbelievable. The size, again, is huge. Ross, we're going to start at 250 once again for me. Over a quarter of these have now been spoken for. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You can also see that the, because these are all each individually hand carved, you can see that they have their own individuality. You know, it's, the, it's not a case of we've taken the finest quality jade and we've plonked it into a machine. These are hand carved. It's hand it's carved. I also need to warn everyone, this is the largest caraway of the show, bar yeah. none. Bar none. Now I need to show you again. Look at what's happening on the phone lines. You've got, remember I talked to you about, remember Alison in the city of Bristol? Yes. Who had three of the whites? Yes. And you said, what if she's getting three of the greens as well, Jake? Yeah. She's getting six. Yeah. Alison, I see you, my love. 
I see you there, Alison. Absolutely savvy shopping today. I've got Brenda, who, Brenda who's maximizing her savings. I've got Jane maximizing the savings as well. I can see a lot of names. We've got one of the whites who are coming in for yeah, one of the greens. Absolutely. It's absolutely the right thing to do. Remember, if you get one, it's six nine nine nine. Get two, it's a hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. Ross, I want us to show why have I stopped at two hundred and fifty. This is the trade value for something like this. That's a huge statement for me to make. To come here and tell you this is the wholesale price for this carving. That's a massive thing for me to say. How can I get away with it? Have a look from the Tucson Gym Show. We are here at the GGX show. Only trade people are allowed in this show. We found these two jadeite carvings from this wonderful gentleman here. And you were explaining to me this is old, this is old material, isn't it? Old material. I love this. And the price per it. carving, this is the Lady is the of Mercy female Buddha. And the price per carving to the trade is here. Let's do it, Ross. Forget 250. That might be what you pay at the Tucson Trade Show. It is not what you pay from me. We are we're taking the trade show and then we're going down from wholesale price. Ross. $69.99 again, even though it's a bigger carrot weight, I'm not pricing that in for you. Price per carrot, you're not going to get a better value all show. Oh my goodness, as if you've done a multi-buy on type A jadeite, which is massive. Yeah. We've Take the, never... you know, that, that window, that window whilst fleeting, is, is one of the most exciting windows of opportunity. What is Al referring to there? Let me remind you, if you've just tuned in, this is Secrets of the Gem Trade. This is, look, as a gem investor of 10 years, I still use Richard Wise as a really powerful lesson, really powerful teacher, really powerful mentor for me who's been doing this for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I want to share some of those lessons I've learned, and this was my number one lesson. Another great lesson learned about acquiring gems. If you see it and you can afford it, Grab it. The value for money you're seeing right now is extraordinary. He says, in many cases, the source pipeline quickly dries up. That window of opportunity slams shut on you. The best stones are snapped up. The price rises. An opportunity to acquire a beautiful stone at a reasonable price has passed, perhaps forever. I want you to really look at your screen right now. Look at the Quan Lin. Beautiful lady of mercy. And ask yourself, is this beautiful opportunity one that you are going to pass up on? Because in a couple of minutes, I'm going to move on from this extraordinary carving. Mm. And your chance has passed, perhaps forever. Well done, Joyce. I see you. Fiona, I see you. You're on the phone lines. You're talking to our contact center. Linda, Hampshire, Erica, Kay, Janice. This is your chance to do this right now. Your largest carving of the show. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? This, uh, you said the word gemmy earlier on, so you're referencing sort of the, the translucency, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. This How translucency. gemmy the quality. If this kind of grade, yeah. I, I've never brought it in these sizes before. No. I've never had an opportunity to get this size of material. I've brought you jadeite shows before. Let's address that. I, I've, I've, I've been really upfront with you about that and said, look, I've brought you jadeite shows before. Yep. Have I ever brought you these sizes? No. It's not happened. No, no. This hasn't. carrot weight, 95 carats in a single gem. You've got a price per carat here. Oh, gosh, no. Let's I'm not saying it. Ross no, is going, let's don't. work it out. Ross, Ross, I am not repeating that number. Yeah, yeah. I don't blame you. And then if you think, look at the multi buy, then it's even more ridiculous. But you think about the multi buy, you're knocking on the door of 50p a carat. I mean, wow. For, for one of the world's rarest, most valuable commodities that exist. Remember, remember what, uh, remember, forgive me, I can't remember exactly who messaged in with it. I think it was the maker in Tipperary. Forgive, I could be wrong, though. I've been looking for this carving. Yeah. Been looking at this yeah. carving yeah. for years, uh, for weeks, rather. Trying to find one of the quality. Yeah. Trying to find something. Yeah, here you go, take a look. The stars have aligned for me. I've been looking for the Quan Yin carvings for weeks. Haven't been happy with what I've seen. I am happy now. Oh, amazing. Look at this quality. Look at this value. Have you secured yours? Yeah. This is the question. Because if you haven't, well, your time is about to be up. The window is about to shut. She is beautiful. Again, it is drilled as well, I should point out. 
um, very discreetly drilled. When you've got master carving, uh, carving, obviously you don't want to interrupt that beauty, do you? Um, so if I just tilt it forward, slightly diagonal, about a 45 degree angle, that's when you can actually see uh, the drill hole. Because when I put it back to normal, there we go, it very cleverly actually hides behind um, the crest. Um, so really, really clever carving within each and every single one of these pieces. Because you don't want to interrupt the beauty, do you, at no. the end of the day? You I mean, imagine the, imagine the rough that you're working with to get something like this. Yeah. I'm going to leave these here. Amazing, amazing. Beautiful. Make sure you check out on those because they're getting quite limited. Now, I'm going to do something I'll probably live to regret. Do you remember I talked about Roland Schleusel? Mm -hmm. I saw some of Roland's Jade. From the man who wrote the book. And every article of note published <coughs> recently, I said, Roland, don't just show me your book. Oh, don't just show me your book. We're here at your gem booth. Show me your jadeite. And he had a single laughing Buddha carving. I'm going to open pre-orders. I brought you a laughing Buddha before. I'm going to open pre-orders for the Laughing Buddha right now. Except unlike Roland, I'm opening pre-orders, and like Roland who's got one, I'm opening pre-orders on a pair of Laughing Buddhas for you. Where Roland had one, you will have two. I'm going to reveal all what Roland told me about the very carving itself in the next auction. Ross, is that up for pre-order? Our Laughing Buddhas are live. Last time I brought you them, they sold out nearly instantly. This is your second chance. Good luck. Do not... If you've had the Laughing Buddhas before, let me know. Message in. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. I want to hear how you experienced was the first time and how many more you're going to be getting hold of today. Take That's one auction away. Taking us there, though, I want to do something I've never done before. Oh, wow. You don't need me to express for you the, sig the cultural significance of tea in China. The Chinese created the culture of drinking tea. They curated the cuppa, as it were. <laughs> but never before have we brought you an entire tea set of solid jadeite. I want you, forgive the pun, to steep in the glory of this pair of, of chai serving set. Have a look. Oh, they, I love these. They're absolutely gorgeous. They are drilled all the way through. Yeah. There. They are huge in their proportions. Try and give you a bit of a gauge on this. Each one of those, you might be looking at those going, oh, well, how big are they, Jake? It's impossible to tell. They are over an inch long. Yeah. Over an inch long, a chai set, a chai serving set for you there. Ross, I'm going to get 60 seconds just to appreciate the carving. Green and white in the set. So you get the full sweat, the full sweet here. Amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. One green, one white. Beautiful, solid jadeite here. Drilled. It's drilled all the way through. They're over 30 coats each. Can you see how you've got that porcelain carving line? Yeah. That you see there. But that's, I think that's upside down there. Oh, this yeah, one? There you go. Way. That's the way it is. There you go. Um, you, and you've got the spout. You've got the double spout in the traditional chai serving way. You've got the carving of the porcelain line. And then it kind of opens up almost like a flower at the top a little bit as well. You'll see that detailing there. 20 seconds just to appreciate this most significant sculpture. It might be that if you want to, you know, we talked about setting beads. If you, you use beads before, they're, they're drilled all the way through. Yeah, so, so, you know, Love setting that. these is very similar to how you'd set a pearl. Um, you know, just pop it onto some wire. This is your medium. Six, five seconds to go as we open our phone lines for the chai serving set <laughs> for the first time ever. I mean, when we're talking about sort of jadeite, we Im immediately think of uh, the, the Far East. Yeah. You have to include 
the teapot, the, don't you? The, the, the chai teapot is a carving we've <coughs> never offered before. No, first but time. But the chai teapot, the significance, cultural significance here mm. is huge. The carrot weight is huge. I draw your attention to it, 65 carats. <coughs> we are talking about a big carrot weight on these. I love these. I absolutely love them. And the fact that it, it, it is such a... A beautiful shape, but they're, they're, it's a whole ceremony, isn't it? Actually, it, having tea in China ceremony. is a ceremony. It, it, you know, it's not just a, a, mm. a quick thing that's done. It's indulged. It's a labour of yeah. love. Yeah. And just as the tea, the preparation of the tea, mm. the service of the mm -hmm. chai, just as that is a labour of love, look at how the carving is a labour of love They're beautiful. Well. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, wow. Two of them, and these will even go on to things like your cords. Yes. So it doesn't have to be sort of just your silk or your beading wires. It can go on to cords. However you'd want to do it. Celebrating the chai, celebrating the humble cuppa in solid jadeite. Wow. Now, these are, you know, the size of them, they are going to be a bit more considered. Ross, I'd like us to start at 599, please. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Markings you can see just there on the top. The oh. attention to detail. Yeah. Fact, it is a labour of love. I love these. Says the true tea addict. Absolutely exquisite. Ross. My next crash. 99.99, please. And we are getting both. It You're is a set both. of two. The whole ritual ceremony that is tea in China captured within a beautiful Taipei jadeite. I'm going to warn you now, we're still not finished on your chai service set. This is going to be one of those shocking ones. Really? This is going to be one of those, look, I've just got to add it to my order because the solid weight of jade that I'm picking up here, mm. with the cultural significance, I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. We've got a big crash to come. I'm going to hold your split pays in on this. Okay. Oh, my word. Wow, wow, wow. Look at the beautiful detail. Look at the intensity. That's almost like a spearmint green. Um, totally natural, again. And you are guaranteed the pair of them. I agree. The chai teapots. I hadn't even thought about seeing a carving in teapots. I know. This is but the first time we've we ever had them. We know that it's the first time we've ever featured it. We know that they value carvings. That yes, of course. Jade is valued for its ability to be carved. Ross, $39.99. Wow. That's the lowest price tag. $39.99. Lowest price 99. tag. We're talking about £20 a solid chai serving, uh, serving pot there for you. The, the, we are keeping the split pay in, so it's £20 wow. on split pay. This is your opportunity. We have entered a whole new price point on the Jadeite this morning. This is a bit, this one, I'm going to be honest with you, this is one of those shock and awe pieces. This is one of those lots where I've gone, look, do you know what? Okay, let's see who's quick enough. Let's see who's paying attention. Let's see who's going to seize these quickly. The carrot weight you've got yeah. in each one of these, they are drilled <coughs> all the way through for you. Yep. This, you're going to have to be quick on this. Um, do you know what I'm also thinking of, just to step outside of the box somewhat? Does anybody else see like a tulip in bloom, literally opening, uh, opening out? So if well, you were to... If you because were to... those services, they are pieces of art. Yes. The, the, way they ch the way they serve the chai, they are artistic expressions. It's yes. Not, it's not enough to stick it in a classic teapot. They, they, they are artistic expressions. I love that. So literally, yeah, you can see, you can see almost the uh, uh, so the petals unfolding. These are the wrong way round. It's the other way, isn't it? Because obviously you have the handle and then the spout points downwards. So, so beautiful the texturing across all of these, and you're getting that perfect pair. So you could look at these almost like 
uh, like a flower, like a, a, an oriental flower. Twenty pounds on your split pay for natural Burmese type A jadeite. The first time, I believe, across the entire partnership that you've actually had the chai teapots. I believe. Um, I love them. I absolutely th love them. Think back to sort of Linda's kits that we had earlier on this morning with the pearls and those beautiful works of art in your porcelain. Um, I mean, they'd work together beautifully, wouldn't they? We're 20 pounds each. 20 pounds. Oh, yeah. I must have got this wrong. I love these. Look, I'm a big fan of, of, of tea. I'm a big fan of the ceremony of chai yeah, preparation. I love these. I, talking to the <coughs> carvers, this was something they're really passionate about. But look, we've got a lot of opportunities available. I'll be honest, the reaction wasn't quite what I was expecting. I thought everyone would be blown away at 39 Yeah, me too. Ross, stick me a 60-second clock on. I'm going to move again. 60 seconds. I'm going to do something I really shouldn't. And, and do you know what? It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. I feel like we're already too low. <coughs> I'm going to just, I was always taught if you're going to lose, lose quick. Yeah. have got a white and a green in this suite. Yeah, I love it. For you, a suite of chai service there for you. Well done, uh, Nicolette. You're going to be really, you're going to be really loving this. Uh, Cardiff, Tipperary, Lee, Isabel. It's still type A. It's a solid carving. So you've started with a substantial amount of rough. And in 30 seconds, look, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose quick. That's the, that's the nature of this game. I'm not going to hang around on this one. I've already thought of the name of the piece of jewellery that you can create from this. Can you ma go on. For all the tea in China. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I yeah, love that. You need to call your piece of jewellery. Take it. Take it, take it, because I'm probably going to miss out on this if you go and learn 30 down 99. For all the tea in China. And you, you've got the whole conversation around that piece. Jake, what are you doing? Look, I am going to regret this. I know I am. Ross? $29.99. Wow, that's £15. £15 a gem. That, for over 30 carats each. But well, that's now, what, about 50p a carat? Yeah, it? that's madness. Actual madness. Ross! <laughs> that moment of realisation. The split pay is still on our screens. Live TV. It's the joys of live TV. Don't work out the price per carrot for, for oh no, on the split pay. Don't do it. Just don't do it to yourself. It's £10 per... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've, I've lost Jake for a minute. Uh... For all the tea in China, you need to make that piece of jewellery. Um, it would be absolutely beautiful. Uh, Jake is literally just pacing back and forth. Ross, we've got to pull this auction. Ross. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you said 20. Oh, no, I've just clicked. You said 29.99. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. 29.99. Ross, we're going to have to pull the auction. I've just, that's just dawned on me. You said 29.99. Not 19.99. How is that? How is that happen, Ross? Human error. He's not perfect all the time. Most of the time. I'm trying. I've got you back here, Ross. We are. We are going to have to move on on that. That is genuinely. I'm going. I'm going to. Ross, genuinely, cancel, cancel the auction. We're, we're not. We can't. We, we can't. We'll honour it. If you've got it, if you've got it, it's yours. I'm not going <coughs> to call you up and tell you you can't have it. <coughs> I mean, I didn't hear. I heard. Can we have a quick break? Let me show you what's coming up. Genuinely, I am... Um, it's okay. Let me show you. The Buddhas are coming up. Have a look at them. This is the, uh, the, the, this is the, the laughing Buddha. Here's Roland Schleusels. Oh, Here's Roland man. Schleusels. You can see that there. From the man who literally wrote the book on Jadeite. There's his laughing Buddha. Now let me show you your white ones. White Jade. Laughing Buddha. Look again one more time at his. 
Type A. Now look at yours. You're going to be hearing exactly what these are going for from the man who wrote the book on Jadeite straight after this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back in this Jade show with all the news from the Tucson Gem Show. My name is Jake Thompson, a gem investor. I was there at the Tucson Gem Show. I've been talking to Dr. Roland Schlussel. Who is Dr. Roland Schlussel? I'm going to give you everything you need to know about this remarkable gentleman and indeed the jade he had on offer. Uh, so, so who is Roland Schlussel? Um, Ross is just... Ross... I'd like to show everyone what Roland Schuster published, if I could, because he's one of the, he is the industry authority on this material. So excuse me a second while I just find the right slide. Um, it, it is, right. So Roland Schlussel literally wrote um, a Jade, a gemologist guide. And, and who is this for? This is for appraisers. This is for valuers. When you're crafting your jewellery, when you're at home making your jewellery, you're making something of extreme value. I don't want you to ever discredit yourself. I don't need to ever think, oh, well, getting my piece of jewelry isn't value, it isn't for me. Mm. If you are working with type A jade, there is no reason, there is no reason that your jewelry shouldn't value for as high <coughs> as anyone else's jewelry does. Just because you've crafted it doesn't make any difference. 
But Western appraisers and values, they're not used to valuing jade. That's the problem. So, so many people have approached Roland Schleusel trying to ask him, you know, how do I grade this? How do I grade that? He's written, he's written a book on it. And here is the book. Appraisers and valuers are not left alone in their jade quest. There are two chapters to answer the majority of Western appraisers' questions on jade. The key one of which is Grading and Appraisal of Jadeite by Roland Schlüssel. Jade is not simply an Eastern treasure. I've come to realize it's the world's treasure. Mm. That was the review from Dr. Shidem Lula, one of the most qualified in the world. But Dr. Roland Schlüssel didn't just write that. He also wrote Jade, the fifth pillar of precious gems. For, for the ICA, that's the International Colored Stone Association. Their, 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 their publication in colour, having to respond to the Western demand for this material. Now, I actually met Roland Schleusel at the, at the Tucson Gem Show. So he was there, you can see me there, and we had extensive conversations about the jade market. We spoke about why there is this apparent glut of jade in the, in, in the Western market. Mm. And he said, yeah, there is. But it's a window that is closing. It's a window that is closing because the Chinese are actively trying to close it and Western sanctions prevent any newly mined jade from coming on the market. So you've really just, you, you've just got this fleeting moment. And the question for you, the question for me, the question for all of us is, are we going to strike while the iron's hot? Or are we going to sit there in a few years bemoaning the fact we didn't act quickly enough? <laughs> That's the question you and I have to explore an answer together. Now, while I was at Roland's booth, I said, look, we've chatted a lot about, about jade. Right? We've talked about your articles, quality assessment, fitting jade bangles. We've talked about the different types of jade from Burma and Myanmar. What you haven't yet shown me, Roland, and you can see Roland Schlossel each time, what you haven't yet shown me, Roland, is your jade. Let me have a look at some of yours. Let me see your best carvings you have. Now, this is a carving that is always popular. I've actually brought you this carving before, mm. once before. Once before, I brought you this carving. This is your second chance. Those of you who got it before, I need to message in. Let me know what you thought of the quality. What did you do with your carving? That's what I also want to know. But have a look at your carvings today. The Laughing Buddha. It is the most significant, instantly recognisable carving that exists in jade today, I think. Have a look at your Laughing Buddha. Uh, I, I love these. They're my favourite. Um, absolute favourite. I'm also really passionate about Buddha. I wouldn't say I'm a Buddhist, but the beliefs behind it. Very I think positive, if you're working... Yeah, no, absolutely. You don't absolutely. I don't think you have to be a Buddhist to completely subscribe... To, uh, to, to, totally. to a lot of the tenets of Buddhism. It, I don't think you have to be a Buddhist to appreciate the Laughing Buddha either. No, true. Frankly. True. I think you can appreciate it as a sculpture. Now, Roland had a Buddha. Here it is right now. There it is at his booth. And in exactly 60 seconds' time, I'm going to reveal how much the Laughing Buddha was from Dr. Roland Schleusel at the GGX show just a few weeks ago. Let's start those 60 seconds counting down for you. Amazing. From the man who wrote the book on jade, his laughing jade Buddha. I want you to really study it. Look at the yep. quality of the detail. Look at the attention to detail. How you get this, what really strikes me is, see how you get almost this halo? It's not a halo, but you get this almost halo at the back yeah. just behind his head. Now compare it to your jade sculpture. Yes. Yes. Look at the smile and the eyes in Roland's one. Now look at yours. Look at how the folds of fabric over the shoulders of Roland, they roll down into this round shape. Now look at yours. They are of a near identical standard of the most extraordinary laughing Buddha. It is a textbook. Everyone loves this sculpture every time His they see it. little belly button as well. Roland had one. We've established the quality of sculpture is identical. 
We're opening our phone lines. Roland had one. You're getting two. Oh my God, I mean seriously. Are you a ready, Elle, to see how much in the trade from the man who wrote the book on Jade was asking for his laughing Buddha? Yeah. Wholesale price? Yeah. Are you ready? You've got to be paying attention to this part. Pillar and Stone International, Roland's company. Jadeite, natural, type A. Yes. So that means, yeah, double that price. His dimensions, 28 by 22 millimetres. We are 27 by 27 millimetres. It's the same dimensions, essentially. Yeah. 1,280 dollars for the Laughing Buddha. That is your trade price from the man who wrote the book on this gem. And I have to say, Jake, that's not that bad. Oh, I didn't want it to be bad. No, I mean, yeah, I mean... I want it to be affordable. That is... That surprised me. This is from Roland Schleusel. Roland Schleusel for one. Remember, you're getting two. So two. Buy one, get one free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting two. Oh, buy one, oh. get one free on these, on these, on these Buddhas here. 1,280. Ours are bigger, yeah. You might go, well, who's paying that? Let me tell you now, everyone at the gym show is. And I know that because I found some of Roland's jade later on in the show. <laughs> so someone had gone to Roland's booth, quickly made a piece of jewellery, yeah. and then posted it on their booth. They are a high-end designer based in the United States, Lika Bahar. Lovely use of gold that they do. See how they've basically tried to bezel set. They've done like fine kind of, yeah. it's almost like a solid gallery wire yeah. that they've done of gold all around the outside. Exactly the same Laughing Buddha. $4,000 they were selling it for. Yep. Mm. So you go, hang on. You've got Roland Schleusel <coughs> making his piece. Right, so carving, bringing the carvings over from the east to the west. The best in the world at doing that. Better than I am at doing it. Better than long term. I've told you it's a window. When the window shuts, I'm out. I'm out of it. He's gone, right, take that Buddha. Here we go. Here it is in the west. 1280 Someone's gone, yeah, okay, great. I'll take it off you, Roland. I'll set it into gold. And by the way, I'm now asking over 4,000 wholesale yeah, at the wholesale. show. Yeah, wholesale. So that retail is going to be at least times three. Yeah. At least. Wow. I mean, wow. Oh, I love these. Ross. The detail. I want to start at half of Roland's trade price, please. Starts off at six hundred pounds. Making them three hundred each. Three hundred each. Natural type A. Just guaranteed to make anybody smile, aren't they? Yeah. Guaranteed. I think that's I love why. Them. I, I think that's why they're love the most popular. These. Yeah, me too. I think that is why they are the most popular of uh, you know of possibly our jadeite carvings. I am meant to be hot. Yeah. To I'm saying buy one, get one free. Yeah, there's... I'm saying buy one, get one free. We're half the trade value. Buy one, get one free here today. You've said a couple of things throughout the course of the show. Multi-buy opportunity. Yeah. Sorry, multi-pack opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Buy one, get one We've free. We've never sold these paired up before, by the way. We're talking about jade. We've never sold them paired up before. No. I remember, because I remember watching the show with you and Carol. Yeah. I when you had them vividly. individually. I remember it vividly. Mm. Individually sold. When I say buy one, get one free, I mean buy one, get one free. Ross, I want 60 seconds, so I'm going to do something hugely, hugely dramatic in this show. 60 seconds until I take a piece that then, once it's set, you're looking at over $4,000. Yeah. It's the same carving you've got at home. Yeah. I mean... Seriously, well, if, you, you, if you see a difference, message in live on the show. Tell me what's different. Because the quality of carving is right up there. Yeah, I mean, we've got, we sell something called like metal sheet. You could literally do exactly that. Yeah. Exactly that. From you Roland's own collection, we're looking at about double the price on screen right now. I've, I always have brought you these individually. This mm. is the first time I've ever matched them up for you. 
Never been in pairs. Oh, there is quantity, but I don't think they're going to hang around. Not for the Buddha. They are also drilled, again, I should mention, you've got that 45-degree angle of the yeah. drill hole positioning, which is so clever, Jake, because it just... It, doesn't it allows you to use it. You're a jewellery maker. Go yeah. and make jewellery with it. But you don't Ross, see it, do you? No, it also makes it invisible effectively for you. Ross, when I brought these last time, selling them one at a time, we were at £45. Mm -hmm. That makes it £90 today. Yeah, amazing. No. I said to you... Buy one, get one free. I mean that. They normally sell for £45 each. Ross, £44.99, please, for the pair of laughing Buddhas. Good luck in getting involved in this one. Okay. Check, it's 20, 20 something pound. That's, 20, that's 20, 22. Pounds. Do you know what else I've done, Al? I've kept our split pay in. £22.50 each. They normally go for £45. Even here, I'm price comparing against Easy. myself, by the way. The That's saving you're making today, I'm price comparing against myself. What did you do with them last time? I stand by £45 of Belafin Buddha every time. When the industry's at 1280 I am not going to apologise for £45 of Buddha. But today is a special, I'm saying, yeah, buy one, get totally. one free. They're paired up for you. The phone lines have gone electric. We've already got a full column of names. You're going to have to be quick in. Do you know the only drawback on me doing this, Elle? The only drawback of me saying buy one, get one free yeah. is that there's half the available opportunity. That's true. That is there true. There is half the quantity available. And so when I do that, that means less chances for you at home. And, and Jake, you know, this is one of the most popular symbols here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah. Um, and globally, really, you only have to look at, uh, you only have to look at sort of interior design or um, uh, fashion. You, see, you are seeing Buddha, Buddhism, the nod towards that, uh, prophecy, uh, spirit, uh, spiritual, whichever you believe. You're, yeah, like, it's about like opening it your heart to, 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 to a wider spiritual perspective. Yes. It's also about looking at value for money. <coughs> you know that these in the trays are 1,280. Yes. That is from the man who wrote the book on Jade. Literally, I'm there having a conversation with him, talking about this material. I said, come on then, let's have a look at some of your... your, some of your you're here to sell, Roland. You're not here to talk to me. You're here to sell. Show me some of your jade. Let's have a look at what you've got. Look at the quality of his carving compared to the quality of yours. It's literally just weeks old. This is what you watch this show for. Market update. Julie's written <laughs> in. Thank you, you mad people. Oh, no. Now, Julie, Julie. Oh, no. I'm going to take it. Look, I'm going to take it. This is mad. I think that's just... We are now day. what? We're April. We're the first week of April, okay? Just eight, nine weeks ago, I was here with yes. the man who writes the book on this material with the same carving, the Laughing Buddha carving, and we're looking at $1,280 wholesale. Even in my previous shows, I once did an extraordinary deal on, on, on a Laughing Buddha for you. I, I never thought I'd be able to do anything like that again. I brought it to you on this show. I'm so proud of this. So Brought you the Laughing Buddha for $45 a piece. Yeah. I was over the moon. I still am over the moon. I can't <laughs> say sorry for that. It's a $1,280 carving from the man who wrote the book. So I'm certainly not going to apologise for $45 a piece. No, uh, no. Not this is a do. genuine. How often in life do you get a genuine buy one, get one free? I'm not talking about where they merchandise it, you know. They go, oh, okay. I'll tell you what. It's a, it's a, it's a four-pack of Coca-Cola at the, you know, it could be Coca-Cola, it could be Pepsi, it doesn't really matter to me. Four, four pack Coca-Cola, um, but actually this time we're going to sell it for eight. But you, we all know they were always yep. intending to give you the eight cans of Coke. Absolutely. 45 of Buddha is incredible. We are literally... Or... I, I'm or, not price comparing against Lika Bahar. I'm not price comparing against Lika Bahar. It's a finished piece of jewellery, okay? I could show you what the trade are doing here, but I'm not even price comparing against Roland Schleusel. I'm going to go one step further. I'm price comparing against me. <laughs> I'm saying you are saving 50%. Buy one, get one free on what I've offered you previously. Come and look at this. We've got two full columns of names here. Of course. Because of course. do you know why? Because people like to save <laughs> money. Yeah. Elaine likes to save money. Jacqueline likes to. Essex likes to. And, and Libby does. Kay, a jewelry maker in Hertfordshire is buying two. Susan, multi-buy on something like this. Because your price per piece is unprecedented. It's absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Again, with the drill hole, so... 
so uh, so much potential for them, whether it be them little individual pendants or if you wanted to incorporate into your knotting. We had an amazing quantity of this. Is this probably... I'm asking the question really, Jake. Uh, the Buddha, is it the or one of the symbols that is probably most requested? It, it, it is, it, it is. And, and it, it's very, very popular, mm. very significant. Um, I've just noticed actually we've, we've, we've misspelled um, Buddha. I, I, I apologize on behalf of that. Uh, yeah. It should be B-U-D-D-H-A. No disrespect is intended. We're no, of course. Highly not. respectful of this. Uh, it, it, it's a spelling error uh, from, from one, of error. Our, one of our partners. Uh, who is dyslexic? I'm not going to demonise them for that. They mean no disrespect by that at all. Uh, Buddha, B U D D H A. Uh, and, and huge congratulations to everyone who is acquiring this. This is uh, it's, it's probably the value for money proposition of the show. Mm. I don't think we can ever get anything like this. No, absolutely. And one thing I haven't done for you at the look. Again, look. Look at the quality of the material we're dealing in here. Ice white. I swear, look at, look at all the relief there. You can see that. See the halo of light. This is what you're looking for from this carving. Yeah. But they do that. They deliberately make that halo a lighter hue so that when you see light from behind, it is illuminating. This is the attention to detail in this sculpture. Good luck getting involved. Literally half the price we've ever offered this before. I also don't recall having split pay last time. Yeah, uh, well, no. Well, you're not meant to, are we? Yes, it's got the drill hole. Let me just put the phone down for one second because you can actually see that then. Again, really clever how we, how we uh, I say we as if it's got any, I have any part in this. Um, it's like a 45 degree angle. So if I turn it in this direction, can you see there? Um, you can actually see it there. It means that when you're looking at it from a, a face, face value, you're not going to see the actual drill hole itself. You actually have to, there it is. There it is. So really clever positioning. Obviously, you don't want to uh, spoil, I suppose, um, your master craftsmanship. And these are hand-carved. You're getting two hand-carved, beautiful Buddhas. Um, the pair. And you can get them home for £22.49 pence only. They could be earrings. They'd be amazing earrings, wouldn't they? Absolutely amazing. Or are you thinking about, maybe if from a business stance, uh, just madness. Please don't. It, understand that this is not normal for jadeite of this quality and master carvings we are the exception jay can't we here you know this is like i said you've been in the right place at the right time well, to make I, look, I, don't mind, I, I don't mind sharing with you obviously you can get laughing buddhas elsewhere yes you can one thousand two hundred and eighty dollars okay that makes this a four-figure carving mm -hmm. for 22 pounds 50 a piece yeah madness Madness, madness, madness. Now, I'm going to leave those there. I've got one more sculpture I'm going to bring you today. Oh. Okay, a few of these have, the bear is completely sold out. There's mm. about two pieces of the fan. The sculptures have been incredibly popular today. And I think the next piece we're going to bring you, I know how popular angels are. I know how popular fine detail is. The next sculpture really, I think, talks to Dr. Lula's observation. And if I could, I'm, I'm just going to scroll through a few slides here because it was something Dr. Lula said where I thought, yes, you're absolutely right, actually. Uh, it was Dr. Lula uh, reviewing Roland Schleusel's book. And Dr. Lula said this, Jade is not simply an Eastern treasure. I've come to realize it's the world's treasure. Mm. Now, most jade on the planet has been carved towards Eastern traditions. Yes. The Buddha is yep. one. Yep. The bear brick inspired Tokyo bear. The tea. Is another one. The chai set mm. is another one. I don't want to talk about that one. Uh, the <laughs> fan, the Hyoji fan, is another one example of that. Mm -hmm. So almost all jade is carved, almost all jade is carved in that tradition of the Far East and sculptures. This next sculpture stands out because it isn't. It's actually tapping into the Roman Greco art of sculptures. Marble busts, cherubim. We know that the Roman world and the Greco world, masters, no one else did that kind of fine detail of sculpture better than, better than those guys did in the Western world. 
And then when the Renaissance occurred in the mid-15th century, then we had the cherubim, the mm -hmm. angels, Christianity mm -hmm. taking on this kind of detail. Mm -hmm. And I think nothing symbolizes this East in the Jadeite meeting the West in the sculpture itself. I introduce to you our final sculpture of the day. Your angel, your little cherub. Take a look at this. Oh, Type A. He's adorable. He's absolutely adorable. Cheeky little face. I'm going to make this a star by. It's oh. our final sculpture of the show. I know how much you love angels. I know how much you love Taipei Jane. I know how much you love sculpture. This brings all three together in a star by. Every jade lover in the country should be getting involved in. Good luck. Let's open those phone lines straight away for you on your star by. We, look, we, we're not going to have enough of these, by the way. Aww. I'm going to tell you straight away that it's a <coughs> multi-buy discount on this. Really? You stock up as much as you want to. You've got <coughs> an inch on the height of your cherub. Look at the quality. This is type A jadeite. It's white jadeite as well. An extraordinary ice white jadeite. So, well, Al, I'm just going to give. I'm just going to give you the cherub back a moment. Yeah. I love you know symbolism of angels. We know how powerful that is. Everyone is multi-buying. It's the right way to do it. There is a substantial multi-buy saving on this. By the way, buy them in pairs. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not telling you exactly what the multi-buy discount is. Buy them in pairs. This is Ice White Jade. Can we just examine the translucent? Look at this. Pure, pure light coming through here. Look at those wings. It is stunning. You see how even the detail of where the rib of the wing would be. Yeah. The rib of the wing, you can see the rib of the wing there, absolutely extraordinary detail. The uh. face carved in there, this is your cherub carving, and of course, the, Sonia, who's doing the right thing, picking up three of these, when you have multiple, they become cherubim. Cherubim is the multiple of cherub. Now, there's about a three-minute wait on the phone lines here. Guys, what I'm going to do, Al, I'm going to take that cherub from you. Sure. Because what I want to do, I want to really come in on the detail on this. Yes. I'm so, I'm blown away by what the artists have been able to do here. He is, uh, oh, I don't want to say this sentence. There is a drill hole. There we go. Rephrase it that way. He, uh, there is a drill hole as well for you to incorporate it into your jewellery. Oh, look. Hang on. I'm just trying to get it in focus for you. There you go. So he's inverted right now. And what you can see, inverted because of the jeweler's loop, um, what you can see, oh, sorry, there we go. Uh, you can see, look at the hair, look at the hairline. You can see the hairline on the cherubim, on the cherub. You can see the smiling face. Look at this through the jeweler's loop. You can see uh, the wings. Look at the detail on the wings. You can see, see the detail on the wings. He's got the little curls. Look at the knees. I love yeah. them. The knees, right in the center of the jeweler's loop. <coughs> you can see the knees. Absolutely beautiful. Everyone's buying two of these. Well, sorry, not everyone. I'm going to show you exactly how many, by the way. There it is. It, it, you know, that's about fifth. I think we went to about 400 times magnification then, by the way. Uh, that would probably, camera's what, about 44 times magnification? Jeweler's loop is 10 times. I think the way magnification works is you multiply them. Look, we've got Lane involved buying two. I need to tell you, why is everyone buying two? There's a big multi-buy discount on this. Hint, buy two. Big ah, multi-buy okay. discount on these. In pen, okay. it's, the no, it's like an angelic Noah's Ark that we're looking at right now. Right now. So you want the cherubim in, 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 in two by two. Justin's got two. Susan, you've got three. Just trust me on this one, Susan. Just trust me on this one. You want to pick up four. Um, <laughs> Margaret, Helen Joanne, you need to be second, pick up a second. Maker in Hampshire, Helen in Suffolk. Now, you mentioned the drill hole. It's an invisible drill hole again. You yep. don't mean an invisible drill hole. Does that mean you've not done one? No. It's you, from the face up. You don't see the drill hole. Now look at his little face, those look curls. Look at his face up, look at those curls. I love this, ready? And there's the drill hole. So you see yeah. how, when it hangs, it's not It's, it's gonna be invisible. And it, it, what that also allows is for an invisible bail. Invisible bales, look, we're, we're talking about crafting fine jewelry here. Look at this cherub, absolutely He's adorable. Attention He's to detail sweetest. is extraordinary. Really tapping into that ancient 
Roman Greco tradition mm -hmm. of marble sculptures, marble busts. And then we're, we're again drawing on the great Italian Renaissance artists with this here, the inspiration of the Roman Greco world, picking up for where, where, where the Italians left off during the Renaissance to give you a jadeite carving. We've got to start somewhere here. I'm going to start us off at 500 pounds. It's up Amazing. there with any of the sculptures we've brought today. Absolutely. I love this one. I, and you're, I, it hadn't dawned on me, Jake, until you actually said, you know, I've never seen anything like a cherub. No. We've, well, and so because, it has always been. Think about all the carvings, where does this material come from? Where does this material always stay? Yeah. Where will this material moving out of this transitionary window, mm. this little moment in time, this little break in history, where you and I get a chance to play in Jada, where does the Jada stay moving forward? In the Far East. So a lot of the carvings are drawing on Far Eastern traditions. Mm -hmm. The Hyoji carving, the Tokyo bear, the laughing Buddha. You, you, you have all of these carvings that are drawing on Eastern traditions. When do you ever see a carving that draws on the Western traditions of sculpture? Like, never. You never see it. No, never. That places this as one of the few ever jadeite sculptures. Type A, white jade, ice jade. Everyone's doing the right thing. Let me show you this. You've got a full column of names. Not a single person's bought one. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't you're blame some you. Of the, you're some of the savviest shoppers in the gem world right now. Susan, Kerry, multi-buy discount. Susan, Isabel, multi-buy discount. Brenda, Sonia. It, it, Freda, Maker, Linda, Alison, Le it just keeps going. Ross. First crash. Forty nine First. ninety nine. First. First crash. First. Wow. First cherub. It's our first cherub. First ever cherub. And he is adorable. Probably our last. And the kills. Imagine, you know, it would be one thing to have an angel wing of Jade. Yeah, exactly. Having an angel itself is another thing entirely. Was In the stone of heaven. Yes, In the Far Eastern course. traditions, the stone of heaven. We're bringing you the cherub, drawing on that Renaissance art texture. Listen, Ross, I'm going to ask for a 60... I'm, I'm going to apologise right now to our contact centre. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you right now, I am sorry my fellow partners are answering the phones. You are about to be swamped. You're probably going to be overwhelmed. I should... I know I should. I know the rules. I should stagger the phone lines. I'm going to tell you at home, I'm not going to do that right now, okay? One crash and one crash only. We're about to go straight to it in 45 seconds' time on the Cherub Sculpture. This is your opportunity. 40 seconds. Well done, everyone who's continuing to multi-buy on this. It is the savvy way. I'm about to reveal your multi-buy saving. Everyone who's gone, you know, you're looking at four of these now at 200 pounds. No, no, no. You're about to be, you're about to get the deal and you are, I think, I think you're going to be very, very shocked at what we're going to do on this one. Look at your ice. This is the quality of the jade. Amazing. I mean, talk about a celestial even it, being. Even if it was literally just the, sort of the outer lining of a cherub. The you quality can of the jade is so good here, Al. It's behaving like a selenite. Yes. Isabel, you've just got three. You need it to be a multiple of two, my love. Frida, you too. Because Ross... 1999 on the cherub sculpture and if you're picking up two you're getting them for 30 pounds well done indeed 1999 a cherub if you're getting cherubim more than one we're calling it 30 pound a pair you've got to be quick on this that's i mean 15 pounds seriously uh that, seriously jake yeah if you buy i'm looking at frida in cornwall who's got three so she's got thirty pound. She's got thirty pound on for the pair plus yeah. two. Now, for an extra tenner, if you've got an odd number for an extra tenner, you're getting the second chair of him. Exactly. Now come and have a look at this. This is multi buy galore because you are you're some, <laughs> of the sav you're some of the savviest jade buyers in the world right now. Some of the savviest jade buyers in the world right now. I applaud you. 
I applaud you. Look at this, Maker in Hampshire picking Ooh, up Kath, four. You want to change that, Kath? Where, where's Kath? Where's Kath? Kath? There, first person. Kath on the web. Oh, Kath. Got three. Kath, you got three, my love. Kath. Let's, for an extra ten, I'll turn it to four. Turn it to four. Look, we've got fours, twos. Patricia's bought one. Patricia, no problem with you buying one. That's absolutely fine. But if you want to double your save, if you want to maximise your saving, bump it up to two and you, for only an extra £10. Look, you can see everyone, essentially. Well, not everyone. You never use an absolute. 95% of people right now are buying in twos. That's why we've got two full column of names, by the way. Yeah, straight away. Um, and also the fact that we've never seen a cherub, um, like no. it is very much well, bringing the West it. in. It's the, remember, the, most of the well, carving is done in the city of Suzhou in China. Yeah. They've been, they've been carving Hyoji fans. They've been carving the Pai pendants. Mm -hmm. They've been carving the, the, the laughing Buddhas. What we're asking them to do now in this one particular lot, there's no other lot like it, we're saying, look, I want you to use your skill that you've developed over centuries in the East, but then I want you to bring in that ancient Greco-Roman tradition, Amazing. bring in that Renaissance architecture, draw on the, the, you know, the, the, these incredible pieces of Western art, and I want you to immortalise the angel in, in the celestial gem. Uh, we've had some lovely messages coming through. Kath in Thailand, who picked up three oh. of these. Kath, you are more than welcome. And Kath, yeah. I want to say thank you as well. Thank you for messaging into the show. Thank you for taking part. This is your show. I love hearing from you. Uh, Sonia, I bought all carvings because they are so beautiful mm -hmm. and absolutely madness bonkers prices. Love you guys. Sonia, thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking part. Thank you so much for joining in. It's my pleasure. And, and, and Sonia, I can't wait. Now we know that the book's been written for them. The appraisers, when they're valuing your carvings, it's an exciting time to be a jade buyer. Yeah, it's a huge well done. And um, Gloria, Bless my you. sister lost her husband and loves angels. I have to buy for her. Wow. Gloria, that's a wonderful sentiment. I, I, you know, I appreciate your sister's gone through something I can't even fathom. But the th that, that, that she's got a sister like you looking out for her, you, know, you see something beautiful like this, and, and your mind goes straight to her, that's a wonderful sentiment. Yeah, so, so marvellous, sister. Thank you so much. Wonderful that you see something so beautiful and straight away you're thinking of other people. And I know you're not alone in that, actually. I think we've had some other messages yeah, people sharing. Have, yeah. what, what, what the symbolism of the cherub means to them? What does an angel mean to you? Yep. Send your messages in. Look, Ross, I'd love to... You know, if, if, if sharing their stories, I, I want to I share them. Well, this is your show. This you is your show. Cherubs mean different things to different people. They do. They definitely do. But also the fact Jade itself has got... Um, that meaning. It yeah, translates, yeah. doesn't it, to heaven. Jade, jade is known as the heaven stone. Yeah. Jade is known as the heaven stone. You then carve it into a heavenly, a heavenly, uh, you know, a he one, of the, one of the angelic host, the cherubim. Um, Hazel's messaging in. Yeah. Hazel's messaging in with a, a, a jewelry making concern. Could you put a silver halo on top? Hazel, send me a picture of that. Please send me a picture that of that. That sounds amazing. And you know what? If you send me a picture of that, Hazel, I'll credit your account with the difference. I love the idea. That, that's such a great idea. Yeah. Send me a picture Hazel. of that, Hazel. Jake.Thompson at Gemporia.com. I'll be able to show it on future shows. And the moment I do, I'm going to send you a credit for £20. I mean, seriously, 19.99. It's natural type A. Got yeah. to be one of the first or few, let's say that, few ever jadeites to be carved into, um, char uh, carved into the, 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 the cherub. Um, or did I just hear a number three? Yeah, I've got her over here, Antoinette. Yeah, no, we need to correct Antoinette, that. Antoinette, let me help you. Let me help you, Antoinette. The multi-buy is on twos, multiples Ooh, of twos. Maria. So it's, it's £20, for one, uh, £20 for one, £30 <coughs> for two. So, Antoinette, you're going to pay £50 for three. For an extra tenner, add another one onto your order. Uh, same advice for you, Maria. Maker and Kim... Make it and Kim, you're getting it. Tessa, Chantal's bought one. Isabel's bought four. Marva's bought one. Linda's bought two. Uh, Regine, Lynette, there you've bought one. But don't worry, Dorothy's got two. It, the, best, the best way to maximise your savings, that's what I'm here to help you do. Get the best value, Jade. The best way to maximise your savings is buying in multiples of two this morning. There we are. Lots of sixes. I mean... Well, I can understand why. For less than £100, you're, you're sourcing an angelic host. Yeah. In, in, in type A white jade. I'm only going to leave this star by with you for another minute or so, so you've got to be quick on this one. Yeah, and, and, and I think as well, much like uh, Gloria messaged in then, many of us will 
will look at this and, uh, 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 and maybe think of someone that they could gift it to, or maybe it's particularly poignant to yourself for whatever reasons, faith, um, or just because you find him adorable. Because he is all of those things, isn't he? He's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Huge congratulations on every single one of you who's acquired any of the carvings. There's a lot of messages coming in saying people have acquired lots of the carvings, yeah. all of the carvings. Well done. I want to thank you so much. I know that you know. I know you know the unique window that we, we're operating in right now. I know that, that, that I know that some of you are some of you are loving the window, are taking advantage of the window. I know some of you aren't taking advantage of the window, and that's absolutely fine as well. But I never want anyone to not know about that window, and that, you know that window that's caused by three factors. Remember, that's how this is possible. It's only a temporary thing. Factor number one: the West's appreciation of of jade has never been higher. More jade is getting into the West temporarily than ever before, and that's allowing appraisers to value properly. That's allowing jewelers to make more jade jewelry for the Western market currently. Why is that happening? Point number two, there's been a temporary disruption. Because the Hong Kong gem shows have been cancelled, there's been a temporary disruption in, 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 the, in, the, in the traditional jade markets in China. And that's allowing some jade to leak out, as the Chinese would view it, to the rest of the world. The Chinese government and, and, and Chinese market are maneuvering to shut those leaks. So we know that moving forward, new jade coming into the market, few and far between. We also know that the sanctions that I fully support um, of the Burmese government saying that any newly mined jade mustn't be sold in the West, I fully support that. This is all old mine material. That also is having a, a, a dramatic impact on the supply of jade. So we know we're taking advantage of this incredible window or we're not, but at least we know about it and that's what this show is about. It's not just about acquiring the pieces. It's about knowing the market in which they sit. And thank you so much for all your messages, for all your support during the show. I <coughs> love being here with you. And I will see you very, very soon indeed. Uh, Gem Guide shows are having a little break. Okay. Gem Guide shows are having a little break. Um, so this is the last Gem Guide show for a couple of weeks now, actually. And then they'll be recommencing again. Uh, the in three weeks' time, so oh. I'm really excited for that for you. Jake, thank you so much. Truly, truly yeah, amazing, amazing collection. It was. Um, and also, as always, feeding our knowledge of gemstones. Um, so we look forward to seeing Jake very, very soon. Don't go anywhere, though, because I might have had special permission to bring you just one extra Type A natural jadeite opportunity all shall be revealed is that right oh oh hang on a minute I, saw, I heard something in my ear and then it's disappeared again all right we shall collaborate and we'll come back to you after this <laughs> Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. 
catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. How awesome was that? Oh my God, do you know what? And that's not even just the best bit. In a few days, they're gonna land on your doorstep and you're gonna see your amazing works of art in natural type A Burmese jade. And do you know what? There was a little bit of a break there. Um, it was completely unplanned. But I heard in my ear that there may be some little flowers, jade flowers that I could bring to you. So I mentioned it because I heard it but it hadn't been approved. Um, are we doing it then? Okay, because I've said it. Sorry, it's my fault. Well, not my fault. It's good for you guys. Now, yeah, well, I kind of heard it. Ross, you said it. I heard it. And then verbalised it. Anyway, it's happening. So we've spoken about some of the most symbolic artefacts, sculptures, um, in jade, I, and, and it never really registered with me until I heard Jake talking about the cherub, actually. I, I thought, okay, yeah, they are, and naturally so, always have been very much um, of sort of Chinese um, or Eastern inspiration. Totally get that, totally understand that. But it's, it's a new era now, isn't it, when the Western uh, locations, like ourselves, are also getting to appreciate this gemstone. But let's talk about the ones we've had. We've had the, what, the Pichu, Pixu, Pixu. We've had the Pixu, we've had the Chinese cabbage, we've had uh, the Fan earlier on, we've had the Buddha, of course, plus many, many more. Lotus flowers, we've had the Tiger as well. I'm going to bring you, I'm going to bring you some more Lotus, but in a different dimension. So previously, we've actually had the Lotus flower almost in bloom, haven't we? But if you've ever researched what the lotus flower actually means, it's one of the most symbolic, uh, uh, well, it's believed to be the most beautiful flower in the world. Um, and the reasoning behind that is because it's the journey that it travels. And I know if I had gorgeous Susie next to me, she'd be able to verbalize it far more eloquently than I can. But, but this is... The, the, the actual lotus flower, it's the journey that it takes to enlightenment, if I'm right. And again, I'm not the expert. Definitely Susie would be the person to um, educate you that. But a lotus flower forms within murky, muddy waters. 
And it's the journey that it makes to become, sort of expose itself, if you like, to the sunlight. That is when it becomes completely enlightened. But before it literally has full bloom, you have these bud-like shapes. Take a little look at these, and you are getting each and every single one of them. Six. Some, I'd say this one's definitely blue. Yeah, this one's definitely, definitely blue. Um, if I tilt one towards you as well, you can see they've got nice, large, generous drill holes. Um, more than generous enough to get even multiple of your cords. So imagine these now, in that if they were sort of pointing together, maybe with some lovely pearls that you had uh, earlier on in the show with, uh, with Linda. Imagine sort of the blooms pointing upwards towards that feeling, that essence of enlightenment, or maybe you want to take a different stance on it um, and think, no, 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 I'm looking at those, are like almost snowdrops. They do look like little snowdrops, don't they? Or just a bud of some description. Now, there are how many of these? 200. It has been so busy today. So busy. Now, before we get into the auction, right, tell me before I say it out loud, just in case I say it wrong. There's a multi-buy option on this, says Ross. There he is. The discount that we've been doing, yes. He's negotiated on this. I'm literally saying, you can see his mouth moving as he's talking to me. You've negotiated on this too. But there are already multi-buys in this. There's six. Okay, so if it's buy, you buy two, you get a saving, which means you're getting 12. Let's do a 60-second countdown. Natural type A Burmese jade eye. I'm definitely seeing your sort of lavender blues um, in a couple of these. Again, amazing translucency, but this is your lotus flower, little bud, but at the same time, you could look at it in maybe in uh, other sort of flora and fauna inspirations. Imagine these incorporated to your jewellery designs. Would they be little, little droplets? Would you put them and sort of, I don't know, flip them upside down? Let me just show you one here. Maybe if you think about uh, Chinese architecture, you have those, I can't remember what we called it, Susie did tell me, Bacodas, that's it, where you actually have those wonderful curved roofs. Um, you could actually have that kind of inspiration into your design. Again, alongside Linda's beautiful jewellery earlier on um, in the day, which seems like literally five minutes ago. In eight seconds, the graphics are going to appear. I literally have mistakenly included this auction in today's show. I didn't realise it was being saved for another show. Uh, Ross was just talking about it. That's it. Sorry, Ross. Here we go, the pagoda. Oh. And the teapots. I hadn't looked at these as teapots. I had looked at these to be either the lotus flower bud or the pagoda. Oh, can you imagine that in a piece of jewellery? literally stacked on top of one another. Can I do it? Just quickly, as we get the idea. Imagine those. Stacked on top of one another, you've just made a pair of Chinese pagoda earrings. And in actual fact, excuse my head being in the way for a second. Hang on. Can you see on the overhead? Get the general gist. Do you want me to move? Watch this. Look at this. What about that? What about the Chinese pagoda in a pair of earrings? Yeah? A couple of your gold-plated sterling silver spacer beads in between. I mean, yeah, I know. There they are, the chai teapot. I've just learned that. I looked at them like little buds and flowers. Now I'm actually thinking, no, never mind that. Never mind the lotus flower. This is all about the Chinese architecture itself. Um, now, we have 200 of these. You are going to get six, so you don't need to multiply. It's not a set of three and a set of three. You are going to get six with one single purchase. If you want those sterling silver earrings, um, I'm assuming that I'm bringing those at some point. 
We'll do it straight after. Do we like that idea? I quite like that idea. Wow. To get involved, the history, the legacy, that is type A jadeite, six individual stones that are completely and utterly natural, um, with your multi-buy op options. So say two, you're going to get six. Sorry, if you buy two, you're going to get 12. And you are going to make a saving of 25%. Are you ready? For six, brand new, premier, type A, jadeite. Not 59 pounds and 99 pence. I want to make those earrings. And that's super simple, even I can do that. Literally pop them on a head pin, couple of spacer beads in between. 29 pounds and 99 pence only. Yes, they're the little teapots, but you could also look at them as blooms. You could look at them. They are quite floral. I thought that, like almost like a bud that was about to open. Um, but now I'm thinking, no, nah, it's for me. It's, it, it's literally, I always lose the word. Your Chinese? Pagoda. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Susan, Pat, Sonia. Hello to you, Liam. Hello to you, new customers. Hello to you, Yorkshire. Hello to you, Cathy and Tyne and Ware. Uh, Nicolette, you're getting involved as well. Do you know what? Even more excitingly, those of you that have made your confirmations and already happy and over the moon with, at five pounds each, by the way, for a natural type A jadeite. That's four carrots per stone, by the way. If you want the best jadeite savings, I think Jay, uh, Jake has absolutely delivered it today, don't you? And I don't want to be outdone. No, I can't be outdone. No, 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 no. Listen, I wasn't meant to bring you this auction. That was purely my mistake. I have to put my hands up. I, I just heard the discussion behind the scenes and assumed that's what we were talking, uh, we were bringing next to air. It is going even lower. More of you that are, um, more of you are joining us and adding it to your baskets. Lorna already getting two well done. Tipperary already getting two. Somerset getting two. Norfolk getting two. Lincolnshire getting two. London's multi bought well done. Sonia, Pat, Nicolette, uh, Maria, Yorkshire, Catherine, Tyne and Ware. That's five pound per type A natural jade. Well done, and thank you for those of you that have already made your confirmations. You will obviously still pay the final low price tag. There's 200 of these available. The pagoda earrings, I, that's what I'm going to look at them. Look at those, little pagoda earrings. Well, could be. You might come up with something altogether more amazing. Altogether more amazing. Uh, what happened there? Liam, that was you. <laughs> that was Liam. Liam, oh, and this really throws me trying to get this back into shot. There we go. £19.99, well done, and a very, very, very uh, huge congratulations on all your acquisitions today. Anna in Derbyshire, Frida, Lorna, Surrey, hello to you, Wiltshire, hello to you, Anne. Um, yeah, our lovely Susie, she was with me the other day. I think she's watching today as well, actually. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to make that assumption, but I am definitely seeing um, a location in Wiltshire, which is where Susie lives. Um, but she actually told me about the pagodas themselves and the reason why they are that shape. I can't remember what she said. Can anybody else remember um, why pagodas are that shape? Is it something to do with the water retaining the water? Something that would make complete and utter sense. Uh, <clears throat> Purely because it's you. Purely because it's our Liam. Adam said I wasn't allowed to make any noise. Yeah. Okay. And I made a lot of noise. All of a sudden, there's a little Liam under the desk. There he is. Ah, oh, lovely Liam. This is, uh, yeah, so many of you there. And you've got to think about it. If people are buying twos, because there's a multi-buy saving option right now, 
that's all of a sudden only 100 opportunities, isn't it? Um, Maker in Yorkshire, I would highly recommend you checking out your baskets if you want those six. Worcestershire, Maria, Anjum, Susan, you're all there. Well done. Loads of you making the most of these. I don't recall us ever doing that shape. Um, it is, of course, the chai teapot, but I looked at these as something completely different. I guess that's the beauty of um, being able to make the jewellery yourself is that you can use your own inspiration. Now, if you like this idea, you don't have to go with it, by the way. It's just what I saw. Should we do the earrings? Hot off the press news. Well, it's not that new, new actually, but there is news to share. These are no longer part of our essential collection. I don't know why. I don't know why, unless they've had a, a meeting since that announcement was made and changed it. I think they should, because out of all the shepherd hooks, that we actually offer, these are my favorite. Do you agree? It's the investment of sterling silver that you actually get within uh, these shepherd hooks because they look like liquid. It almost looks like the silver has physically been poured. Um, poured and you have that lovely thickness, beautiful amounts of luster. And then very discreetly tucked away um, behind your shepherd hook, you have a jump ring. That jump ring is what you would obviously anchor to or not, whichever you wish, whichever you wish. Because um, they are a finished pair uh, of, uh, of earrings, but you get them times three. Now, no longer as part of our, uh, our essentials collection. I don't know why that is. If we could change it, I would definitely change it because I think they're absolutely beautiful. 16 pounds and 99 pence. Look at Anne and Sue, our amazing in-house designers. Every time they work with Jadeite or they work with maybe some of Dave's incredible pearls, what, what, what shepherd hook do they gravitate towards? Is, there's nothing wrong with the generic shepherd hook, but if you're working with a certain caliber and legacy of gemstone like Jadeite, most of us will actually gravitate towards the more uh, luxurious of finding, which I truly, truly believe um, these actually are. I'm going to show you them in the ear. Uh, and I, uh, just so you know, these are studio samples, so nobody will be get sent these. Nobody will be get sent these. They are ones for the studio, so don't worry about that. Look at that. Amazing. They look stunning as they are. Hello, Helene. Uh, I have these shepherd hooks and they are fabulous. So sleek and delicate. They are, aren't they? And Elaine, don't you think you could wear them just like this? If you just nipped away that jump ring at the back, you could wear them just like this. But also there's a big amount, if I turn it like this, you can see there's a big amount of sterling silver that's been invested into the shepherd hook. So they give you the opportunity to, you know, really indulge in the gemstones. Stay where you are on those phone lines, everybody, and congratulations to each and every single one of you. Um, I must find out, this has just reminded me actually what the status is um, on those shepherd hooks because uh, certainly when I announced that news that it was no longer part of the essentials collection, there was a lot of disappointment. So um, I'll speak to our buying team now. Let's just, re let's just go back. Let's go back to the very beginning of today's show. When we had those amazing sapphires. Mm -hmm. Imagine one of those on a chain. Let's go back to Linda's awesome kits. Now she had a length of sterling silver chain, but I think most of you will probably want more to go alongside the marquee shape, maybe the rounds or the, or the big statement round. Let's then think about every single one of Jake's absolutely incredible natural type A Burmese jadeite master carvings. What do you need? You need the most exquisite chains. I, have we got some busts? Can, Dan? Can I have a couple of busts? Because these are too beautiful to show just lay down. They are finished and complete. I need two if possible. Finished and complete. Poor Dan, I've been bossing him around this morning. Thank you, lovely. Thank you, thank you. Here it is. Oh. Here we go. I'm going to show you kind of like the Tiffany's way around. Both of which are sterling silver, 925 sterling silver. 
are complete finished chains, but chains which are so currently on trend at the moment, so on trend, the likes of Monica Veneda, the likes of Tiffany's, the likes of Gucci, the likes of Miss Soma, all the biggest designers are incorporating. But we've gone one step further and we're not just bringing you that lovely silky luster, we've actually gone further to bring you this amazing texture. Look how it almost looks like they are parve encrusted with diamonds. So throughout the whole of today's show and beyond, we know we need sterling silver chains, but these are sterling silver necklaces with a difference, a modern twist, a big investment of precious metal. Right here, right now, you are getting both, which are six grams for 50 pounds each. Do you remember the Alta, is it Alta? I think it's called Alta. Uh, let's go through these, actually. Let's go through them all, if that's all right. Thomas Sabo. Very similar. Mon that's one, by the way. Monica Veneda. 100 pounds for one. I'm sure that's shorter as well. Next one. In gold, you can see, paper link, £207. Next one. Love that. No price on it, but you get the look. You get the idea, don't you? Do you want to see it in a bracelet? Liberties, £275. Tiffany's. Of course, you can imagine the price tag. You can imagine. There we go. Tiffany's in a bracelet. Are you ready? It's our finale auction of what has been an absolutely incredible, incredible day. You get the both. You get both of them. The R925 sterling silver. Do you think our sterling silver is any different to that of Tiffany's & Co? Do you think our sterling silver is any different to that of Monica Veneda or Thomas Sabo? There's 12 grams of sterling silver. And right now we are talking, what, 17 pounds? 50? 17 pounds 50 per 20 inch sterling. I can even show, I can even put this on super quick because it is a toggle. I've literally got a minute to do it, so nothing like putting myself under pressure. Um, here we go. I don't like messing around with little fiddly individual clasps. I much prefer something that's easy, easy to get on and off. There you go. Job done. Look how beautiful that is. Look at how beautiful that is. Would you suspend your cherub? Would you suspend your master carving any of the jade pieces? Make sure you check them out to guarantee yours. How many did I have of these? 80 of these available. That's six grams in sterling silver in each of the chains. You can also see, mine's just caught on my talk back a little bit, but you can also see, uh, it does depend on build, where it actually sits on me. It's kind of mid, mid decolletage. Check out your baskets. Wow, wow, wow. Well done. Belinda, Herefordshire, Julie, Margaret, Hello to Essex, Lincolnshire, Caroline, Anne and Lynn. I've loved every single minute of this morning. I hope you have too. You can still get involved on the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Make sure you tune in tomorrow because I'm going to be joined by the wonderful Mark Smith for an amazing CB show. <laughs>